All right. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. First word I spoke today. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't live an hour ago. Um, I was up late last night, and I'm getting here late today. But we're here, and we can run through. Now, I have... Um, so if you guys want to scroll... Let's get off of it. Well, first of all, check this out. Here we go. Something I've been meaning to do since the start of Shadowbringers. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Not the queue. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ryacore, first time viewer. Welcome. How'd you get it so early? The schedule did, would have led you astray anyway. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, this queue. Let me in. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. Wait for it. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Wait, that's it. What? I thought... <clears throat> I thought I was supposed to see the shoe bill. Someone told me to do that animation because I might see the shoe bill. How is that right? Oh, unbelievable. All right, well, there you go. Am amazing opening, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> he's not always present. What happens when he's present? Is he out the window? I thought it was like a wake-up animation. Why are all these windows shut? Oh, it's only after 5.3. Oh, I see. Oh, weird. Weird, 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 weird. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> is this my in-game house? This is an inn. My in-game house, I did actually decorate a bit last night. Uh, but this is just an inn. Okay, hold on real quick. There was... The Matter of the Roulette. Oh my god, Daily's been again. Wow. I didn't do all my roulettes last night. Um, last night was good, but I didn't spend all the time in uh, FF14. <clears throat> Mostly spent in Discord. I did play this game a little bit with Kerry. Um, then as a group, we watched Shang-Chi. And then, uh, which I'd seen in cinemas this summer anyway, but... And then, um... And then, uh, I was watching Total War stuff, talking about Halo. Um, a couple of my mates got scammed by that Discord bot thing. Just so that you guys know, um, there's a really convincing Disc Discord scam going on at the moment, which is stealing people's Steam accounts. And, um... And it sounds really scary and really, really, really good at what it does. So be careful. If you get any random messages on Discord saying, hey, is this your Steam account? Watch out because they might actually, um, uh, they might get your Steam account. Like, they're very, very clever and very official looking. So be careful. Don't click any links like that. Do you know what's really scary? Um, I think I vaguely remember, like, maybe two months ago or something. Getting a message like that, or someone saying, hey, is this your Steam account? <clears throat> um. Oh my god. It's Biako. Holy shit. I think of the trials as quite short, but this might take a while, right? So, yeah, be careful. Anyway, I'll give you guys good mornings and stuff in a second. But I'm going to have to focus on this, I think. Because I might be a bit bad otherwise. So, um. Yeah, uh. Anyway, that was quite interesting to hear about. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just got to bed too late. And now here we are. But it's a bit brutal, really, because... Um, yeah, it resets 3 p.m. Yeah, I figured that out yesterday. It's a bit brutal, really, because I'm starting to get a little bit depressed with it. Because I really should be making a YouTube video in the morning. Um, so we'll see. Also, I Noct gave me a message. Noct gave me a message the other day. Uh, last night. Saying, hey, by the way, Beta 4 is starting. Guild Wars Beta 4 is about to begin. Which is fucking terrifying. Okay, let's... There's Twin Snakes. And now let's... Oh, I'm fucking up. Because I'm already in perfect balance. Look at all the buffs on me. Oh, no, I didn't fuck it up. I have the complete perfect balance set. I should have forbidden Chakra ages ago, though. Alright, now it's ran out. What's everyone doing over here? <clears throat> Is 
and tornado kick yet either. Where's the spinning? <clears throat> I swear, this is going to make me a lot more um, sympathetic about DPSs and, and trying to not spin too much. Scary, eh? <clears throat> nice. I'm really glad that I didn't uh Did you see a guy gap close? Did you guy did you guys see a gap a guy like shoulder tackled or something? plunged or whatever and I held off and I was like oh should I have done that it didn't seem like a very big gap and then oh I'm getting cleaved sorry everyone sorry um and then he moved again so my play ended up actually working out that <clears throat> come on man we need to get a drink of water okay I can get behind him right I can, um... Did I get my thing up? I didn't get my thing up, for fuck's sake. Oh, no! Oh, no, I didn't fail anything. It's amazing how cool this is in the first run, and then how sort of meh it is. On, well, it's not meh on the next run, but I'm just not marvelling at it at all on the next run. <clears throat> Morning, Lonya. If I first person here... Holy shit. Oh, I actually have to move, don't I? I forgot about this. Don't like the look of that. That just looks weird, having him jump across like that. <clears throat> Man, is the trial series in this... ...this cool looking? I like how eventually he can do that. He says no more games and he just says that. So he could have done that from the start. Like legitimately. To ashes with you. What is going on? Oh, I should uh, riddle of earth, right? Oh, I double... Dumbass. Come on, get the Forbidden Chakra. Ah. Oh my god, we're coming in here. <clears throat> Lightning shift. Oh shit, I see how that works. I sort of I, I sort of messed that up. Anyway. Maybe I wasn't meant to be the one that was in
Maybe ranged DPS and healers were supposed to do that job and not me. I can dig my whole way through my Riddle of Earth. Oh my god, the DPS cooldowns are back. Are we alright in here? I don't think we're alright in here, are we? No. <clears throat> alright, I think I did sort of a medium okay there. Alright, okay. Um, right. Should I do a quick leveling as well? No, no, no. Let's let's not. Let's not. Let's just get straight into the story here. Right, yeah, so uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I tried to put a good amount of work into my HUD. I think there's still some improvements to make. I actually tried to put debuffs back on the party list the other day, but um, uh, it, didn't, it didn't quite look good to me, um, and the preview wasn't working, so I sort of put a pin in it, and I'll, I'll look at it later as well. Okay, so, yeah, let's talk about how, let's talk about things that are going on. Um, beta 4 is tomorrow, as Noct explained to me. It's, it's tomorrow. Isn't there a stream going on, an ArenaNet stream as well, tomorrow as well, about story? Also, Season of the Dragon ends tomorrow. Oh, that was something I did yesterday as well. I was playing some Guild Wars. I got, to, I got some of the Season of the Dragon stuff done. Did that with the carry as well. Um, so that's going on too. Um, okay, and then there's a 24-hour downtime. Okay, guys, can you help me out, please? If you scroll down on the schedule, all right, it would be 5.2 today, and then it would be 5.3 tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, then it would be 5.4 on Wednesday, 5.5 on Thursday, but Thursday you're not allowed to play, are you? Isn't, isn't Final Fantasy down tomorrow? Isn't that true? Thursday is down day. So who was it that said I could make it? I can't make it. Even rushing a patch a day, I can't make it, can I? <clears throat> yeah, well that's the point. So do I do 5.2 and 5.3 today? I wouldn't want to squeeze in the last two in one day. 5.3 is really long. 5.3 is long as fuck for your information. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> you guys think 0.4 and 0.5 can be done in a single day? 5.5 is really short, it's two quests only. Five point four and five point five subathon. I don't know how to do one of these. Oh right, yeah. The third is only early access anyway. Official release is the seventh, isn't it? Five point five is nine quests. Okay, someone said it's two, and the other guy said it's nine. Oh yeah, because it's not just five point five, is it? It's five point five five. Hmm. Cool shard, WP. Yeah. So skill told me to change my outfit. <clears throat> So what's happened here is I'm wearing clothes with like the leopard spotted skin and I actually have leopard spotted skin. You can see it clearly at the tail, which is a bit weird. <laughs> you 
You should also really do the rest of Eden instead of just rushing MSQ. He's wearing his uncle. <clears throat> Oh, Benji says there isn't an arena stream tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I know I'm being a bit low energy here. I'm just reading chat. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. I don't think there is an arena net stream tomorrow. And, you know, the feature one is <clears throat> Friday, December 3rd. I thought there was like a story one. Oh, it's Friday. Right, yeah, because they usually stream on Friday anyways. Yeah, Arborstone Mastery, yeah. Yeah, it's not just an elite spec bear, is it? The fucking turtles in it too. Right, just for just for some clarity here, what was the? Um, I feel like I haven't attuned with one of these, by the way, and it's been bugging me. Crystalline mean, I've got the cabinet of curiosity. I've got this one. I've obviously got the docile gate. I've got universe. Oh, here you go. It's the middle one. Wait, where was it? This one here. Musica Univers... Univ <clears throat> I don't have that one. I had a sense that there was one that was missing, so let's do that. Oh, okay. All right. I think I only came in this room once near the start of the X-Pack. I don't really remember spending much other time here. <clears throat> you started giving Weaver a try in the open world for the first time. What a nightmare. I think I've started to finally settle on a build that feels comfortable. Yeah, there's a few ways to do it. They all feel a bit shit to me, though. Anything too heavily melee is just a bit shit, I think, in the open world. You've attuned to all the Aethernet shards in the Crystarium. Lakeland is now accessible as an Aethernet destination. There you go. So as people were saying before. There you go. Tessellation, Lakeland. <clears throat> Let's try playing Triple Tried with that guy over there. Do you want to be done by the 3rd or the 7th? If it's the 7th, you don't need to rush. You can do Alliance Raids as you go. No, but no, you guys don't get it, though. What's dawning on me is the enormity of shit to do in both franchises right now. Um... Like, realistically, I shouldn't even stream Final Fantasy tomorrow. I should stream Guild Wars tomorrow. And I should stream Guild Wars on Friday. And I should stream Guild Wars on um, probably the day after tomorrow as well. <clears throat> Which is probably reasonable. All right, we're just gonna do we're just gonna do 5.2 today, and we'll just see where the winds take us. Um, just to be clear, yesterday 5.1 that was uh, with the only thing we've skipped, so to speak, right now is near Automata, isn't it? Right. Wait, are you the triple trad guy? That's the only thing that we've we've skipped. <clears throat> Triple tried. Why, well, yes, I'm certainly partial to a game between pouring drinks. It's all the rage amongst our consumers. Uh, sorry, customers. I fucking hate the word consumer, by the way. I use it all the time now, but it would be remiss of me not to learn how to play it myself. Okay. Okay, what did I swap? Shit, that all went real fast. He didn't get knocked, at least. I think he got my Bemoth. Easy play there. Oh, actually, I should have taken it from the bottom. 
That's a bit dumb. So here's the question. Do I go and attack? I can attack later, right? For now, what I'd rather do is defend the Bemoth from underneath. Probably the smartest way to defend it from underneath is, uh, <clears throat> is with the Chimera. Oh my god, he's weak. He's so he's super new. It's not reverse or something, is it? Oh, look at him. He's new. Oh, I'm fucking him up. I'm sorry, dude. This is imbalanced. Oh. Killing not killing someone with knocked on the seven while defending the the one using the A and the nine. You didn't even need them. It's crazy. It's crazy good. There's not some twisted, messed up rule in play here, here is there? Okay, so the question is, do I want the Coblin or do I want the Colibri? I want the Colibri. Oh, dude. Oh, I got an Amaro card. Nice. Even though I lost, you taught me a valuable lesson, my next opponent. Best be careful. <clears throat> oh, I, it just finally dawned on me. It, it, that's why it looks ironworksy. Because Graha is from a 200 year future where the ironworks had done a lot of shit. And he's bringing their technology and their techniques to these people. You should give yourself a day off and use an hour. Use that hour to structure what I want to do. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not stressed. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. <clears throat> the only reason, what I would normally do is I would wake up and I would consider and I would think about these things. But I've been waking up late enough in the day now that it's like into the schedule and I feel like I'm disappointing people. So I, I'm, I'm immediately here, which is what's making me dawn on all this stuff. I mean, that that is what I said a second ago that I'm starting to get a bit... Well, I think I used the word stressed, didn't I? I'm starting to think, you know... I know, we might have to sort something out. It's just, I really thought, it dawned on me just uh, just maybe half an hour ago, that I can't rush through to the third. I just can't. There's no way. Even if there was no Guild Wars stuff, even if there wasn't 24 hours of downtime. <clears throat> right, so anyway, by the way, I got another item too that I wanted to unlock. Um, What was it? I can't remember what it was. It was something. I don't know. Um, oh, maybe I already unlocked it. I think that might be what it is. Here, check check this out. Um, minions. A wind-up echidna. This was the uh, alliance raid I did yesterday. Possibly one of countless clockwork servitors. Uh, crafted by a Gradanian goldsmith. Whose body went missing after being hanged for the crime of ritual summoning. Upon the doll's back is carved the following, and in the endless darkness I found her. Or was it she found me? Advances in Maki sorcery were made for one reason only, cataclysmic destructive power. It's a quote from Kate Sith. <clears throat> so yeah, I got that minion, and I think I got a card as well. Did I get a card? Uh, I don't think I got a card. Very curious what number 15 is. 18, 21, 22. I mean, it does tell me, actually. It tells me that it's from the Gold Saucer. Jonas of the Three Spades. This one comes from Satasha. That's a silver card. That's Helmheart. And then some gold cards. Should we go fight Jonas of the Three Spades? Real quick. Oh, mind you, we're in the first now. Ah, oh, we won't do it. Because TPing all the way back over and then finding the gods. Well, actually, no, it's... Yeah, whatever. We won't do it. We won't do it. We won't do it. Because it's stalling. All right. So, yeah, let's just get on with the story, shall we? He's super easy in the gods saucer. Yeah, I would assume since it's page one, he should be pretty easy. Servers close 9 a.m. your time on Thursday. Thank you for even that specificity there. So, when that 24-hour period ends, is that it? End walkers up when that 24 hours ends. Is that is that the way it works? I would rush to make it to the third. Actually, it's what I'm doing. Almost there, see me. Well, but what's the point, though? What's the point if I can't even... All right, so let's say I rush to the third. Then what? It's early access. I still can't do any fucking videos about it because, again, I'm out. I'm already, It's already too late, you know? 
I'm even going to be leery about story videos at that point anyway. Because <clears throat> they'll be scared that this random YouTuber they don't know is going to slip in a spoiler or something. Or might have played... Like, they don't know the context of my journey, do they? And ha what content I've played and what content I have. And they don't know that. So it doesn't gain me anything to rush for the third. It, it gains me literally nothing to rush for the third. Beyond that... <clears throat> I've got Guild Wars shit to cover anyway. So yeah, I think guys, I'll, I'll aim for the seventh, if anything. But even then, there's no need. So we'll just do 5.2 here today. It's an easy decision. It just took me a little bit of time for my brain to warm up. Right, so we're, well, we're going back to the uh, first end. Fuck it, I'm going to play the I'm going to play the, the gold saucer guy. Because we're going back anyway. Because we, we, this starts with Tataru, doesn't it? So let's go to, um, uh, Thanalan, the gold saucer. If you slow down, I can play Endwalker and keep up with the stream lords. Yeah, yeah, the plan was never to, I don't know why, I don't know what happened the past few games. I don't know why I started rushing. Right, where, what, what, what do we got here? We got, um, the triple triad lo lobby to go to. I also want to get my scratch cards. So we can do that real quick. <clears throat> okay, uh, duly noted weatherman. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Bozja. I mean, well, yeah, I can look at stuff like that. Come come one, come all. Drawing number 3018 of the mini cackpot is here. Care to try your luck with a ticket, sir? Do you think you'll be trying Reaper as soon as that's out, or you save that for when you start Endwalker 2? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really thought of that. 789? 178. Yeah, let's try again. I'm going to try this corner. I'm going to try this bottom corner. I'm going to try this top corner. 1, 2, 3. Yeah! 10k jackpot, baby. One more. Let me try the middle. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh! Way nice. Easy 20k right there. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Two in a row. Two in a row. So good. May the luck be with you. It's the day, guys. Here you go. Jonas of the Three Spades. You're easy, are you? Ah, the cards are in my favor today. You best bring your finest decks against me, friend, because I am on fire. <laughs> okay. Lady Luck left your side the moment you arrived at my table, friend. She's dining with me this eve and will toast my victory with tears of your defeat. <laughs> Jesus. There's a question mark card and a Moogle card. I've already got the Moogle card. It's not really a cheat, is it? The plug-in. But yeah, that's what it was. I think it's pretty scummy the way you just said cheat. It's not a cheat, is it? <laughs> this guy's deck is pretty weak. What's his best thing? The, the demon wall? Cheat suggests you can manipulate the RNG. It's the same game. It just sort of helps you know what to click. Or what's useful to click. Uh, see, I don't have any card. All my cards are weak. The Ifrit is good here. To be honest. Because he's he's good on... Everyone's weak on the left. So if the enemy plays on the right, I'm kind of fucked. It's not very good. I mean, I don't even really have to think this game, do I? It's just overkill. Oh, shit. Actually, maybe I should have done it. Maybe I should have thought a little bit. So, <clears throat> if I take it here, he's going to flip it back. But if I take it here, he, he won't flip it back. Oh, that's brutal for him there. That was brutal. Okay, I didn't get the card, so let's try again. There's an even better strategy than what I was doing. Oh, really? What with the um, uh, the mini cackpot? All right, I play first this time. I'm gonna start with Ifrit here. Okay. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. His deck's just unbelievably weak. 
Oh, why wouldn't you play here? What's the matter with you? You could have done all right there. Oh, I got the full grid. I got all nine. Damn it, he gave me the Moogle, though. I need the other card. Give me the other card. Okay. Jesus Christ, what's going on in the background? Oh no. Oh no, what happened? It's okay, Noctis Noctis will save up save us. Oh wait, hold on though. Oh what happened? Oh shit. I think I lost this one. How did I lose against this guy? Oh wait, it was a draw. It's okay, it's just a draw. Yeah, a rematch. Holy shit. It's because of the all. It's the same rule, right? I gotta be careful. He's got like a secret weapon. Dun, 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 dun. It must be this card, by the way, the Exali, the Exal. In A, you had to beat someone when they used the card to win. Here, I'm gonna do this. This is a nice play. Because oh well. That wasn't a nice play in the end. Well, we could smother the saboteur. Let's do it this way. We'll smother the saboteur. Oh, but then Shinryu smothered. Fucking Shinryu getting taken out by a Spriggan. Oh, I'm not winning this now. Dude, this guy's weak as well or anything. Oh, this was a terrible play. I shouldn't have played the middle. Oh, oh, brutal. Oh my God, it's another draw. Wait, 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 though. Can I play the same rule? I can't play this. I fucked this up. Oh, okay, all right, that's fine. Always in threes. How comes I'm getting a challenge done here? Up for a challenge? I'm getting all this. Is that gill it's giving? That's not XP it's giving me, is it? It's gill. All right, let's not play it that way. Oh, he's not, he's not running the card again now. Let's play Ben Moth down here. I'm going to play to my strengths this time. Go on. Let's see how you deal with Knocked in the middle. Go on then. Same that fucking A, yeah? Let's see what you got. Now I'm going to defend this guy. Yeah. How do you like me now? You've got Moogle. I've got the King Moogle. Ah, oh, there you go. Ixal card. Nice. Okay, they don't have to play it. Ah, oh, my winning streak. Who taught you to play like that? Was it Orophont? <clears throat> okay, that's a Prometheus card. Ixal card. Nice. Now, do you guys want to buy some gold packs with all of our sweet, sweet MGP? Well, I could sell my duplicates as well before we get in there. Amaro. Um, wait. Oh my god. I think that Amaro. Yeah, I didn't have the Amaro. Can I buy it back? I didn't use the Amaro. That wasn't a dupe. Neither is Baderin Ten Fingers. Where the fuck is that card? Here. Where did I get the Amaro from? Oh, I'm, did I win that a minute ago from the guy in uh, in the Crystarium? For Christ's sake. All right, whatever. Moogle. This guy got three of these. Phlegathons. Prometheus. And Zande. I've got two Zandes. All right, look at that. I've almost got 100,000 MGP. Right. Just before I spend this, is there anything else I should spend my MGP on? Do you guys think it's a good idea? Stormblood to Taru Taru is now available. The Dance. Glamour and Emotes. Well, is there anything time-gated is what I guess I'm asking. 
Chapuli. Gold Sorcerer Attendant. <laughs> Nothing time gated. Okay, okay, cool. So I will just keep focus on this. Fish nets for the run side. Does that work? All right, so I'm going to go for gold packs. Now, how expensive is a gold pack? 2,100. Is this quite expensive? Uh, well, Mithril and Imperial are a dream. Oh my god, some of them get really pricey. Actually, Mithril is insanely costly. Oh, there is a quantity thing. So, 10 grand for 5. 20 grand for 10. I'll buy a further 15. Does that sound insane? You bought over 300 before you got the final card you needed. Alright, I'll go up to 20 then. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> okay. Where are you? Here we go. Gold, gold card. Go. Let's sort these as well. There we go. Use. I got Ramu. Hori Boulder and Coltonet. It's pretty cool. Mother Meone. Music's low. Yeah, yeah. well. Ah, oh, but Darren Ten Fingers. I already had that. Oh, it's Hori again. Geralt. <laughs> That's pretty um, fitting for the, the story stuff we've just done. Hori Boulder. Oh, hold on. That's why it's low. I figure that's why it's low. It's because when I when I play at late at night and in Discord, I turn it down because otherwise I can't hear Discord. <clears throat> Mother me own again. Hori Boulder again. Mamodi Modi. Mother me own. God damn it, Mother me own. Look, I like you, Mother me own, but not that much. Six of them, five of them. Hori Boulder. Is there really something else in the loot list? How many haven't I seen yet? It says there's 15, and I've only seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. Oh, oh, I'm a weapon. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Remove again. Another me own. Badder and Ten Fingers. You always buy singles. Do you think your RNG goes up if you buy singles? Oh, I'm a weapon again. Come on, give me something new. We're running out here. Oh, I'm a weapon again. It's something new. At what point is it like a great refund card, though? But Darren? Ah, oh, Geralt. Damn it. All right, well, let's just trigger each one of these. Damn it, I already had both of those. You should definitely do the card packs as early as possible. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're going to play everyone once anyway. Right. <clears throat> so, do I want to buy more? Pro not really. So, I'll sell all of these. Just to be clear, I have them all acquired. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's not a bad refund, is it? You don't get that luxury IRL. You get to exchange them back for such a good price. Did I get everything I needed? No, there's 15 cards that can come out of that. And I only got like six of them. I got a third of what I need. I'd have to buy a lot more of those gold packs. Look at that. We still got a ton of money. Yeah, I got like nothing out of it, really. <clears throat> 
So, Jesus. Maybe I should go for lower hanging fruit. Oh, look at that, though. We've nearly done the first page. Ixal. This aggressive mountain tribe claim the wind-blasted canyons of Zelfotl is their domain. Though their race have long since lost the capacity for flight, the feathered beastmen are fervently proud of their vestigial wings. The Ixal seek to re-establish their presence in the Black Shroud, that they might once again fell trees in worship of their fickle deity, an ambition which places them at odds with the people of Gridania. Mother me own, great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you'll play your part. Who is this? Where's she from, guys? Can anyone teach me? But Darren Ten Fingers, me da once said, if me ma if me ma herself were to stand twixt him life and him venturing, he'd straightaways up and down the wrench. <laughs> I don't really understand what it was I just read. My moddy moddy. Of course, I do enjoy a late hearing a lady muse on the many manhoods of her acquaintance from time to time. Right. Lovely. Ramu, worshipped by the Sylphs of the Twelves Wood, the Lord of Levin is a thunderous entity with boundless knowledge of ages past. His stern, yet just, his judgment is final, and those found guilty of mortal sin will be met with the mighty bolts of white hot lightning. With the ultimate weapon. Why has he got a special icon? Oh, that's just his tribe, isn't it? The relic, a relic of the third astral era. This is good to read, given the cliffhanger of the last story step. The Ultima weapon is a feat of Allegan technology. The same technology which saw the reach of the Allegan Empire extend to the four corners of Hydlin. Upon rediscovery of the mechanical juggernaut buried deep beneath the lands just beyond Alamigo, the 14th Legion of the Imperial Guardian M Army refitted it to serve as a countermeasure against the ever-growing primal threat. They're very, um, they don't really say much there, right? I guess because they got to avoid spoilers. Hori, Boulder, and Carlton, eh? On your feet, Hori. Can't disappoint the younglings. Rawr. And then nothing. All right, well, cool. So here I would need to go to Satasha. Here I play a guy in Eastern Thanlan, and this is from Random Silver Cards. Number 21 is silver cards. Alright, well, all in due time. Mother Miona is the uh, leader of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania. Basically, Gridania's Baderin. Alright, okay. She's one of the three starting towns NPCs that guide you. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Um, where are we? We're level 77. And we could do the monk roll quests as well at some point. Which I do want to do. Oh, and here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Kerry laughed at me last night because... Um, I ha there's, there's a basic blue quest I had never done in Limpsa. Okay, so you ready? It's a whole feature I didn't know about in the game because I hadn't done the quest to unlock it. Where is it? Okay, we're going to the Aft Castle. Oh, here you go. You can actually already see it on screen. Beauty is only scalp deep. It's like a hair cutting makeup NPC or something. And I'd never done it. So we're going to do that quest real quick. Do you care about the cact pot tip? Uh, don't want to spam. I don't know what that is. What's a cact pot tip? Oh, you mean the, uh, the the scratch card thing you were talking about earlier, about doing the triangles or whatever on the corners? I mean, that sounds useful. I mean, it's just maths, though, isn't it? So, I mean, I can't imagine that clicking the green squares is too bad. No matter what I say, all I receive are accusations and looks of horror. I swear this is not what it seems. Do you doubt me too, friend? I do doubt you. Oh, the ignominy of it all. Of course you take her side. For shame. Is there not a sympathetic ear in this entire nation? An artiste of my renown should be welcomed with open arms and a 21 cannon salute. Instead, I'm branded a criminal. The tools of my trade, nay, the extensions of my very soul, ripped unceremoniously from my person like barnacles from the side of a frigate. I will not last long in my weakened state. Not even as we... No, even as we speak, the world around me grows dim. 
With my dying breaths, I speak unto you three names, three kind souls who may yet uh, put right what has gone so f frightfully wrong. Forge Master Nazar of Naldekan Vimels, Guild Master Beaten of the Gridanian Carpenters Guild, and Severin at the uh, Alchemist Guild in Ulda. If there is an ons of compassion with you, uh, <clears throat> if there's an ons of compassion in you, seek them out and tell them Jandalin sent you. When my soul is restored and my name rightfully cleared, all of Limsa, nay the entire realm, will sing your praises. For I am none other than the, the Ace, <coughs> the Ace. Uh, I don't understand. What's the story here? <laughs> the madman insists he's been misunderstood, and the loss of the very appendages of his soul is responsible for his delirious state. Right. So I guess we just run south and grab this guy. One guy in Lamincer, one guy in Gridania, one guy in Uldar. So what is this feature, guys? What does this actually do for me? He just wants scissors. Why is he so upset, though? Does anyone remember what the story is? I mean, I grabbed the first quest earlier. I don't remember it being particularly dramatic. And yet here we are suddenly. Jandalane sent you. Let me guess. The balmy fool's lost his tools. Pardon me. The appendages of his very soul. Again. And it's, th <laughs> it's thrashing and tossing like the day end of days is nigh. Oh, I see. The man brings it on himself. If he toned down the theatrics and went about his work like an earnest craftsman, I dare say he'd save himself these misunderstandings. No, I've not a whit of sympathy for the fool. You, however, have my pity indeed for having to play audience to his whinging. Anyway, this should shut him up for a while. Tell him that if he loses these, I'll graft the next pair to his bloody hands. Cool. Thank you. So we go to the carpenter. All this guild, guys. Uh, he probably hasn't unlocked any of the optional stuff in ARR. Um, no, actually, I've unlocked a lot of it. This is like the one big thing that I would say I probably haven't done. There's obviously quests that I haven't done. Uh, sorry, classes that I haven't done. But this, uh, the reason this is on stream is because I'm surprised that there was a whole thing that I'd missed. I've actually done nearly all the ARR que side quests. <clears throat> I'm actually very, very, very complete with ARR. Where I'm more spotty is the expansions. In the spotties, I've just char uh, in the spotties in the uh, in the stories of the expansions, I've just charged through. So, like, if you look at this map, Gunbreaker, Carpenter, Archer, there's nothing else. Basically, I, I'm pretty sure I've done every every blue quest that's possible, unless it's a class. How the fuck do I get into the Carpenter's Guild? What is wrong with him? Spending too long defending myself from chat here. Oh, there we go. A message. Uh, so he, he's lost another one. Does the man not understand that wood doesn't simply grow on? Uh, actually, it does, at least in a manner of speaking. But the, ma the fact that the fact remains that resources are in short supply. For all his flowery words, if his tools were truly an extension of this very being, one would think he'd found a way to hold on to them for more than a fortnight or two. His skills are not to be doubted, but his temperament leaves much to be desired. Still, it's not my place to judge. Take this to him and let us both hope that he will find he will right his ways. All right, let's go this way. <clears throat> uh, I've already done Hildebrand. I've done Hildebrand ARR. I've already done that. Like I said, I've done all the blue quest. This is like a surprise. Like here, again, Like look, there's nothing available. There's like a triple tri triad game. That's it. And that extends to the open world maps as well. There's like a couple of quests around in Limsa. And I think there's a couple of quests... Um, in like some of the Limpser environment maps, but that's it. Oh, wrong fucking thing. I think maybe I do need a break actually, because <laughs> I think I've been a little bit relentless with this. Wait. 
Can you get to the hosting strip from down here? No. I'm just going to eighth right. Thanalan always confuses me. It's like home base for me, but it always confuses me. <clears throat> Am I going back to all the old content? Well, I'd always wanted to. I'd always wanted to play it all a lot slower, to be honest. But um, when even just the story portion of a stream is like... Out. Wow, that character. Oh, my lord. It's difficult to be completionist when you're trying to juggle two MMOs at once. I'll put it that way. Uh, Alchemist. Did you do the post-Moogle quest in Limsa? It's not a blues quest, but it's still quite cool. Possibly. There's a good chance I didn't, though. because li Again, Limsa's like the place that there's still quests remaining. That's why I learned about this, because I was doing those idly. I was doing some random little quests there. Just trying to round out the part. I probably, I would say, I've probably done somewhere between 90 to 95 percent of all the ARR quests, and that last 10 percent, they're they're limps of things. You've come on behalf of Jandalane. Why? I just furnished him with a fresh batch of my special creations last week. I realised the man's services are in demand, but it would be physically impossible for him to exhaust the entire supply so soon. Stolen, you say? An unfortunate turn of events, indeed, if not entirely unexpected. You see, the man's something of a genius, and genius is often misunderstood by modest minds. Trust me, as I speak from extensive personal experience. Yes, great minds must band together in trying times, lest the realm be deprived of our talents. And so I command you, deliver this parcel to Jandalane at all speed. Okay. <clears throat> that guy was a dick to me in my quests. Right. If you can wait until the second, it'd be great for viewers that are going to play Endwalker. Wait, well, uh, first of all, the game's down on the second. So there, that's Dancer Quest. That's that blue quest. Uh, that's a Rogue Quest. That's Arcanist. And aside from that, what have I got? I've got a level 3 quest called Back in the Water. A level 14 quest called Good What Ails You. The Right Price. Elderweiss, Elderweiss, a level 1 quest. And that's sort of it. Well, the other map might have some. That's where we're going, anyway. Where do you want me at? Probably the aft castle. I'd recommend the post Moogle quest once you've caught up. Is it one of those that I just moused over? This map has... A level 4 quest. Blacksmith. Culinarian Marauder. See? And that's it. Those are the only blue quests. And then there was this, which is just like random. I think that last one is the post Moogle. No, I know that the post Moogle one isn't 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 blue. You already explained that. There's none to compassion in you, friend. I beg you, retrieve for me the tools of my trade, for I am none other than Janeline the the here. Here. I just went on a world tour for you. Could this be? <laughs> this animation. Yes, I can feel it. The light returns to my eyes. Power courses through my fingers. I live. And as I live, this unspeakable embodiment of ugly must die. Uh, ugliness must die. Be gone, foul demon. <laughs> the Lana fell like freaking out, being scared. <laughs> I'm glad they put the sparkles on that because I don't know if I'd say that's a great haircut otherwise. And so I ask, how do you feel, madam? Why, it's as if in but a single magnificent moment I travel beyond the void and return to life as the embodiment of all that is beautiful in this world. Could it be? Yes, it must. How else do I explain such power? You're the one whose coming was foretold. You, yes, you are the aesthetician. Aesthetician. In the flesh, madam, I am Jandalane, the crafter of coiffures, so that so divine that Mafina herself both doth begrudge my clientele their beauty. But let us speak of you, madam, for where a moment ago stood a fashion challenge frump, now there stands a beauty reborn. <laughs> 
I like the wide cut, the cut to a wide shot there with just silence. Oh, God. And you are the one I must thank for reviving my soul, that I might once again bestow my gifts of the realm purely bereft of beauty, a kindness I intend to repay in full. Do you fear that your own hairstyle is becoming passé? Fear the spectre of <gasps> ugliness threatening to consume you? Fear not, friend, for it shall not survive my wrath. Oh, what? Well, well, I don't get a choice. As a madam before you, as this very realm we call home, from an abyss of unfathomable drabness, you shall rise anew. My clients have been known to make reservations, moons, even years in advance, but you shall know no such troubles. No, for proving such a staunch ally to, to good taste when all others turn a blind eye, I shall gladly place myself at your beck and call. Yes, the next time you find yourself plagued by aesthetic and ennui, you need to only ring the bell from the comfort of any in-room at which you have taken up lodgings. Oh, when we come to the first... Jandalane shall hasten to the scene. Yes, in a flash, the dreary, uninspired life that you have hitherto known shall end. You shall travel the realm beyond and return to us as... A beauty reborn. I give you this as a token of trust between us. Treasure it, for it is the key to the world of aesthetic wonders ordinary men shall never know. Oh, the post Moogle quest starts in Mordona. To be fair, I've got a bunch of quests there. A lot of those quests I can't even do without a high-level craftsman, though. Oh, Master Jandalane, do come back. I've not made my next appointment. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> this walk. <laughs> Can he actually come to the first? All right. You don't understand, he's a misunderstood genius. That's why he can't walk normally. <clears throat> right, speaking of Mordona, let's go to Mordona. To be honest, Mordona might have a hidden blue quest as well. This might be another place where there is actually a blue quest, because there are a lot of things. Now this is Alliance Raid extra reward. That's some other end game recyclable reward. Toll booty is a quest I need to do. Take with the tons of salt. That's a level 70 quest. That must have unlocked at some point in Stormblood. It's probably like the Flamin quest we did. We must have missed it when it happened though. Over here. That's the last levs unlock I need to do. Yeah, so there are some things here. Try the Astition? Why? I like the way I look. Is this a, if this is an actual inn, I will I will try it, but it's not a real inn, is it? You don't even know if it works for Hrothgar? Oh really? Does it not work for Hrothgar? Mordona has some yellow quests that should be blue, like the Diamond Adventurer Guild. Oh, really? What is WP up to today? Because this doesn't look like 5.2. Does this look like 5.2? Was I one right click away from proving to you that it's 5.2? No, guys, we already did a massive Twitch chat vote on how I look. So that's how long people will be settled with it. Eight days. And then and then they want to have another vote for another thing. <clears throat> Cryo is glad for your return. Though it remains to be seen if she has glad tidings to share. It does work for Hroth. It's just a bunch of people talking about stuff they don't know. Well, they're only guessing. To be fair, they didn't say it doesn't work. They said they don't know if it works. A lot of stuff is disabled for Hrothgar. I think that's a reasonable thing to wonder about. 
Macon, what a pleasant surprise. Okay, so... Alright, so here we go. I'm going to recap what happened yesterday. You guys ready? Here we go. We beat Emmett. With the help of Ardbert, who rejoined with me. So now I'm eight times to join. Seven calamities plus me and Ardbert. <clears throat> as he died, Emmett caught a glimpse of us as an Amorotian. So we're clearly one of those original souls from Amorot, but we got sundered. So the question is, who are we? I think we're the 14th member of the convocation, but I don't know anything about that character. So we're just putting a pin in that for now. Next. There's another character that might be the 14th member of the convocation, which is coming up in a second. Uh, so, so the question is, how do we get home? So, we're coming up a bunch of theories with how to get back. We also, in the process of that, figured out that we might be able to detemper people. And we might be able to save that little boy's life, Hallrick's life. Hallrick? Was that his name? Um, who sort of lost his mind um, at Journey's head. So, Alice has now learned how to summon a little piggy, a porksy. So, that's going on. Um, and, uh, we had a whole bit of the patch before. A huge section of the patch was just sort of concluding the Yulmore story. Um, helping Chinas and stuff and, and get, getting them into power and, and sorting that out. So, I think Yulmore's probably done. It, that bit, honestly, well, it was fine and it was fun, but it was a little bit of a lower point, I would say. A little bit more tedious or whatever, let's say it, put it that way. Uh, so anyway, we've done that. Then, when we finished the quest, there were three major story beats. One, Istinian, Istinian and Gaius got split up. Xenos killed his dad. We already knew that anyway. So the Empire is in civil war again. We heard a, a passing mention of another, like, ruler of the Galian Empire. I can't remember their name anymore. But they were mentioned for a brief moment. Estinian found an Ultima weapon in development with a dead body attached to it. We found out that they can manufacture Aurasite. Manufactured Aurasite. Um, we found out Okay, so then Xenos doesn't even care. He doesn't even want the throne. He killed his dad. He doesn't even want the throne. So as he's leaving, he gets approached by what looks like another white-robed Asian, But it's not Elidibus. It's someone else. And that Asian says, hey... Or question mark Asian Says, hey, I can help you kill Zodiac, basically. Zodiac is the ultimate prey. So... The question is, who is that character? Now, that might also be the 14th member of the convocation. It might be me, it might be them. Or, my main theory for that other person is that they're one of the summoners of Heidelin. That's still around. That's my biggest guess. I think that would be quite cool. So, there's that. Then, another thing, by the way, is in our research for how to get back here, um... We're looking into the mystery of the elegant eye because that seemed to bestow and transfer consciousness and stuff. So there might be a way to do that. We got to transfer consciousness, right? Um, and the elegant eye could do that. And Unai and Doga, their consciousness got got moved through their their cloned bodies and shit. So the elegants clearly figured out how to do it. So we're gonna try and learn about that. <clears throat> so, so that's it. And chat is continually joking about Sid's dad, which I'm afraid to say has not appeared yet. Now, this is the Bosja patch, isn't it, though? So maybe he'll be there. It's difficult to tell. Nerva, that's it. Nerva, in real life, was one of the five good emperors during the Roman Empire. So we're close to the Byzantine arc of the Guardian. Okay, yeah, in real life, Rome had like five good emperors in a row, right? Isn't that like a well-known thing? They're the five good ones. So anyway, so there you go. So that's the story. And we continue along. I don't think I've forgotten anything. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. I forgot a major thing. Yeah, and then I saw Ardbert, but evil. Like, ominous Ardbert. So, no idea what's going on there. That was the final moment. Which was a complete mind blow to. Alright, so, let's do it. Macon, my, what a pleasant surprise. If you come to inquire about the Archons, fear not. Master Matoya's treatment has proven effective in stabilizing their corporeal aether. We mustn't grow complacent, however. Potent though these magics may be, they're not without limits. We can only hope they afford us enough time for the Crystal Exarch to complete his work. If only we could go to with you to the first and help. Dot, dot, dot. Pardon the interruption, but I come bearing urgent news. Who is this? Oh, it's Maxima! Dude! <gasps> Maxima's still alive! I thought Maxima would be dead by now because he's a good Garlean. Ah, Macon, it's been far too long, my friend. Hello? You ever met Kryle? Forgive me, I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Maxima, former Garlean ambassador. I remain here. Oh, wait, what happened to, um... Yotsuyu's brother. Is he still alive? Why don't I remember Yotsuyu killing him? You think the game volume is kind of low? Okay. Stabbed with two swords. Oh, yeah. No, I do remember. It was outside the Enclave, wasn't it? It was outside the Enclave. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, that completely... That just completely left my brain there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, she ki Oh, wait. No, it was her killing her parents of the Enclave. She killed him after the trial. Okay, I don't remember it then. I don't remember that. Why don't I remember that? I remember fighting. We're talking about when she became a primal, right? She pulled a Thordon, which was his plan. And then he was going to escape. How did he... So once once she stops being a primal, what? She was just wandering around fine, was she? After I did the trial, Asahi he shot her twice. Said you really should learn to finish the job or something. He came into gloat, she levitated him, had a giant speech, and stabbed him to death. I really don't remember. I'll have to watch the cutscene. Anyway, Maxima, former Guardian ambassador. I like how Maxima was introduced at the side of Asahi. And then it's ended up being, you know, this whole other thing. I remain here in Eorzea under the auspices of Commander Uldin, offering what counsel I can in the hopes of resolving the present conflict with the Empire. Ah, yes. I'd heard stories of a defector from Garlemald, but never mind that. You said you have urgent news. Indeed. As you may have heard, the Imperial capital is in turmoil and a sizable portion of the Garlean forces have been recalled from the Gimlet Dark. With their numbers so greatly diminished, the main host of the Alliance has withdrawn, leaving the Alamegan resistance to keep watch over the border. And it is there we have a most welcome, uh, un a most unexpected visitor who claims that de-escalation may belie the growing dangers and unforeseen threats. Commander Uldin has arranged for an impromptu meeting uh, to discuss these revelations. He has also requested a representative of the science attend as well, uh, though it was clear to whom he wished I extend this invitation. Me, baby! It seemed time, time is of the essence. Well, you'll not be attending this meeting alone. Though I'm not as well versed in the affairs of city-states as our comrades, I see no reason to burden a single scion with all of this. Yes, of course. Uh, then we must take make for the Alamegan Quarter with all haste. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going, you two! Okay.
All right. Oh, a friend request. Yeah, I'd love to um, have a friend request here. There you go. Uh, I'd love to be friends in game, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, more people chilling out and hanging around. Um, yeah, I kind of don't want to go watch that cutscene. This is brutal, man. Playing it all in a row like this. I don't know whether this is just my forgetfulness. Or whether it's that it's just so much story to cram so quickly. But I feel really bad. I genuinely feel really bad that I've forgotten that. Is there an inn at Alamigo? Because I, I, it was only last month. And I was loving all that stuff. Um... If there's an inn there, then I'll stay at that inn, and I'll watch the cutscene at that inn, but I don't know whether there is. No, but we're not going to Kugane, we're going to Alamigo. Watch the cutscene while getting your hair cut. Can you do that? Oh, thank you very much for the sub, my soul Sean. Thank you. Uh, you're the one and only today. Thank you very much. It's a lot. One of the reasons it's fun to watch new people go through is it's easy to forget half the stuff. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I feel like... I don't know. I mean, obviously, if you get a whole year to interpret and linger on certain story beats and think about them, obviously, you are going to retain it a bit better. Or at least I think so, maybe. Where's the easiest inn to go to? I don't even know. What's like a touchstone kind of inn in the game, guys? It would be nice if there was one here. Kugane's one you can teleport to. Oh, really? Um, the Far East. Kugane? For forgetting so much because you've been in and out of this game so many times, I want to replay the whole thing or not. Yeah, okay, uh, that's one thing though, guys. The other thing is, what if you had all just played it this month? Some of you guys watching me play it this month might remember that. Should remember that. Gridania's in is probably the fastest. I mean, this wasn't too bad. Hello. Also, I can't remember when the last time we stayed here was. I think we did it like once. Right. Um, the unending journey. So, it's gonna be... <clears throat> main scenario, post-Stormblood. So, that's Gimlet Dark and the Xeno stuff. The Will of the Moon? That oh, yeah, no, that's in reference to them. Um... Oh god, but what quest? Oh. Under the moonlight? moonlight? This is definitely the end of some stuff. We find Xenos' cutscene, right? Well, that's just... This is clearly just the tomb. It's not here. The will of the moon. You think it's this one? Really? No, it's not going to be this. It's not the will of the moon. I don't know, unless someone can tell me the quest. That I mean, this is a billion quests and a billion cutscenes. For something not even related to 5.2. Above, under the pale moonlight. The primary agreement? Wait, it's on under the moonlight or it's above under the moonlight?
It's the primary agreement. Yeah, okay. So last cutscene maybe of the primary agreement agreement? So now we've got to find seven cutscenes in here. You guys think it's cutscene six? My, my. We're too late. Cutscene five. Lord Zenos. This is the, just the flashback. Okay, she, she's down. I don't even remember the room looking like this. Remember this. None of this is familiar to me. Like, not even remotely familiar to me. You really must learn to finish the job. Was this the dream? Uh, there was one stream where I had like, I think it was like a beer or something while I was streaming, like uh, during the Stormblood era. Was this the stream? Tis true that a gaudy mirror and a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. But even the weakest icon is a god of sorts. A threat that must be put down. Okay, I remember this. This is familiar to me. I did, there was definitely a Stormbud drink where I had a, a Stormbud stream where I had like a couple of drinks. But my, not, my, nothing such crazy. Hostility. These beings are the sworn enemies of the Empire. I merely did my duty as an Imperial officer. Like, I didn't get drunk on stream or anything. I was fully cognizant and remembered everything, but maybe that's why it slipped. Was it today? Was it this stream? Will you surrender to anger then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe. Ha! You cannot, of course. To do so would burn the bridges we have labored so hard to build. Oh, but I'm forgetting. They're already ash. This doorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally itself with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that Okay, point. I remember all of this. This is all familiar to me. I remember this. <laughs> I remember this crazy laugh as well. I don't remember the room looking like this, but I do remember it this. should have been mine. The power. He bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have repaid his faith. No one alive loves him more than I. Instead, this harlot. Oh, I remember this. Trust. I remember this as well. A useless piece of filth. Worthless I whore. Yeah, I remember this. I don't remember this. <laughs> what the fuck? This happened? <sighs> Thank you, dear brother, for this precious gift. Vengeance. I remember this. This was when you said you loved Alphanite's balls. Yeah, I remember that as well. 
That's when he says he goes. he's going to the Empire. I remember all of that. I don't remember this. I don't remember this levitating cross swords thing. These people are people. They ignore the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Cast aside that which is dirty and broken. Speak not of things which would disrupt their dreary little lives. Like you, Asahi. Always pretending not to see. You were the first. The first I swore to kill. Vaguely recall that line. I love how quickly he racked dolls to the floor there. Right, okay, okay, I get it. And now she's dead too. They're both dead. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm genuinely worried. I'm concerned that I forgot that whole bit. I don't know why I forgot that whole bit. I think in my memory he just walked off. And it would have been totally like Final Fantasy XIV to have had that happen. God, what the fuck else have I forgotten? Someone quiz me on something. Let's see if I forgot there's someone else. Someone, someone quiz me on something else. What the hell, man? Wait, what am I doing? That's not right. That's clearly not where we need to go. <laughs> right, Giribanya. I'm oh, looking forward to seeing Rabon. Who is Xenos' father? Varus. To Tyru's last name? It's Taru. What's Minfilia's new name? Reen. What are the Sahagin called on the first? Oh, God. Sahagin. <laughs> they are Sahagin. Got him. Uh, you, you did get me there. You freaked me out. Uh, what, all right, what else? What is Ashla and what is Umbral? Umbral is light, it means stasis. Ashla is dark, it means movement. Sort of. They're also polarities for other elements, as well as possibly being elements in and of themselves. Um, what are the Rogadin called in the first? Rogadin. What are all the races of the first? Oh, sorry, on the first. Oh, shit. I thought you meant the source. Well, that was some old man brain there. <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah, Ondo on the first. Sorry, I thought you asked me... I got that reversed. <laughs> Who's Phoenix? Louis Soir. Who is riding home? I don't know yet, really. That's a passing grade, but you're on the edge, young man. Why are we falling? I think that's a metaphorical sort of allusion to the the fall from grace as immortal beings filled with aether to being fragments split across 14. That's what my guess is about the falling. Who's Horshafont? Who's Zodiac? It's a summon that... Come on, this shit's easy. Where's Horshafont's grave? Outside Ishgard somewhere? What's the real name of Minfilia from the source? Askilia? Askilla? Askilla? The Griffin's favorite line, famous line. Sloppy! 
Who has the tiny paws? I, I don't know the answer to that. Which of the twins has a hair parting on the... I don't know. I don't know. The, 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 the boy. How did Spore 3 become a Sin Eater human? He was the product of... He's literally the child. He's like half and half. He's literally born of man mating with Sin Eater. And then he just ate and ate and ate. He was doomed to be what he was. We need to start every stream with 20 minutes of brain exercises. Yeah, keep the quizzes coming. Who is E? Wrong franchise. There is no E in this one. And we don't even know. What are the names of the four houses of Ishgard? Helianate, Durandair, Four Tomp, Dismile. What is the name of Bahamut's girlfriend and where is she? Tiamat and she's on Azisla in stasis. And she's been irrelevant to the story, basically, which is disappointing. Who is Seto? Fuck, who's Seto? Can't remember. I'm supposed to know that. That's not the composer, is it? Wrong. Emmett converted. Wait, what? Emmett converted fetal Hume Vore 3 into half Sinia. Oh, was it? I didn't get that impression from that cutscene. Name Ardbert's party, the Warriors of Darkness? I don't know. I only know Brandon's name. The other ones flashed by. I'm, I don't feel bad about not knowing that. I did the start of Eden. What happened to Gosetsu? He got depressed and went off on an adventure. That's it, right? Saddest character in Shadowbringers? Seto is the saddest character in Shadowbringers. What? Tesleen is... Well, that's messed up. Who's Seto? Seto is an animal. Oh, Seto's the big Amaro. Oh, fuck off, guys. That was like 10 minutes. He was in it for like 10 minutes. Oh, Ardbert Tamaro. Whatever. He was in it for like 10 minutes. I don't care about forgetting Seto's name. Seto was striking, but whatever. An impactful 10 minutes. What is 10 minutes to like 300 hours? Big deal. Seto's story isn't finished yet. Oh, well, there you go. If there's more Seto later, then fine. But uh, so far, he's been in it for like 10 minutes and I don't feel bad. What's the name of your pixie wife? Feo Ul. I promise you'll remember Seto after the following quest. Well, f still fuck off. What do you mean? I can't be judged for that. I haven't even played the story yet. I haven't even played it yet. <laughs> yeah, all right. He can have a great voice actor. If he's only in it 10 minutes, then it doesn't matter. More, more quizzes. Who is Sid Garland? He's the son of an empire man that blew up the city of Bosja. Who's the artist before Alphano in Yulmore? Oh, God. The name of the guy that got thrown over. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the guy that got thrown over. What was the name of that artist? Oh, Kaishir. I thought Kaishir was the guy. He wasn't the guy that got thrown over, was he? Kaishir was the guy trying to get up. I don't think it wasn't Kaishir, was it? Tristel. Tristel was the guy's name. Who was the Asian who kidnapped Minfilia on the source? An Asian who kidnapped Minfilia on the source. Well, it might have been Lahabrea, but he was posing as Thancred most of the time. Was it like Eorgim? I can't remember that storyline. What happened to Edda Black Bosom and who is she? Oh, I have no idea. Who's Edda Black Bosom and who is she? Who is that? What is the name of the lake in Lakeland? The source. Also the Asian who killed Moonbreeder. 
I can't remember. I can't remember their name. If it's not Eorgium, I, I don't know. Nabrialis, that's it. Yeah, yeah, Nabrialis. And he was a bit of a renegade. Edda is Palace of the Dead stuff. Oh, well, I haven't beaten Palace of the Dead yet. How does white aurasite work? It's like super high capacity aurasite, but it can't hold Aether for very long. Or some shit. Right? It's like super high capacity, but it can't hold it for long. Is that right? It can take a soul in it. Who the fuck is Ken? And why does he get to have his own island that is also a magical fey whale? Oh, because of the Isle of Ken? Yeah, I don't know. What have Eora called on the first? Vs. Vs. What happened at Silvertear? The Agrius was flying over it. Midgasorma broke it, grabbed it, and blew it up. And kickstarted the events of 1.0. What does Akmorn translate into? I don't know. I don't even know what Akmorn is right now. Is that a dungeon? Is that a location? How did I reach the Tempest? By sailing there with um, Bismarck. Bismarck is his name, right? What's Emmerich's favorite food? Wine? I don't know. What's his favorite food? Jelly. <laughs> What's his favorite food? What's Emmerich's favorite food? Coffee. I don't know. What is it? Who was Vorthry's left hand? Not right. Well, it was Ranji and I can't remember the guy's name. That was yesterday and I've forgotten it. Jellied eels? Custard? What does Feo all refer to as? My sapling. Little sapling. Come on, more guys. Quicker, more. Name of Ishtola's sister? Ishtola has a sister? I can't remember Ishtola having a sister. She's got a sister. Who's the sister? What's Minfilia's catchphrase? I don't know. Go do this for me. She was in the Heavens Ward, mate. MSQ. No fail, always the branch. You are the sapling. That's what I was asked. What she calls me. And I said, I'm the sapling. Name five people on the Council of 14. Oh, the Asians. Just name five Asians. I don't think I could do that. Ishtola's sister is in Gridania, the summoner trainer. Well, I've never played summoner. What's the name of the Asian that Ardbert defeated in the first? Ardbert killed an Asian in the first. I don't remember that. Who will be Magni's son? Uh, like the Great Khan or something. Khan? Khan? The Great Khan? Is that what his son is? That will be his title, is it? Who's the Shadow Hunter? Gaius Van Belsar. What island or country did the Dragon Kind hail from? Mercidian. No one, because he got burnt. Don't ask questions about 5.4 or whatever that patch is. Chat is starting on spoilers. Okay, someone asked me about Asahi. <laughs> is Asahi alive? <laughs> Where does Cthulhu live? On the 13th. What is the name of the Lalafell who welcomes you to the Adventurer's Guild? I don't even really know what the Adventurer's Guild is. What's the Adventurer's Guild? Who loved Dango? Yotsuyu. What is the Adventurer's Guild? Her sister helped pluck Ishtola from the live stream. Oh yeah, I do remember that. It's Mithra, and you meet her earlier in the Summoner quest line. She also calls her name the Bloody Banquet. I remember. I remember that now. What is Sardu's gender? I can't remember what Sardu is or who Zardu Sardu is. Yeah, what's the Adventures Guild? I don't know. When did Elidibus first appear? Post Heaven Sword? No, no, no. After ARR, he was in the after ARR. He literally just walked up to us in the in the uh, Vesper Bay, and he was like, "Hi, don't worry, I'm not going to attack you." It was ages ago. Which dragon is imprisoned on Azeroth? T Tiamat. We already talked about. That. WP, will you play the beta tomorrow? Yes. Who saved me from the bloody banquet? Minfilia. Didn't she? Oh, well, no. I mean, 
once I got out of the tunnel, it was the cart guy, the guy from the very beginning of the game. Or like his brother or whatever. He was like, yeah, I'll take you up to Heaven's World. I'll take you up to Ishgard. Who died in the Icebrood Saga finale? Ryland. That's the one death I'll accept. The Adventurers Guild, masters of each starter town, are basically the first NPC that gives you the serious starter quest that aren't press your keyboard to move. Oh, so it's the people at, like, uh, Thanalan at the bar in Thanalan. Who is Teleji Adeleji? So he's a Lalafell in Uldar, who, um... He was either the guy trying to poison Nanamo, or he was the guy that saved Nanamo from getting poisoned and twisted it to his own ends. I think he was the second guy. He's just an entrepreneur. entrepreneur. He's a member of the syndicate. And he's a bit of a dickhead, but he's a schemer. What is Lollarito's favorite food? Couldn't tell you. Teleji Adeleji's neither of those people? I like how I explained it's either one guy or the other, and you just say wrong. Like, what a lovely person you struck me as. I love Guild Wars 2, that's why I draw Endwalker art on my Lalafell right now. Who was the most sacred rule of the Dwarf Beast Tribe on the first? What was the most sacred rule? To say tally-ho to people. Who's your boyfriend in Heaven's Ward? Amaric? How do you pronounce Hraysvelga? Like that. Hraysvelga. Mogan or Moglin? I don't know what that's even referring to. What is Tatari's job? Receptionist? Spy? Information broker? I mean, not quite a spy like a Thancred spy, but everyone seems convinced she's a spy. <laughs> Receptionist is like the front name of it, isn't it? Dark Knight or Monk? Dark Knight for streaming, Monk for off stream. She's the Shadow Broker from Mass Effect. Treasurer? Is that a, is that a title? Treasurer? Primal. Oh, he doesn't know yet. The Dwarf Rule. Might need a healer. Job roll? Quest line? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Tatari wears leather worker gear, so technically she's a leather worker. Why was Nidhogg mad at the Ishgardians? Because they killed his sister. Um, whose name was... Oh, fuck. See, there it is. That's a, that's a gap I should not have. Why have I forgotten? Starts with an R. Oh, Ratostoska. Ratatoska. Jesus, I cut totally blanked on that. I wouldn't have got that in a million years. Ratotoska. You're right, I recognize it now. Fuck! How many siblings does Bahamut have? Six? There's seven dragons, aren't there? Wasn't it a clutch of seven? I don't know all of their names. Thank you for the gift sub, Gear to Gnomes. Much appreciated. What was the name of Nidhogg's lair? Uh... It was on an island surrounded. It was like a tempest as well, wasn't it? Wasn't it called the tempest? I'm gonna cheat and have a look here. Oh, maybe I can't see it. Oh, well, what if I took it here? It was up here or something, wasn't it? The veil? Was it called the veil? Who was the first of Zerdragoon? The first Azur, well, Istinian, me. Who was the first Azur Dragoon? I can't remember that. Who's Hancock? Hancock's the guy in um, um, the Far East who uh, hung out with Tatario a lot. John Lennon, everyone called him. Haldrath was the first Dragoon. I wouldn't have got that. And I'll probably forget that again. How many times did you play hide and seek in 14? Hide and seek? Never? Uh, 
But was he and who did he work for? I don't know what you're getting at with the Azure Dragoon thing, guys. Why is this char so chunky? I wanted to play a, a Hrothgar, so. You can find the name of the Levi Duty Finder. What is it? Do I feel bad about not remembering this one? Somal? What did that dramaturge on Prima Vista want 10 of after you got him one? Wine? Bacon bread or wine? I think wine. Who's your daddy and what does he do? Hancock, what was his profession and who did he work for? He worked for Lollarito, didn't he? Or Telegi Ad Alegi? Telegi Ad Ad Alegi? Wait, one of those two. And he was, he was like a member of the... Didn't he work for the syndicate? Isn't that what that was? What's Bray Fox's daughter's name? In the Alexander raid. Oh, don't quiz me on the Alexander raid. Uh, Bray... Wait, Bray Fox was in that story? What, the Bray Fox? What the fuck? I can't remember that. There was a cat. There was a time-traveling cat. I'm not going to get that. There's no way. What is the name of Sid's dad? I don't know. I don't actually know that, do I? Are you just joking around? What was the name of the Amarantine that seemed sentient? And why was he semi-sentient? I can't remember his name. But he was... Um, it was like... It was like... Hydralacanth or some shit. But he... Um, he was, uh, he speculated that Emmett might have been a little bit distracted as he was being created. Which meant that he was a bit more sentient than the others and he realised what was actually going on. That was it. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Oh, Hydra, Hythrodeus. I was pretty close, right? Hydra, homie. What did the Company of Art Heroes ask you to get for the banquet in Brayflox? In Brayflox's long stop. Cheese. I can't really remember what the company of heroes is, by the way, but it's cheese. It was cheese in there. Who's the patron god of Uldar? And what's the joke around him? Thal, and the joke is about his balls. <laughs> Am I right? Thal's balls? Where do you debate in Amarot? The debate center? How did the Crystal Tower get to the first? It includes three raids. Uh, the 200 years in the future, the descendants of the Ironworks, including Big the Third, Bigs the Third, studied what was learned in the Omega Raid, studied what was learned in the Alexander Raid, and they pulled the whole fucking thing through, basically. But Grahatia was the only one that could go. Oh, and they also studied what happened in the Crystal Tower Raids, I suppose, to a certain degree, with the portal that was being opened to the 13th, but instead they opened a portal to the first. Something like that. They're pretty hand-wavy about it, but it, it, it works. The vibe works. Why does Titan in the Gaia Raid series manifest with wheels? Because he's an all-terrain vehicle. I don't know. All-Titan vehicle. Why does he have wheels? Am I supposed to know that? How many hells do Aeorzeans believe there is? Seven hells? But that's just that's just a phrase, isn't it? I don't think they actually do, do they? Do you know Lahi? Lahi is a song that plays in the Great Rat the Ratika Greatwood. And it cuts in at the beginning with a la sound, which happens after every fight, so everybody found it funny. At uh, a later point, the game's composer... Uh, what's the guy's name? I can't remember. The, guy's, the guy, he had cancer, and it was very sad during these patches. But he went on stage, and he sang that song with a straight face. Socken. Yeah, it is Socken. So wait, what's the Amaro's name again? What's the Amaro? I was going to say Socken, but then I thought, oh, Seto. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Seto and Samurai. What is the name of Astinian's new armor? Uh, tattered Cloth? I don't know. I, I don't know. What are the names of the two Aura deities? The Sun and Moon? I can't remember. What is the free trial level cap? Oh, there's, that's good. Some mechanical questions. Um, 60. 60. What is Astinian's last name? 
I got no idea. What is Alphano's class job? Uh, oh, I know this one. Yeah, just just give me a second. Uh, I definitely know this one. Uh, it's um. <clears throat> Yeah, it's Aka, uh, just off the top of my head here, it's Academic, Academician, Academician. <laughs> Which Astro ability a tank supposed to stand in? The Golden Ring, I don't know what it's called. What is the entire optimal monk rotation? What color is Graha's eye before they're both red? Before it's red? Oh, that's cruel. Green? I played 14 recently and it's missed a lot of quality of life and obviously the more action oriented combat. Something I really miss though is dungeons and raids with the dedicated roles, challenges. I'd really want to scream about Guild Wars 2 needing these, but I'm sure that would be redundant. How do you feel about it? Yeah, I think Guild Wars just needs more content, man. Um, the Golden Ring. Well, what is it then? What is it? How many blood spiller or quietus can you put in the delirium window? Six? Five? Six? Somewhere around then. Does it matter? What's Sid's company called? The Garland Ironworks? Is that it? It's called Earthly Star. Well, how does the name Amarok come from? It was a real life Greek city, yeah? A real life Greek city? Third time's a charm. During the fight with good God King Thordon, you learned about his giant sword. What is its name? It's a Guild Wars 2 name. Caladbog? How to use Hayosho Hanyuri. Oh, it's called the Ascalon. Um What is a Hayosho Hanyuri? I don't I don't know what that is. Some East Asian thing. Is Gunderbald bald? <laughs> uh, I imagine him to be bald. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no, trick question, he's not bald. What? What are the words of power used against Numo, and why is it so effective? What are the words of power to use against Numo, and why is it so effective? It's probably like, hey, can you help me? Will you be my patron or something? Is that it? Will you be my patron? Amorite is from an old book called Utopia. I don't know. What are the magic words? All right, all right. Well, you're, give me like... Five to ten more questions and we'll, we'll get in there. Here we go. Beg, shake, sit, heal. I don't remember that. Who kicked the sylph in the waking sand? Someone kicked a sylph in the waking sand. No idea. No memories. Because the Numo dogs. Oh, is that actually a thing then, is it? Or are you just joking around? True or false was Lisa True Scion. No, she wasn't. She was like, well, the real Lise was, I think, but Lise wasn't. No, not really. She wasn't an Archon, I'll tell you that. The Witch of Dalmasca, Livia Sass Junius. What's that in reference to? Okay, come on, like nine, eight or nine more questions. Who's Alphano's father? I have no idea. He alluded to him before, though. Once. He's been alluded to once. I know his grandfather, not his father. Who is the guy leaning against the cart in the Anamegan Quarter? Anafrid. Anafrid's been listening to this, and he's thinking, what the fuck is this? Who streams like this? That's what he's thinking. I've seen countless people just charge through it doing the quest. What the fuck is this? I don't understand. And now he's nodding in agreement. Eda, yeah, the real Eda. The real Eda was. What's the name of Lise's sister? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the disapproving face. This is how I think a lot of people are, are feeling. <laughs> what nation of Eorzea is still completely blocked off from everyone else? Uh, a nation of Eorzea still completely blocked off from everyone else? Aeorzea uh, is... See, I'm bad at geography as well. I don't know. My geography's bad. Is this Aeorzea or is Aeorzea like a broader area? Or is Aeorzea like a political term? Blocked off from everyone else. I don't know what that means. A Abalathia's spine, because I've only ever been there twice. These two maps. And they were in the sky anyway. 
I don't know. I mean, you might say Charlian or whatever, but... I'm looking at Aldenard. How is Charlian blocked off? There's a p bunch of people living there now. Old Charlian, anyway. And other Charlians on an island up here. How does that count? What does Umbral mean? We already asked that one. Umbral means light. And it means stasis. Yeah, I don't think Charlian's blocked off. What is the term for the angry energy that consumes the four animal spirits that have managed to gain uh, speech in the Ruby Sea? It's either the Arimatama or the Nigamatama. I don't know which one. I'm going to say the Nigamatama was when they were at peace, so it was the Arimatama. I think it was the Arimatama. What color is a good mechanic and a bad mechanic between pink and purple? Neither. Red and green. You learn about the block to fairy through the Blue Mage quests. Which scions have the echo? I have echo. Cryo has echo. Minfilia had the blessing of light and therefore maybe the echo? Um, who am I missing? Who else has echo? So, there's another person. But I can't remember who the other person is. Arnold has echo. Who the fuck is Arnold? Arnvold. Who's Arnvold? Who's Arnvold? I don't know who Arnvold is. Alamegan with the X face paint. Oh, Fordola. Fordola has echo. Of course she does. Aaron Vold is the dude I went on a treasure hunt with in 4.1. I don't remember that. It seems post Stormblood. I forgot. I enjoyed very much, but seem to have forgotten a lot of details. Yeah, Fordola's not a scion. That's true. Yeah. Shade Signet's totally right there. Fordola has an echo knockoff, and she isn't a scion. How's it a knockoff? Oh, because she got it from the. Uh, she's like a resonant, right? Really, more than anything else. You fought alongside Orenvold before. All right, a couple more questions. New topics, or uh, or teach me the things I don't know. Who's the first character with the blessing that's presented beside the Warrior of Light? Minfilia. Maybe. What's the name of Hildebrand's assistant? What the cat girl? In that story, I can't remember. Is it just Hildebrand's assistant? I can't remember. That was before these streams. You guys are asking me about Nidhogg's sister a lot today. Either that's because that's amazing lore uh, that you think is a weird trivia because it's so old, or it's relevant. What's on the moon? Elidibus? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Nashu. Oh, that's her name, is it? Nashu? Who was the first ever character to call me the Warrior of Light? Uriage. I have no idea. Where did I get that name from? Is the moon haunted? I have no idea. I don't know what... I, I don't know anything about the moon. All right, all right. Two more questions. Two more. Make them a good one. And then we'll get we'll get on. I feel adequately quizzed here. We have definitely figured out... I reckon you could give me a grade now. You could give me a law grade based on this. The hodgepodge of shit I sort of, sort of somewhat know. What is the capital of Assyria? What? What's Assyria? I don't even know what that is. Name of the Galian continent, Ilsabad. You learned in Heavensward that Zodiac is trapped on the moon. Really? This is not a meme. What is the name of Sid's dad? I don't know. What was Lisa's name before the reveal? Ida? Not gonna lie, this has been a good trivia session. Okay, who's the adventurer that lost a party member and later you encountered in Palace of the Dead? I don't know. Someone said their name earlier. I've forgotten it again. Telda or something. I can't remember. What was the name of Bahamut's prison? Dalamud. What mystery are you most looking forward to getting answers to? Who is E? Name all of the races on the first and the source. I can't do it. <laughs> it's going to take too long. The moon bound the word of the mother. 
Why does Gaius turn gold during your fight with him in Prey? What the fuck? Does he? Because of the ultimate magic. Because of the heart of Ultima or whatever. I don't know. There is a very small sentence suggesting Zodiac is on the moon. Which part of your body would you like... <laughs> would you like Ishtola to spank you? On my bum. There is a... <laughs> God. I sort of wish I hadn't picked that option now. You guys have taken that ball and ran with it. Let me tell you. Um, what do you think Highlands tube motors are to keep everything split up so that the ultimate ap apocalypse can never descend again? Am I tempered by Hydlin? Well, that is the question of the current story. I don't think there's a definitive answer for me yet. What is the country below Yangsha? It's Vietnam. Uh, Nangsha? Naksha? Something like that? Naksha? Good question, by the way. How many years do Namazu have to left to live? Namazu. I can't remember what the Namazu are. What are the Namazu? <laughs> There's a poll. What grade do I get? Don't, don't, no, I do know what the Namazu are. Uh, don't judge the grade based on this question. Namazu. <laughs> Google. Namazu in Japanese mythology. No, not in Japanese mythology. In Final Fantasy. They're a beast tribe. Oh, they're the little, they're the little quaggin things. What was the question? How long do they live? I don't know. I don't know that. The line was, but the darkness coveted power and the balance was broken. Thus was I forced to banish him into the distant heavens, so forever to remain apart, moonbound. What three nations started the War of the Magi? Amdapur, Nim, and Muk. Or Mok. They've never said it in voice acting yet. There's a reason Guy has turned gold. It's answered in a mount guide text. Fuck me. Who is imprisoned on Azizla? Tiamat. We've answered that like 20 times. There's definitely something going on with that. Um, tell me, for whom do you fight? I don't know. I don't know what that reference is. Yeah, they're the catfish people. What are the two major land masses we haven't visited on the planet yet? Merisidium, Il 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 Ilsabad. Let's just skip to the questions that depend on crafter content. Yeah, we have an emote. Moogle made an emote of the Namazu. I don't know. I saw it. I just couldn't. I couldn't connect the two pieces. I don't know. Gaius becoming gold is semi-explained somewhere that Guardians experimented with gold metal plating with the elemental resistance. How do we pronounce? I. 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 I don't know. I don't know. How does summoning work? You get a bunch of prayer and a bunch of crystal, boom. But if you have aura sight, you don't need the prayer. I think is the thing. Carvelain, the pirate who helped you get to Kugane, is the heir to which Ishgard noble house? Ah, oh, Durandere. I'm going to take a shot. Can I ask the audience? 50 50. Uh, you now make a. Horror story. Quaggan's meeting Namazu and doing a party. What was the first umbral... Oh my god, you guys are typing too... too I can't scroll now. Who caused the first umbral calamity? Who caused the first... Asians? What was the first one? That's not the Sundering, is it? The Sundering doesn't count as a calamity. What was the first one? I don't know. I don't... Do I know what the first one was? Who is Xenos Love 1? I don't know. What society worshipped Sophia the goddess? Uh, the Merisidians, right? Oh, shit. But who specific? Ents? The Ents of Merisidian? The plant people that live there? I can't remember what they're called. What's the name of the character that came from the 13th? Unkeluheim. Unkeluheim. What planet are Merisidians from? Uh, Eorzea, but there were dragons that Bahamut, uh, that Midgasorma took from. What was the name of Midgasorma's planet? I don't know. I don't even know if that counts as one of the 13 shards or just another area of the solar system. I don't know what that means. Does the Sundering mean that one planet in the solar system got split? Or does it mean all of reality got split? <clears throat> hmm. 
It only took a few heated skirmishes with the Allied city states for Garlandwood to realise that the magics wielded by the realm's mages were too much even for the thickest of Magitek armour plating. Alloyed gilding has since been discovered to dampen the effects of elemental charges and is now standard issue. Description of the gilded Magitek armour mount from the 500 player commendations. I don't even have that unlocked! I only have 200! What is the name of Ardbert's uh, trusty seed, Socken? I'm joking, it's Seto. Right, it's so. Uh, wind. It was a wind calamity. What was strange about the ultimate weapon that Isinian fought? It had a body melded into the back, and they were talking about manufactured orosite. Tell to me, for whom do you fight? How very quib, and do you believe in a Eorzea? I don't know. Is that a character? That's Uru speak, isn't it? Are you shamed by your own B grade? You guys gave me a B. Guys, I'm definitely not a B. What's Illbird's favourite word? Sloppy. We already had that. Okay, I'm scrolling. Which one's a good question? What are the order of the elemental calamities? I have no idea. I could barely tell you three calamities. I'm scrolling fast here. There are no dragons on the first, so you can assume it's not reality that got split. It was one planet split into different dimensions. Oh my god, uh, ten gift subs. Thank you to Nog the Nagus. Thank Nagus. Thank you very much. Who are Omega's masters? Do I know that? Omega's masters. Who built Omega? Some ancient society on another planet that was at war with Midgasoma's planet. Why did Lise take Ida as her cover name? Because didn't she have an older sister called Ida? She knew someone. There was a real Ida from 1.0. I never played that. Thank you for those 10 subs. I really appreciate it. That's lovely of you. Thank you. Um, what's the fake name of Nam Nanamo? Of Nanamo? Um, like when she walks around in the town. The queen. When she goes out in the town. Good question. I don't know. Fuck, what was her name? What's Nanamo's name when she's walking among the people? This is about 1.0 shit. The most back theories of the other shards are in pocket dimensions, but we don't know. Charlotte from Trials of Mana? Thanks for the enthusiasm for the game. Well, no worries, man. It's a good game. What's Hien's favourite phrase? What's Hien's favourite phrase? Um, I don't know. Hien's just fucking cool, isn't he? Hien's just calm. He's got like that quiet confidence and humility down pat. Hien is like the ultimate man, to be honest. Who doesn't look at the way Hien acts and thinks that's how I should be? He end like hits this middle ground that's like you know, unbelievably cool. The first got decimated to 10% of its size. We don't know if there were dragons in the other 90% of it. That's a very good point from Sam. It was her sister, but it's pre 1.0. Yep. Gabu. Nobody's asked me anything about Gabu. It's because I'm a fucking expert on Gabu. You know, I did my uh, dissertation on uh, Gabu. <clears throat> Yugiri do something? Does he have a, a well-known thing? Kinda himbo. What's a himbo? He uh, never makes a decision for himself. He just lets everyone else do the thinking and says yes to it. To be honest, what is correct leadership if not identifying the experts around you and heeding to their advice? And once you make a decision, you stand by the decision, but you do it from the informed, you know, understanding of those around you. That's what leadership is. You'd be a terrible dictator. Why did the Alligans create Dalamud? Because it's got a, it, it's like to channel the energy of the sun and possibly the moon, though I don't think I know that yet, into the Crystal Tower. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Midgasorma came after the Sundering because he said at one time or another that he's thankful for Hydaelyn for letting him stay on the source. Okay. And I have caught up. Alright. <clears throat> so let's play the game.
All right, is there anything someone really wants me to see that I missed in chat? What was Garbooch in training to be? Ah, uh, fuck. Was he training to be something? A, a warrior, a defender of the kobolds. I don't know. Apparently, I, I don't know anything about Kabu. What was he trying to be? I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Midgasoma came after the sun. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Now we're just quoting um, Uriange. WP, look at this. You're doing a good job and it's appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so from all of that quizzing, it doesn't seem that I have any other major gaps. Maybe the Asahi thing is just a fluke. Like, in terms of, like, big story points. Maybe it's because you guys are going for weird trivia. I definitely have a load of gaps, but in terms of, like, major story points. What element is Black Rose? Light? Why do water spirits look like sparkly markers in the distance? What? I don't know. Is that true? Did you know that the Elder of the Maul can get clan gives a hint towards Shadowbringers in one of its pre-patches? No, what's that that they say? They said they had not decided on the exact nature of the Sundering in a Q&A. But Midgasoma and Omega are definitely not from any version of Hydaelyn, and the dragons do not exist on, one, on the first. Okay. Alright, also, yeah, you guys shouldn't have given me a B. I'm like... I don't even think I'm a passing grade. I genuinely think I'm like a D. I'm not, I'm not joking or being ironic or like overly humble or anything there. Like a B, guys, would be like, you'd have to know every... I, I, I can't even talk about the stuff later. But assuming we put that to the side for now. That's, that's not good, really. If you guys think that's a B, I don't know what the fuck you think my Guild Wars understanding is. I think that's a thing where it's like, you don't know what you don't know. You know? I would give my, my, I would give my Guild Wars rating like a B. And I'm probably... I probably know... So much more about Guild Wars. There's, there is an insane difference between what I know about Guild Wars and what I know about FF14. And I'd only give myself a B in Guild Wars. No, you guys just don't know what you don't know. Like, there's a lot I could learn about both. Hey, Boots, thank you very much. Wow. Boots is continuing a gift sub from before. Thanks, Boots. It's good to see you, man. You just need to ponder the law for another few years like other big law nerds. Yeah, and then maybe be a B. I'm like a D, guys. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, let's actually play now, shall we? Let's actually play. I'm satisfied by that. Maybe we can open each stream with just a little... Instead of doing that for two hours, ten minutes, maybe we'll do it for, like, you know, just the ten minutes. <laughs> Much has changed since the time we first set foot in this city. Now we strive to preserve their freedom rather than reclaim it. But we've no time to reminisce. We mustn't keep the commander waiting. Commander Aldin awaits us in the royal palace, if you would follow me. Okay. In terms of general knowledge, you're okay? Yeah, I think that's fine, but you know. Oh shit, is that Gaius he's speaking to? He's speaking to Gaius! He's speaking to old Goldie Face. For what's worth, Gabu was in training to be a Pikmin. Okay, thank you. He would introduce him to yourself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He introduced himself to you as 426 here, Order Pikmin. Oh, hello, hello. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet Dark. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggled to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. Wow, it's interesting to see guys speaking comfortably with Robon. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. Oh god, they got him close to the mic on this one, didn't they? They turned it up and they got him close. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you. Though what I come to warn you of very well might. 
Had he meant to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. Wait, who are we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, no. We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. This is a cool scene, by the way. A lot of my favorite characters right here. As you are doubtless aware, Sir Estinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. Oh, by the way, guys, I understand now why a huge debate erupted on stream the other day um, about something I thought was quite clear. Give me one second. Okay, okay, sorry. I had to BRB real quick. Okay, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, the cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I understand now why... Um, when we were talking about this, the... Um, oh, how do I phrase this? We were at the end of Shadowbringers, and we were talking about like whether I canonically was from 1.0 or later. You know, whether I was the same guy that got teleported forwards or not. And I understand now why that's a bit messy, because if we're all meant to be the same character who was an Amorotian or whatever, then it's kind of like you sort of have to be the, the guy from 1.0. But then they did write the story about how the 1.0 people teleported forwards and new characters were sort of... So I kind of get that. I get why that's messy now. I, that's all I wanted to say. That I, Now that I've played the end of Shadowbringers, I sort of understand where that, that discussion was. All right. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos' hand. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. So now I get the other side when of the we story. were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight, but to me his description seemed anything but... And upon further investigation, I found that I was right. Oh, I was hoping I'd get another... How cool would this be? If this patch opened with another flashback, same moment, but now I play Gaius, and we go down the other corridor. How cool would that have been? The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. Mm-hmm. We saw it. What, that elegant monstrosity created to vanquish primals? with which you yourself once thought to conquer Eorzea. The same. In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets, and that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit, primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. Mm, what is it I should know about the Seventh again? Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its legatus. Well, yeah, wasn't the Seventh the rogue legion that tried to bring Dalamud down? They got pro tempered by Bahamut. This was Nail's group. Right. Indeed. Few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanus, and its leadership has changed hands several times since. What was it? Nail Vandanus? Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. Wow. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eorzea. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress, so we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did, though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. 
As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them, but the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima weapon and emerged victorious. Well, Estinian just we did. Need you. Estinian's fought one now, but I mean, prototype, I guess, not quite built. And so, when the time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. The Asian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. Even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. It's alright, Gaius. I'll do this with you, man. You were once upon the final boss. Now you are the final I too friend. I for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Oh, I'm worried about you, Maxima. You're like a decent guy. Yeah, final Though friend. We can ill afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon. Our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. I only hope you are not forced to make a choice. Hmm. Me too. Hopefully I won't be. Okay, wow, so Jesus Christ, we they start cooking with gas instantly here. Yeah. Oh, we can't, but we have to play Dark Knight again now. Because we're still not ready on our monk. It's amazing to me how much this game is like Final Fantasy X-2 with the dress spheres and stuff. Like you class swap and change your clothes and stuff. It feels just like it, right? It's kind of weird. And I love that about X-2. The mechanics of that game were awesome. As ever, the way forward is paved with difficult decisions. He's shouting to me from across the room. We can ill afford to ignore the threat of the new Ultima weapon, but with each passing day, the plight of the Scions grows ever more perilous. If you cannot stay for uh, debriefing on the Ultima weapon, I'll not stop you. I only ask that you confer with me before you return to the first. Jesus, so we've swung from Black Rose being the issue to Ultima weapon being an issue again. Crow can see the steely resolve in your eyes and suspect she knows uh, to where duty calls you. So my theory about the body. Anyone got any theories about the body that was stuck in it? Here's mine. Ultima Weapon hunted primals and, like, powered up out of them, right? Like, powered out of them. So, basically, what, fundamentally, what was the Ultima Weapon? It could absorb the aether that primals had, right? And redistribute them. So, maybe they just take that principle and they say, well, why do we have to get it from a primal? Why don't we just sacrifice people into it? So, that's why there's a dead body on it. Maybe? That's my theory about it. Crow can see the steely resolve in your eyes and she suspects she knows where Judy calls you. Just harvest the aether to power it straight from people. Maybe? I take you ready to return to the first? Then I would ask that you reprise the others of recent events here in the source. Namely, Xenos' return and the new development of Ultima Weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them Master Matoya and I will continue doing what we can. I hate how Matoya is constantly around but never seen. Safe travels. I, I want to know- Bye! I want to know- uh <laughs> I like their little waves, man. The Lalafell animations are the best things about them. Okay, so just before we leave... What are they talking about? Are we not men? Do we not bleed? Do we not deserve to be free? He's a lot like the Griffin. No. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go play this Triple Triad match, and then we will go... Oh, wow, it's called The Way Home. Wow, what a short quest, by the way. It's literally just collect and cash. You need flying to get to it, WP? The triple triad thing. Wow. I'm, I'm very impressed that you immediately know I need to be able to fly to get to the triple triad thing. It's okay. I did I did ultimately beat the Stormblood stuff. I do have flying and stuff here. How, though? What, is this just some person? I don't understand. Oh, I know. I don't need flying. 
There's a blue quest on that guy that you and Cryo took a moment to stare at. Ruby Doomsday. Oh, shit. That's the trial quest, is it? It starts in Alamigo. Wow. Oh, well, the trials are here on the source, not on the first. I was expecting the whole time. Oh, oh obviously. That's because there's a split here. There's an MSQ and a blue quest unlocked now. Oh, shit. Triple Triad. Please, before you kill me, let me play a game with Triple Triad. It's an Imperial Deserter. You have a deck, do you not? Please, I beg you. <laughs> well, he's got three cards I can win. Okay, this is the Fallen Ace, though, so we've got to be careful here. I need to upgrade my deck. All right, good. He's playing first. I like it when they play first. So the Fallen Ace is aces count as... A one can flip an ace, right? That's all it is. Hmm. So in what way do I want to tackle this? I think what I'll do is I'll just play Noctis like this straight away. Just to eliminate my ace. I'm sure he's got a bunch. Okay, now this is a great play. Because no matter what he does to flip this, I'll, I'll take it back. Oh, you bitch. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right, it's only a draw. Let's try this again. Fine, I'll play the Vermoth in the bottom corner. I should have played it in the middle, because now I can't take that back easily. That was dumb. I've already blown this one. I've already blown it. Ugh. If this is such a good play. This Papa Limo and Ida is such a good play. Oh, we'll keep trying. I don't know. Ah, what? Oh, my oh, there's a three on the bottom. Speaking of nail... There she is. Let's try it. This fallen ace rule is going to get me screwed. No, it didn't get me screwed. Nice. Jesus Christ, your Sui is so good on the top and the bottom. Oh, shit. Well, this is, this is bad for me now. This is bad. Do you know what? I'm going to stall. I'm going to stall on the hopes. But who do I play? I guess it's got to be the Moogle. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It's another draw. How do we beat this guy? A draw? You have quite the nerve standing up to me. You do understand what this signifies. But of course you do. I was an absolute fool to think otherwise. Please, do not skewer me before telling me limb for limb. I'm so, so very, very sorry. <laughs> He's just crying away there. Okay, hold on. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Gold Saucer. Card deck. Let's build a new deck. Okay. Now, chat, do you have any recommendations for me? The game recommends this. But I don't want to do what the game recommends. Does anyone have any, like, good ideas of what we should do? The game recommends garbage. Well, we should get a five-star, right? Should I do, like, a primal deck? Gaius? Or should we do Ultima? The Cloud of Darkness is five star. The Ultima Weapon is four. So these are all my five stars, okay? So which five star do you guys want? These are my five stars. What do you guys recommend? One of them ha is a part of a tribe. Gaius is a part of an empire tribe. Why is uh, Noctis' frame different? Four versions of Ishtola and Wangabu. You need one more that's strong on the top left and or left. Strong on the top and the left. Why Noctis, though? All right, fine. We'll do Noctis. All right. Okay, now for four stars, what do you guys think? Ultima Weapon? Shinryu. Diabolos. Zande. 
And then, yeah, okay, so they're all my four stars. Pick a four star, guys. Probably Ultima. You like Ultima weapon? Very specialized. It's like another form of Noctis, though, right? Incredibly weak on the left, but very good elsewhere. The bottom left one, you think? Diabolos? I can't have any four stars. Oh, yeah, hold on. I can't have a five and a four, is that correct? Yeah, I have to, no, I can, I can. I just can't have two four stars, right? Since a recent patch. You can have a five and a four. Now I've got to go down to three, right? Right, so three stars. I mean, I've got loads of three stars. So does anyone just have any recommendations? Number based or character based? The game recommended Prometheus. Is that because he's got like a lot of overall stats? Filter by three. So these are all my three stars. Astinian. I don't have Astinian though. This is sort of all we've got. Behemoth. Vice Gerent to the Warden. Ferdiad. Curator. Ifrit. I mean, you guys get it, right? Alright, we'll do good King Mi Mugglemog. It's weak on the left again. So I want something weak on the right, basically, right? Is what I really want. Like this. Like the Vice Gerent is like the reverse. So he rounds me out quite well. The gold saucer guy is quite good. Who's the gold saucer guy? The curator. No, he's not. <laughs> You're strong down right now? Yes, I am. I need to be strong up. So something with a big number on, on top. We got any eights on top? There's no eights on top. Genbu is a nice three star. I don't have Genbu. Oh, all the primals have a one on the side. Oh, I see. So, Ifrit. 771. You could check the two stars. You think the two star filter's got some good stuff? There's no benefit to dropping to two star, is there? Wait, good king move. Oh. Because I have both clicked on. Geralt. I mean, two stars, just their numbers go down, right? Isn't that right? Wait, are two stars equally as good as three stars? All right, I'm just going to... I'll save it like this. If it... When they've got a tribe marker, is that it? do they lose some of their power budget for being in a in a in a tribe? Because you know that's potential synergy, so therefore they lose. Or is it only when those rule sets matter? They do. So Ifrit should, in theory, have another number, maybe, but because he's got a tribe and thus interacts with certain rules, that would go for good King Mugglemog as well. Actually, they're both primals. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, what do we want to call the deck, guys? Whatever, it doesn't even matter. Alright, let's try and beat him with, with this deck. I love how they actually have an animation where they hold the cards out and everything. Alright. <clears throat> See, I don't have anyone strong enough to push out Yotsuyu. She's so strong. Well, I can do it this way. I can use her strength against her. And then I can reclaim Diabolos with via Diabolos. But then D Diabolos is going to be vulnerable on the side. I'll do that later. I think I think we can hold off on that. Let's um let's use Oh shit. He has Carney Senna. So 
So here's a question. Do I smother Yotsuyu and use the nine for defense? I think I, I think I do that. I'm going to smother Yotsuyu. Oh, no, 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 but I can't flip it. What, what, what went through my brain there? That was dumb. I don't have anyone. I don't have enough people strong on the right now. Ah, whatever. I'm just going to make this play. Jesus Christ. It's a draw. Unless he's got something major. Wait, I won! I won, but I didn't win a card. How did I win that? Alright, I go first. I kind of just want a super weak card to throw in the middle. Do you guys know what I mean? Let's do this. Right, he, he takes it there. It's almost like a flex, that. But now there's double sevens. Wait here for it. Good. Oh, but she stalled me now. She's stalling. If I flip that, then she's just going to take Noctis, so it doesn't actually mean anything. This is probably better to go in this corner. Watch the UI in the top left corner. Card in hand count, so you have the same number on the board, but because you went second, you have more cards total. Stall and Noctis can flip the last one. So you think up here. That's a good play. Unless she plays in that corner. Oh yeah, but then I can play here. Yeah, that's a great play. You just won me that game. You just won me that. Nice, and we get a card. We got the grind what card. Alright, nice. How dare you raise your hand against your Imperial Master, you're nothing more than rebel scum. Ah, that is to say, I'm incredibly sorry. Do not butcher me. I have much to live for. Okay, alright, sorry. More stalling, but we're done there. Right. Grind what? Yeah, you just won me that, guys. Okay, so... So this storyline starts with a branch. It, re it directly shows you the trial thing. So you guys want me to f no? We, we come to this guy. The resistance and the alliance forces prepare in earnest as a new threat looms. Ah, oh, Macon, I'm glad you could make it. As you may have heard, Commander Aldin has given orders to embark from Alliance headquarters to hold back the advance of the Empire's latest menace. Not the soldiers stationed there are too chuffed about being on the front lines against these new weapons. If they're designed to say if they're designed to slay primals, they'd make short work of us mere mortals as well. Mind you, it's guys Baelsar and his followers who have left the charge so far. By all accounts, they've been giving us as good as they get. Unfortunately, their sorties have been met with little success. I dare say they'd benefit greatly from your presence on the battlefield. If you're ready, my colleague over at Porta Praetoria will show you the way. Right, Ruby Doomsday. So this is Ruby Weapon. Ruby Weapon is in the game, and that's going to be the first trial. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to continue with the MSQ for now. What do you guys think? That sound good? No, do it right now or yes. More triple triad, in my opinion. Just do the first one, Sag. No, do Ruby Weapon. At least unlock the duty now. It's quick. Oh, is it? Sh okay, here's my question to you guys. I know I'm serious right now, alright? Is it short? Is the Ruby Weapon thing short? It is short. Okay, if it, since it's short and it is a fucking cool sounding story, I will do it first. Yeah? Someone else said that the Trials quest line is long. The first weapon is not that long. There are a lot of cutscenes, long solo duties, etc. The introduction, yes, after that it gets... Well, why are we doing, doing an introduction? No, 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 it, that doesn't sound short at all, guys. I don't care as much about the prime, uh, about the trial as I do about the story. We'll do the, we'll do that on its own stream. We'll do the trial stuff on its own thing. 
Yeah, why don't we just dedicate a day to the trials plot? Instead of weaving backwards and forwards. We'll do all three patches worth of it in one day. Because what's the point in doing a little introductory thing? One day is not enough. Well, I mean, even that's fine, right? Let's do the way home. We can do it, but yeah, let's, let's do it that way. That'll be good to do in another stream. I can watch you since I skipped it. Look, I don't, don't get me wrong. I do want to play it, guys. But I also really want to play this. And I also just generally want to catch up with the story a bit. So, Yeah, there's just there's a lot happening this week. Yeah, this week is chock full of Guild Wars stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm swarmed with this game as well. So... <clears throat> it's just a lot happening. Do you have business with the Exarch? Indeed I do. Hello. You've come at a most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul, and it means to return the Sirens home. I trust you have been making good use of your time? Well, somewhat. Ill tidings from the source, you say. Then I'll summon the others that we might all be apprised of the situation. Yeah, I think they all need to hear. They must be getting a bit freaked out now, hearing the bad stuff's happening on the source. Now that we are all here, what news from the source? A new Ultima weapon. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. The situation beareth closer observation, of that there is no doubt, and doth compound our need to return unto the Source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Thanks in large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. Right. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white morosite, but without its regrettable limitations. And after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. Okay. An arc oh, wow. for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel. Oh my god, they've made a lot more progress, a lot quicker than I thought they were going to. Jesus. Also, this looks really cool. Also, the whole idea would freak me the hell out, to be honest. However. Yeah, here's the however. However? <laughs> Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. Just so, my lady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. Okay, so sorry. What they're saying is the Allegan blood and the Allegan technology to transfer consciousness, we haven't been able to replicate. So you, you need to trick it by using Grahatiya's blood. Right? Is that correct?
Okay. That being the case, I am hopeful Whoopsie. that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. He said that being the case, we must either alter the process of inheritance so as to require no such thing, or determine the means by which my blood can permeate the vessel. So, maybe the records here will teach us. As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. Because he must feel a lot of guilt over what he's done here, really, to a degree. I think this really works, by the way. Oh, I smiled at him. He smiles at me. Um, I think this really works. The idea that I can go back and forth, but no one else. It, it's such a cool setup. How is he so sure? I, I do don't hope think you is. haven't come to tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. No. I had hoped to speak with the warrior of darkness. But there is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Okay. Weird. Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless... She didn't want to. Oh, look how sad he looks. <laughs> he looks so depressed. It's okay. It's because your birthday's coming up and she wants to buy you a present. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may it be of some use to Lena. Okay. All right, Alpha No, me and you. Bro's on the road again. Bro's on the road. Happy 317th birthday, I know. Surely they, they lose a bit of meaning at that point. <laughs> I, I owe him a lot. I've never ever seen such a repository of knowledge. A stark reminder of what little we truly know of the world. Or worlds indeed, plural. To think we'll not only have Xenos to contend with once we return, but a new Ultima weapon as well. <sighs> Why must our enemies insist on returning from their graves? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, Ishtola. It may be simply be my imagination, but Lena's been rather brusque with me of late. You don't suppose she's still upset over that mishap with the salmon, do you? <laughs> what was the mishap? Oh god, quiz me guys. What was the what was the mishap with the salmon? Alphano is eager to move on. I must confess, while I enjoy my fair share of scholarly research, it'll be good to step outside for a spot of fresh air. Now then, should we go and speak with Lena? Yeah. It wasn't salmon. What was the story? Why have I forgotten that? <laughs> what element is <laughs> salmon? I don't know what the, the what was it? What was it? Seriously, does anyone remember? Is he just alluding to a little jokey thing that's off screen? And I'm so conditioned to have forgotten plot details that I'm missing that obvious joke. The salmon incident will be explained. Oh, so it is about the salmon. <laughs> I suggest we hurry. Uh, okay. Hi, Lena. We have little time, so I'll be brief. A sin eater has been sighted in Lakeland, and I ask for your assistance in slaying it. A sin eater? I'd heard some few yet remained, but after the night had returned, but perhaps we should call the others? That'll not be necessary. It's only a single sin eater, a simple task for our guard, I should think. That said, I believe fighting alongside the Warrior of Darkness would be a valuable experience for them. Peace can lead to complacency, and they gain nothing from an easy victory. But you do, but do not underestimate your foes, however harmless they may seem. My men would do well to learn from your example. Okay, me? Why not Alphano? <laughs> Doing this first person has worked very well here. Catching his animations. <laughs> you can't be serious. Come now, Macon. What could be more inspiring than fighting alongside the renowned warrior of darkness himself? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Excellent, then let us make, make out. Make for the planes, make out, for <laughs> fuck's sake. No, 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 Lena, it's okay. I wasn't thinking about you that way. It was just a, a slip of the tongue. All right. 
so <laughs> let's go. Let's get one of the uh, crystals. Haha, <laughs> joke. Dot dot dot. Unless question mark. Oh god, that just screams teenage years right there. Let's go to like that. Okay, so we're gonna travel north. I still haven't properly unfogged the source here. Oh. I was hoping that Aetherite would take me up there, but whatever. Yeah, I think Alpha looks really small from a Hrothgar perspective as well. Let alone the Lalafell. There is the Cine is that remain no, the Cine is that remain no longer have a leader to guide them, but they're no less dangerous. They cannot be suffered to live. If you wait here a moment, I'll gather the others. Okay. You may not remember, but you have met these soldiers once before, though only in passing. Long have they awaited the opportunity to fight at your side. Hello. It was a death's door when they, the day the Sinny is attacked. If you and yours hadn't come along, I'd likely have been stepped through. And I wouldn't have been alone. Your courage and selflessness is something we can all aspire to. I too was there that terrible day. My friend was transformed into a Sinny before my very eyes, and I had no choice but to cut her down. The thought of returning to the field of holding a blade again, it filled me with dread. But that is no way to honour her or my comrades. And so I've returned. I swear I will not let you or anyone else down from this day forwards. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Truly, it seems only like yesterday. I watched as you took flight astride a Manamaro to go and save the Oracle. Strange to think that your Moran soldiers were once locked blades and are now on our side. But we do our utmost to keep the peace here in Lakeland. We seem to be missing one. The latecomer. This is me. The disorganized latecomer. Uh, my apologies, Captain Lena. An elderly gentleman asked that I escort him to clear melt. It took longer than I anticipated. I'm not begrudge you your desire to help those in need, but a soldier must be punctual. Especially when we play host to honored guests. It won't happen again. The name's Thaler. I'm sure you don't remember, but we met once before in the infirmary. I asked you to deliver a message to the Exarch and the Warrior of Darkness. Little did I know I was already talking to him. Don't give up. Don't give in. I keep those words close to my heart, and the boundless, beautiful skies above me serve as a reminder of their importance. My friend got to see the knight's return shortly before he passed. He left this world with a smile, satisfied with a glimpse of what was to come. But there are countless others who weren't so fortunate. They gave their lives the promise of a future they'll never know. And so it falls to us to do everything we can to fulfill that promise. No matter what happens, we won't give up. We won't give in. Your heroism has inspired all of our guardsmen in much the same manner. Our scouts at the northern staging point have not had the pleasure of meeting you in person. Let us not keep them waiting. Okay. Right, let's go. I'm guessing here, all right, um, now I might be wrong, but I'm guessing that Bad, Bad Bert, was that what you guys called him? Bad, Bad, Bad Man Ard Bert? Bad Boy Bert? He, um, I'm guessing, is, is going to show up in this quest. Because he was like the final cliffhanger before. I can't imagine that that story matters for Endwalker, okay? So I'm guessing that that gets rounded out in 5.12 or 3. We're already on 5.2. Um, and they, they have, this feels very fillery, very suddenly, like, randomly not related to anything. 
So I bet they're gonna slap me in the face with bad advert in a second. That's what I think structurally they're, they're, they're doing. Or, or it will be Gabu up there. What's all this? I'm missing some important lines. What am I missing some important lines from? They must have uh, they must have worked really hard on the nighttime music in these regions. Cause it's so important that the vibe feels so beautiful and, and brilliant. Gallant guardsman. So they've killed the Sinia. If I hadn't seen him with my own eyes, I'd have sworn it was you who killed that Sinia. Ah, there it is! Oh. Sokken likes piano. I got you into Chibble Triad. Why have I forsaken you? Go on your quest to get all- Look, they're even playing the music! They're playing the music! Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. No, Captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. This mirrors what happened as well in up post Heaven's Ward when we were in the forest and we saw actual Ardbert killing primals before we could get there. By himself. Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of his axe he did. I've never seen anything like it. So I says to him, who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says, no, I'm a warrior of light. And that was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. Oh, there we are, they're mirroring. They're mirroring post Heaven's Ward. Because back then, Ardbert was I'm a warrior of darkness, and now it's I'm a warrior of light. This is all like a specific like little nod. A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. I have no idea how this is what's going on, by the way. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be him. The warrior of darkness. This... I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to play. I actually have no idea. Is it real? Um, oh, oh, I didn't know. It's an honor. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return to your posts. What work? <laughs> The work of walking over here. I had hoped to fight at your side today. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. Later down the line, my friend. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. Why did you hide this from the Exarch? As for this warrior of light... I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the Flood. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrades' deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Mm -hmm. Still, if this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. With that concluded, shall we return to the Crystarium? There is a proposal I should like to make. Forgive me. There is one more thing. It's the Exarch's birthday. A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. What is it? Well, yes, any time. Always. What is Take it, though? Take your time. I shall go on ahead. Okay, Alphano. I'll be with you in a second, man. The last cutscene of 5.0, Elidibus was on the moon, and he mentioned stopping you getting home. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Oh, so this must be an Elidibus plot, then. <laughs> it's time to canonically lay with Lena. <laughs> I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. Though his countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. Mm -hmm. 
but I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with the Salmon Filet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Oh my lord! Okay. <laughs> so they've explained. Grahar is starting to feel like my spirit Nor animal. do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Wait, what are we saying exactly? Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. He seems a different man. A younger man. Yeah, he's finding his life again. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked happy. Yeah, and then you just went and made him sad a second ago. You just made him sad by speaking in private behind his back. It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Oh. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past. Remind him of all the pain that came before. Oh, no, what? He, you No, know, no, that's obviously not true. You've noticed he's been cheering up with you around. You don't have to distance yourself. Yeah, he's lost without you, and he misses you already. You should hang out more. He... Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Look, we're going to be gone soon, you know. Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. What a relief. Wow, she's very tender here. In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. This research is important, I know. But if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. Well, that's a good, nice little insight into like their actual, like, you know... Like private thoughts and like delicate like just emotional like social experiences that they've had you know it's not all about the end of the world like we've eased off a bit and it's quite I quite really like that scene I'll not keep you you and your comrades have much to discuss I'll see the others back to their posts all right so now what why couldn't even Alphano listen to that there I really liked that. Wow, only 75 guild to TP over there. She's a pretty good triple triad card. Yeah, that's a good point as well. The, the Viera live a really long time, so... They could have a very long, long-standing friendship. An adventurer calling themselves a warrior of light. Why would anyone tie themselves to the legacy of individuals held in such low regard to the first? Warriors of light, harbingers of the flood and all the world's woes. That the wanderer would so boldly claim their title is most curious indeed. It is strange to think now how heroes so beloved by the people can be brought so low in such a short time. Alphano tells me a warrior of light has slain the Sinia. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to make of this. Ah uh, yeah, so I was hoping to speak with you about, uh, hmm. On second thought, never mind. It would be rude of me to pry. Hey, <laughs> What's he going on about here? You should get the PvP mount before Endwalker for 20,000 points. Don't, don't know if they'll rotate it. Uh, can I get that with the Moogle Stone thingies? Um, so here's my, uh, here's my theory about Ardbert right now. Bad Bert. My theory is... 
Was he with anyone in that cutscene earlier? He's probably asking what Lena wanted to talk about. Yeah. All right. Here's my theory. My theory about Bird, uh, Bad Bird is. That Elidibus My theory is that Elidibus Okay, here's my theory about Bad Bird. I think the theory about Bad Bird goes something like Like may maybe Bad Bird the theory is <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, I, I was watching a Stuart Lee routine last night, <laughs> and I was basically going for that. No, okay, I think the I, I I think maybe it's him. Maybe he's like appearing as him or some shit. You know, it can't be like another part of my soul, right? You know how I'm eight rejoined. I don't think it's like a ninth fragment because that would be another person entirely from another world with another identity. You know. So I don't think he's grabbed someone from elsewhere and brought them over. So what's left? Elidibus is just taking that form, you know? So it is Elidibus, maybe. But does that really match with what was said in the cutscene at the end? Where he said, oh, by the way, I, um... What did he say in the cutscene? I'm gonna send some people to Sikkim or whatever? Did he say it's something else? Did he say someone else? I don't know. So, I don't know. No, I'm not going to click other links because I have to mute the stream and blah, 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 blah. The others uh, were quite shocked to hear what we found out in Lakeland. But now that you're here, here's a proposal I should like to make. Okay. I've been spending a good deal of time in the Cabinet of Curiosity. And of late, I've noted more and more people perusing books on history. The years leading up to the Flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the Warriors of Light. As well they should. But nearly everything I've come across describes them as silly is or worse. Regardless of whether or not this warrior of light is who they claim to be, I worry their sudden uh, I worry that their sudden appearance in conjunction with this renewed interest in their predecessors may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium speak the truth, then I will give it to them. I too can attest to the falsehoods found within many of the cabinet's tomes, with an area mention of their noble deeds of Ardbert and his and his comrades. To be fair, they bear some responsibility for the flood. But when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I'm not surprised to see their roles distorted and then painted as villains. Were it not for the records stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have had no reason to question the narrative. Unfortunately, that knowledge was of no use, for when I arrived here in the first, their reputation had already been irreparably tarnished. That said, there still remained those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in those early days following the Flood. Considering all the good that they'd done, I find it a wonder that they needed defending at all. They brought justice to the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Vober. That such heroes can be spoken of in the same breath as Sin is is absurd. Under normal circumstances, I'd agree, but as time passed, those who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained, that they were the cause of the Flood. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the Warriors of Light to become villains deserving only of resentment and hate. And at that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed. And now, they may heed the long-forgotten truth. You claimed it was Ardbert who helped you overcome him itself, correct? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who know him only as a villain. I've shared this fact with a few, a select few, and all but one must have been told of this sacrifice. To that end, I say we proceed with Alphano's plan. We call together the people of the Crystarium and recount them the true tale of the Warriors of Light and the Flood that followed in their wake. Sounds like busy work to me. Well, what say you, Macon? Spread the word, I say. The quote was, this is Elidibus's quote, Warriors of darkness are they, then they shall meet the same end as those who came before, death at the hands of warriors of light. Uh, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, Dakeen808, thank you very much. That's really lovely of you. Thank you for doing that. Um, I hope you enjoy and feel that was worth it. Uh, then we're all of on one mind on the matter, good. Exarch, might I continue working uh, with Beck Lug on our means of re returning home? 
The rest of us will see to gathering the people of the Crystarium on the Inquisitor. We'll have to reach out to anyone and everyone who uh, might be willing to lend an ear. With any luck, word will spread and more will accompany them. Warriors of darkness are they. Then they shall meet the same end as those who came before. Death at the hands of the warriors of light. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm so, there's very little that I can sort of grab at that. I've seen many a great terrible thing in my life, as is the Exarch, no doubt. Of this I can say, his memory is short, his heart is fickle. His memory is short, his heart fickle. Let us pray that your words reach him. There can be no darkness without light, and so it was that Ardbert was there in your hour of need. The people must be told. Okay, speak with the people of the Crystarium. Imagine using a plan that failed two expansions ago. In what way? What do you mean? You're saying that Elidibus's plan is the same now as when... As when they came over in the post Heaven's World stuff? I think he's referencing that the Warriors of Darkness met the defeat of the House of the Warrior Light on the Source back in Heaven's World. Hello, Glynard. Well, well, to what I do I the pleasure? Whatever it is, I must ask you to be brief. With the night return, visitors have been flocking to the Crystarium, and I find myself too busy by half. I don't mind it, though. Seeing the stairs so full of life and excitement, one can almost forget the flood ever happened. Okay, well, look, I just wanted to tell you about Ardbert. The Warriors of Light. Yes, the Exarch has mentioned them before, but everyone knows them now as the Cardinal Virtues. Or are you suggesting there's more to it than that? Well, you've yet to steer us wrong, so I'm willing to hear what you have to say. So if I'd beaten the roll quests at this point, would I be getting more out of this? Am I losing out because I, I haven't done the roll quests? I mean, I've done a roll quest. Come to browse the ways in the market, have you? I'm very close to you, Braggy. Well, I can guarantee you have no trouble finding what you need, whatever it may be. Under Yulmore's new leadership, trade has never been more prosperous. Word is, that fellow from the Daedalus Stoneworks has taken over his mare. Did he really? Little wonder business is booming the way it is. I imagine it won't be long at all before all of Norvran reaps the benefits. But you've not come to talk about the market. Something on your mind? Yeah, it's like we're kissing, yeah. I see, the Exarch did mention that they had something to do with your returning to the night in Norvran. Alright, consider my interest peaked. I quite like how he did that quite elaborate animation there, like moving his head around and his hand and stuff, and he didn't clip into the camera at any point. Don't you need to do the roll quest to get abilities? No, in this expansion, it, all the abilities are just from leveling up. They changed it. Okay, so hold on, we go outside first. Why it feels like Elder Scrolls from first person? Uh, just me normal Elder Scrolls games or um, uh, Iso? <clears throat> Macon, my, what a wonderful surprise. But I hope you being here doesn't mean someone that's been hurt. Thanks to you, I've had far fewer patients coming through my door of late, which is a shame, come to think of it. I've had fewer opportunities to test my new medicines. <laughs> I jest, of course. It's actually been quite pleasant to have a few moments to myself now and then. The truth about the Warriors of Light, but the Exarch's already spoken with me about them. Well, if there's more to the tale, I'd very much like to hear it. Okay. Yeah, she's kind of touching on a big, uh, big matter of ethic, ethical debate and philosophy there. Star Trek often does episodes about that. You know, I you remember I told you guys I was watching this YouTube channel who, who like covers uh, like real world disasters and like sort of what it's basically what it is 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 an engineering channel where it's not really about fetishizing the loss of life or whatever or, or, or whatever people have gone through, but it's about how how much red tape is made afterwards 
and how many like changes there are made to you know um, specifications and whatever whatever rules are put in place that stop such disasters happening again you know so let's say everyone's piled into a theater and there's some kind of crush or a balcony falls down or something it's like okay let's examine what this problem was inve what investigations came of this how do we make sure future buildings don't fail in this way how do we make sure future things aren't flammable in this way blah 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 this is, you know it's basically just a really good argument for regulation and red tape it's a, it's a great great channel um, anyway, one of the stories on that was about a bunch of people in a burning building and uh, There were so many people and the hospitals at such low capacity. They got spread out over like lots of different locations This was in the United States. I think it was somewhere around New England or something So all these different hospitals had a bunch of burn victims in them and they all had slightly different techniques for how they treated the patients and literally because it was such a huge quantity of people and so many and it, they were they were all like a single baseline and so many different techniques were uh, employed like it furthered research in how to deal with burn patients like by like decades because you could literally see okay this definitely works way better than this works this worked better than this worked this. and so you know like you kind of have to accidentally stumble your way through that stuff with medical science it's not like you can actually take people and burn them for the pursuit of, of studying right um it's obviously which obviously would it's sort of like sacrifice the few for the greater of the whole you know and it's it's this big thing that anyway uh well well what a coincidence. I was just reading over a letter I received from Grenault not long ago. He says a visit from the Crystarium found him at the bottom of the ocean and that he that inspired him to reach new artistic heights. Well, I can only think of one person capable of both feats. Though, I can say uh, the latter is far more impressive. To think fate could bring the two of you together in such a place. I'm sorry, you mean the Exarch didn't tell us the whole story of the Warriors of Light? Well, whatever it's left unsaid, I'm all ears. Okay, one more. So I get the sense that I'm not actually telling them. I'm getting, I'm telling them to be at a place to tell them later. And yeah, of course, a guy, a society can perform medical experiments and can do horrid, horrendous, fucked up stuff. We in the first world have decided that that's morally bankrupt, right? And if it does happen anywhere, it's hidden and secretive and so on. But anyway, that's that's the examination. You've gotten all four done, you unlock the hidden fifth, which gives you more dialogue options and a special cutscene at one point. Wait, within that quest or within 5.2? Don't burn people, Tato notes. <laughs> oh, I love that emote, I really do. It's such a good emote. Uh, totally unrelated to your story, so I apologize, but I've noticed your enemy cast bar is blue. How did you do that? There's an add-on for it. If you Google Final Fantasy XIV Launcher, you can do that and um, Basically, it changes the color uh, If it's blue, I mean you can customize it however you want, but blue for me means it's a magic attack and like orange means it's physical And there's another color which means like darkness damage, which is like it's neither. It's typeless Unmitigatable No, the extra you get in this quest pales in comparison with the extra stuff you get just from doing all the world quests. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we can still do that later and we don't miss out. I'm glad to hear that. No, this can't be. Surely there's at least one book here that does not cast the worry of lights and their deeds in such a negative light. Oh, is he just saying that to himself before even I get here? <laughs> Hello, Moran. Oh, Macon, forgive me. The Cabinet of Curiosity has been bustling with visitors of late, but I fear our repository lacks for the knowledge they seek. The people wish to know the truth of the flood of the warriors of light. I've searched high and low, but alas, every account portrays them as no better than sinny, as abominations worthy of only scorn and resentment. I know they were not always judged so harshly, yet I can find no proof, and I dare call myself a librarian. You would address the people and tell them the truth of the warriors of light, of the flood? How wonderful! You've re regaled me with tale once more, but I should love to hear it again. Oh, and you may be assured I will not come alone. Okay, yeah, let's... I hate how close Moran looks to my Guild Wars 2 Necro. 
he does feel like a very Guild Wars 2-y looking character, doesn't he? I'll tell you why. It's because of the long white hair. I feel like human male necros do kind of end up getting that vibe very easily. In fact, the default human male necro might even look a bit like that. I know my mule necro on my account looks like that. Though I spoke with the, uh, those I spoke with at the orchard and the rookery were keen to hear what we have to say. For as much, uh, for as much hope as they have for the future, the scars of the past weigh heavily on them still. It's just good to see the people of Crystarium so eager to learn the truth. And with this newfound knowledge of the path, they will at last be able to look into the future with eyes unclouded. You know what? When Alpha knows this tool, it's going to be weird, isn't it? Isn't that going to be strange? Hi, Alphano. Hi, Alice. Like this. Like, look at Uriage, man. What a fine specimen. Hello, Alphano. There you are. Between the four of us, I dare say we spread we swept the Crystarium from top to bottom. Now we need to but wait for the people to gather. We sort of already know how he'll look as an adult. I would love that if an Endwalker they grow up. How cool would that be? Time skip at the start of it or something? Now we don't have to email only for every cutscene, guys. Yes, this looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? Okay. Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. They would be more inclined to take the word of the Warrior of Darkness. Indeed. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? This is going to be interesting. What if we just talk about how great this guy is? And then he crashes the party and kills a bunch of people or something. And completely undermines what we say. Isn't that going to be rough? This is quite clever as well, having it be from Macon. So you can just imply the story is being told. There was Seto, right? What if this is your first voice to cutscene? Huh. <laughs> Oh, they're making shake at the end there. Oh, him giving us his axe. That was such a good move of this expansion to keep the axe there so prominent the whole time, covered in blood the whole time we until there. Light. The warriors of light did all that. Indeed. So they never. I mean, they only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it too. In the end, they saved us. And we cursed their names. This should go a long way towards clearing the air. Yeah, it does seem like bad timing, knowing there's a bad version of him around at the moment. There, there he is. Look at that shit. Oh, baby. Oh, he's walking ominously too. Oh, ho, ho. I like how our back's immediately up. Can Alphano not Impossible. see him? Oh, no, Alphano can see him. Oh. What is this? You can see him too. I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition, but a warrior of light and darkness both. Ardbert. Thanks, Uriante. in the world? <laughs> the expression. It's you! The one who slew the eater! That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. 
How is this? How is what People is this? Of the Crystarium. I am Ardbert, one of those you know as a warrior of light. That's impossible. You should be dead. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given new life, so too have I. I know not why I and I alone have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. Oh, this is interesting. Zodiac is the embodiment of the planet itself, right? So uh, if he's been given some propaganda or something. The hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. I've already been doing it a bunch. But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? Might have pushed it a bit far there. None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. Okay, hold on, hold on. He That is consistent, right? I remember actual Ardbert telling me something similar, right? That is consistent with what he said before? That he was just looking for adventure? But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Any one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man. And the resolve to see it through. He's just given the, the, basically the essence of being a video game protagonist. Or well, specifically an MMO protagonist. Just wander around and help From people. By own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. Yet whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. Twere better we retired unto the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Go. I will stay here and watch. I'm going to invite him up, am I? No, bring him up. What? This is insane. Go speak. We, the player, knows this is all a bit ominous, but I don't see how Macon should be that freaky. He should at least say, look, bro, come up here. Oh. So, that is a warrior of light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed Artbert. It has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? Can't you like sense his soul and stuff as well? <clears throat> uh, absolutely not. It looks like him and sounds like him, but it isn't him. Ardbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. Right, exactly. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. I guess Macon didn't see yeah, that, that cutscene. That standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. 
which leaveth but one plausible explanation. What's that? That he is an Asian. Well, yeah. So maybe not Elidibus, maybe Given another Asian. For posthumous possession, I would have to agree. From what I understand, the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those whom they had aided in life. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Needless to say, four of them were subsequently exhumed to serve as the virtues. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert too would not have been difficult to find. Right, so I was wondering this with the cardinal virtues thing. What, what exactly the... Okay, so that makes sense. Their physical bodies, their corporeal aether, ended up as the virtues, right? But their souls didn't, I guess, is the question? Assuming then that this the is the work did... of an Asian. My mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the sundering. Their souls were used to stop the flood with Minfilia. Or in Ardbert's case, to follow me around. Elidibus. Assuming then this is indeed the work of an Asian, my mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the sundering, Elidibus. Because regular Asians can't do the, all this crazy stuff. That Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. Thus evicted from his borrowed form and cognizant no doubt of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first, it is quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel. Inhabiting the flesh of the fallen. My, that is unsavory. And they do this often, you say? Verily, for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none save those gifted with the echo can perceive them. Oh, I didn't even re remember Indeed, that detail. When Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the Warrior of Light. Oh, here you go, guys. When we were quizzing a minute ago during the quiz, someone said, when did I first see Elidibus? This is it. This is the waking sands. This did not appear on my streams. This is ARR, post ARR. I remember this so clearly. Tataru's like, who are you talking to? And Minfilia's like, oh, no one. Or whatever. And Tatari wanders out. But yeah, Minfilia could see him. This is Elidibus. I remember specifically after this scene, I was really, this was the first time I got really interested in the idea of the Asians. And I remember speaking to someone in Discord who had played all the story already. And they said, oh, I really like the Asians. I kind of get their story. And I was like, oh, how is that the case then? But I just had no information to have a conversation like that at all. He was like, you just got to play it. Because at this point in the story, all this shit about the source and the reflections and all that. It was none of that was that nothing was really there at all. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. In such puppetry do the Asians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. And they have gained much by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Galian Empire in this manner, while the Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. Yet it must needs be noted that the Asians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. This is good. This is a good recap about the power of the Asians. Who could see them? They can take over bodies. They can take over living bodies. It's sort of like a nice recap of what they can do, you know. And they can't take over me. Mayhap the blessing of light shieldeth Hydlin's chosen from Asian influence. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We cannot say for certain. I guess in the past we said Hydlin had protected, but now I guess that the reason they can't do that to me is because I am one of them. I am an Amorotian. I am from the Convocation or whatever. So they can't. Whatever the reason, I hope it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. I assume, yeah. Yeah, quiz material. Write it down as quiz material. That's it. Take some Tato notes, guys, and quiz me on it. 
Is it not peculiar, then, that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible, given that he was once a warrior of light? Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? If they can't take over us, how can they imitate a fragment of us? Well, I think the idea is that they can't take over our non... They can't take over our soul, or whatever. They could take up our mortal body. If my soul left my mortal body, I'm sure they could inhabit it, and they could do whatever they wanted, because that's just matter at that point. But as long as my soul is in my body, it's like it's already occupied, get the fuck out, right? And they can't fuck with my soul, right? So yeah, if Ardbert is a fragment of us, but he's left his body now, right? Because he's in mine. He rejoined into me. So he can, he, can, he can use that body as like a meat puppet. What'd she say? Is it not peculiar then that Ardbert's mortal remains should be susceptible given that he was one? Oh, she's talking about it! <laughs> She's talking about it. Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible? Yeah, that's what she just said. That's what she said. Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma, his ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. Yeah, yeah, so here, this is a weird thing. I thought that Asians wanted darkness, except Elidibus. He wanted a balance. Which was weird of him. He was weird for that reason. None of that seems to map with the new information I've been given recently, but so it makes me happy to hear Uriange has said that. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. So these are the post heavens world patches. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coax this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. Asians don't want darkness either. Remember the light calamity the first was... Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it doesn't map, yeah. I don't, I don't, but... Okay, an, an, an I nine end. Agreed. Th Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more. Nor yours, by association. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? Might be an idea. It would appear Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind. And I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. Alpha now going all Thancred mode. So is Thancred and Reen just not going to appear in the main stuff at all because they're dealing with fixing up the uh, the empty. Right. What despicable practice appropriating corpses. Such depravity eclipses any horrors I witnessed in the age of Vober. It must be stopped. Hello. We were a hair's breadth from defeat when we faced Emmett Selk, and now we must contend with yet another Asian. We must tread carefully. We must not act until Ardbert have made his plans. It would be folly to proclaim him false at this juncture. 
Okay, with furrowed brow, the exarch wants to figure out, wants to figure out what to do next. You did well to dispel the falsehoods surrounding the Warriors of Light and their actions prior to the Flood. Though I must say, the reappearance of Ardbert, or whatever one who appropriated his identity, was a rather curious development. He's an imposter, of that there's no doubt, but to the masses, he will appear as a hero returned from the grave. After the Warriors of Light were laid to, laid to rest at Yulmore, the people prayed fervently for the gods to deliver them from their plight. Prayed that those fallen heroes be born again from their sacrifices. What bitter irony. I, for one, would like to know why Ardbert urged the people to become warriors of light themselves. Yeah, exactly. How does that uh, how does that further the Asian agenda? Ere we take no action, we must needs ascertain his intent. Let us pray that Master Alphano returns soon with uh, that most essential knowledge. For now, I think it best to apprise Thancred and Reen of our efforts. When we do confront Ardbert, we shall no doubt have uh, need of their strength. Agreed. Hmm. Then I think it's time I return to the Greatwood. Until now, everything we've learned of the Asians has been handed to us at their leisure. But that was one of Emmett Selk's unique failings. I have no reason to think Elidibus will be as forthcoming. Fortunately, I recently received... Poor Emmett, man. Emmett actually had an idea. I recently received word from Fano that heretofore unexplored chambers have been discovered deep within the Katana Ravel. Uh, uh, Ulmet believes the relics within tell of a great calamity that befell an ancient civilization, that of the Asians, perhaps. That may lead us to truths that we seek. Oh, wow. Do you, can I come? Be sure to let me know how that works out, I could have said. No, I want to come. Yeah. I wouldn't dream of going without, she, she, without you, she says. Oh, don't make me put a Tato love in chat. When you're ready, make for Fano. All met and her sisters will be uh, ready. Okay. Then let us be about our tasks. Give my uh, regards to the Vs. Okay. So we might find a little bit more about the fall of Amorot here. So here's my idea. Though I would like to join you in untangling the Asians' machinations, I think it best I stay here and devote my energies to finding a way to deliver the Sarns back to the source. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. Uh... Oh my god, there's a lot going on. Ultima weapon threat on that side. Elidibus threat this side. Now, here's my theory. Ready? And it's a good one this time. Oh, and we're going back to the Great Wood. We're going to hear Lahi, guys. This is a really good theory. Elidibus seeks. He's already subtly talked about the idea of the will of the star, right? He's encouraging people to be virtuous. And altruistic and think of a greater thing than themselves help each other I think he's gonna try and convince them all to kill themselves in the service of the creation of a mini zodiac <laughs> or something <laughs> something like that maybe that's that's my gist maybe of what he might be doing let us pray the new ruins are not as unwelcoming as the last indeed I don't know what a mini Zodiac looks like or means, but something like that. Welcome, allies of Ronka. We've accomplished much since you last came. With the Light Warden dead and its minions dispersed, we have at last uh, reclaimed our hunting grounds near Raktika Falls. It was there that we discovered more ruins. Although we ran afoul of no traps while exploring its halls, we determined the innermost chambers were warded by magic. We were all in agreement. Before any investigation could proceed, you should be summoned. We're grateful for what you did. From what you've told me, I strongly suspect that the wisdom my comrades and I seek can be found within. The wisdom can provide invaluable, for we may soon face a foe whose greatest asset is our ignorance. I see. Then it's good that you've come. For Ronka was once home to the greatest of weapons, knowledge and understanding. And it's our duty to ensure you and yours do not want for either. That said, we must proceed with caution. To have reached the inner chambers unmolested suggests a more formidable deterrent yet lies within. Come now. Surely any threat sleeping within the ruins pale in comparison to those we have faced thus far. This is not a game, sister. You should not be so eager to run headlong into danger. Oh, and who was it pining for the return of our allies that we might venture into the ruins? Clutching her staff at night, wishing it were... <gasps> you promised not to tell! <laughs> then I suggest we be going. I like these two. Get back here! We need more bunnies with the curved ears. The bent ears. 
the bendy is. Remind me, exactly how old are you and your sisters? On second thought, perhaps it's for the better, I do not know. Pray forgive their overzealous nature. None save we three have been privileged to escort you and yours into the ruins and bear witness to its secrets. Their hearts now burn with a curiosity that is not easily satiated. Please, you needn't apologise. As a seeker of knowledge myself, I understand full well their enthusiasm. If not for your sedulous efforts to protect the ruins, we would not be afforded this opportunity. What does sedulous mean, chat? Can it, does anyone know? Sedulous? Sedulous? You mean floppy is? Indeed, I do. Speaking of which, I believe I've kept you away from the ruins long enough. Come, let's make for the Katana Revel. To be sedulous. Diligence, dedication. Okay. Is there a little bit more context that allows me to pull those synonyms apart from one another? Sedulous. Alright, uh, it's my understanding. Oh, these quests. Oh. I want to do them. It's my understanding that as I leave here, Lahi is about to play. Involving or accomplished with careful perseverance. So it's like a careful diligence. Involving or accomplished with careful perseverance. Root word, zealous. Zealous in Latin, basically. Yeah, okay. I do like this song, you know. So I came here once before. I don't remember when. Wasn't this where we found... This is where we brought Ishtola back to life, isn't it? Or out of the live stream. Yeah, I have seen the live performance, yeah. I have indeed. Even Emmett Selk was taken aback to find a mural illustrating the final days in these ruins. What other surprises do you suppose that would lie within? Good point, actually. I should have thought of that. But yeah, Emmett was even surprised to see that, so he might, he doesn't know everything that's been preserved here at the first. I feel oddly ill-equipped to venture inside, but with you here, I'm sure things will work out. Ready when you are. So is this a duty or a dungeon, I wonder? It's most strange for these halls to be left unguarded. Have care when breaking the seal on the chamber door. Danger surely awaits us on the other side. It's recommended you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Oh wow, they've done a new message. So it's a duty. So they're, they're telling me put time aside, but not too much time. Oh, it's suddenly very quiet. We're back in the dungeon area, right? Where is my Shadowbringers versus Icewood Saga comparison? Our new discoveries are to be found this way. Dude, I, I can't even do that yet because I haven't even done... I've got to beat 5.55 before I can make that, can't I? I'll tell you what, this game has illustrated just how much could have come in if that break didn't exist, you know what I mean? It's crazy. The lyrics being ancient Ronkin Golem control codes is a nice touch. Is a neat touch, really. The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. Right. Is this... that much is plain from its proportions. Is this one of the statues we saw on the skyscraper? Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breathed. This is like uh, what we saw on that skyscraper in Amarot, right? So this is a weird creature from the Amarotians. Now extinct or gone. Ah! <laughs> Why <are> you... <laughs> <laughs> These guys are great. <laughs> the little sigh. Is 
so we got an owl. This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. The sealed door lies ahead. Okay. Uh, don't you wish there were more events for Guild Wars 2, like FanFest? I haven't really uh, experienced any of the FanFests yet, so I don't really know. Um, could be cool. As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. You're still so sad we didn't get the Nim deep dungeon this expansion week? Oh wow, are they gonna do a deep dungeon based around Nim? And it got killed because of COVID. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh my god, it, how long ago was it? I was on Heaven and High. That was ages back. Was that really gonna be a thing? One of the side quests suggests that the Warrior of Light can actually hear the Raktika's own music in canon, or at least the very voice of the singer, if not the instruments. Wow, that is a cool deep dungeon. Would that have come in with the X pack or the post patches? Just a moment. There are words carved into the stone. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. Uh, what are the enemies Shall from the Final Dungeon scared. called? Waken the beast and know his folly. Terminus. They're called Terminus creatures. Wait! Don't! Uh oh. Oh dear. What? But I only. What is happening? I love this scene, by the way. There's some proper adventure vibes here. Okay, we can deal with it. Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves. Wow. Whoa. What's the flashing eyes? Oh my god, it can teleport people around? Oh, it got everyone. It got me too. Wow, this is weird. Whoa, why are they all up on the stage with it? Oh my god, it made Ishtola a card. It made everyone a card. Like an astro looking card? What is this? Are they triple triad cards or um, what do you call them? Whoa, what is this? You trespass, mortal Huwaka, upon sacred ground. In retribution, four souls have I bound. Yet to hear I's proven learned and wise, a comrade's soul shall be their prize. If you would see theirs set free, answer me these riddles three. Deft of poor, with kin do I vie. Though sought apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. What am I? Oh, shit. A curl, a calibri, or an oppo oppo? Deft of poor, with kin do I vie. Though sought apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. What am I? I'm gonna guess it's an oppo oppo. What's a snake again? Is a snake like a... a uh, what's a snake? It, what's a colibri? Is it like a snake? Is a colibri like a snake? It looks like a snake. Oh yeah, we could do a prediction. Yeah, I'll set one up. Will I get this right? <laughs> the previous prediction was, will, can WP get past these tuna cans? 
What the fuck? Will I get this right? Yes or no? You got 30 seconds, guys. Place your bets. Oh, a colibri's a bird. Google colibri. It's a real animal. Okay. It's like the hummingbird. Right, okay. Right, and the, the guy in the background is just saying it over and over. Deft of poor. So a bird is not deft of poor. With kin do I vie, though sort apart. What does vi mean? Live? Hang out with? What does vi mean? We ask that question every time a colibri comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with kin do I contest? It means con con contest? Compete eagerly? With my kin do I compete eagerly? Though sort apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts describe. What am I? Compete. So do cats compete? Do big cats compete? Or do monkeys compete? I mean, it says deft of paw. Do monkeys really have paws? They do, don't they? Monkey paw? The monkey paw is the thing with five wishes, isn't it? And it corrupts your wishes. If English natives can't understand some of the dialogue, imagine playing as a non-native. I'll, I'll, I can only imagine. What would they mean by those sort apart betterment of the whole do our efforts describe? The name Wisdom of Nim has nothing to do with a deep deep dungeon. <laughs> English is my third language and I can handle it fine. Jesus Christ. You're non-native and you've got them all correct. Well, I just don't get it though. I don't... Well, what, 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 what do we mean descry? Define, descry. To catch sight of, to find out, to discover. They work independently for the benefit of the community tribe pack, is how I understand that. I'm leaning more towards curl because poor seems to make more sense to me. Monkeys live together, and it's saying here, I compete with my kin. In what way do monkeys compete with each other? I mean, they go to war and shit. There are monkey battles. I think we'll go, I think we're gonna go coral. Ready, everyone? Ah, oh, what? It was the oppo oppo, keen and shrewd. It's spirit exalts ingenuity. A virtue by which the Ronkins did pros prosperity pursue. Oh, I got one of them killed! Oh no! With fierce and fang, I travel with pack. Together we find harmony. And thus for peace, our land does not lack. What am I? All right, we got a new one. Here we go. Start a prediction. Same as before. I'll give you guys two minutes to guess here, though. All right? I'm give you two minutes to guess. All right. With fearsome fang, I travel with pack. Together we find harmony. And thus for peace, our land does not lack. Well, a wolf. Surely that's a wolf. Fangs, travelling with a pack. Together we find harmony. Up, up. So, wolves, owls don't have fangs and don't travel in packs. Serpents have fangs, but don't travel in packs. It's a wolf. This one's really easy. This is a wolf. You are crazy. If, if you guys are doing this prediction, you're insane if you say I get this wrong. This is obviously wolf. Um, I have to wait, though, because, you know, we've got to get the prediction through. So, actually, give me one second.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I just went to get a can of Coke. I lack critical information. Wait, what? Rip your taters, believers? You got to play the odds? What? Hold on. Am I wrong? <clears throat> with fearsome fang, I travel with pack. You can figure it out on the first sentence. It's clearly a wolf. Together we find harmony, and thus for peace our land does not lack. These guys would travel in a parliament, and they don't have fangs. Do owls have fangs? Of course they don't. They're birds. Birds don't even have teeth. They have beaks. You've never heard the phrase, like a pack of snakes? Alright, even if, even if, even if, what do... Snakes. What is a collective of snakes? Even, by the way, do all languages have such weird rules about, like, names for collections of different animals and stuff? Roosters have teeth? No, didn't they genetically... There's some, like, CRISPR thing, isn't there, where they gave birds teeth again? Isn't that a thing? Is it a pod of snakes? A snook of snakes? <laughs> Is it a snook of snakes? I love that. That's good. <laughs> you want me to play an entire puzzle game now because of this? I would love to do that. I like... I'll, I'll tell you what. You guys might think I like fantasy and stuff, but I, I think I just like, like, investigation and stuff. I just like mystery. You know, that's why when I played The Raven with Matt, I think we can all agree that was a really fun series, wasn't it? I'll play Professor Layton on stream if if I if I thought people would watch. I'll do some Professor Layton let's plays. How good would that be? You could do a prediction before every little bit. Phoenix Wright would be good too. I was playing that with Kerry and we were voice acting it together. All right. Anyway. 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 Whatever. 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 It's definitely the wolf, isn't it? It's definitely the wolf. I'm picking this shit. All right. You guys had better believe. How did I get the other one wrong, though? Indeed. As long as I don't get Ishtola killed. Indeed, was twas the spirit of the wolf their doctrines praised. That they would know peace and harmony to the end of the days. The riddles answer you did discern, and thus to you a soul returns. Oh, hi, Simon. On my belly do I crawl, but my strength... Does prosperity reign within our hall? What am I? Oh, this one sounds hard. All right, guys, here you go. So, I did get it right. Last one. New prediction is up. Two minute submission again. Right. <clears throat> Will she speak to me? Hi. Help. Crawls on its belly question mark <laughs> isn't she supposed to be like 300 years old or some shit right on my belly do I crawl but my strength does by my strength does prosperity reign within our hall what am I so it's serpent because it it crawls on its on its belly what? Hold on, let me go back to the original one. Deft of poor with kin do I vie. What did I pick? First time, what was the choice? Oh, do you know what? Deft of poor. I should have took that to mean dexterity. Monkey, dexterity, maybe. But, I mean... Big cats are dexterous as well. Why was the first one so hard and this one's so easy? Curls don't have paws. What do you mean curls don't have paws? They're cats, aren't they? Hmm, wolf scrolls sometimes. I mean, it's snake. It's obviously snake. It has to be snake. I'm guessing snake, so you guys can make your predictions based on this. You ignored the second half of the first riddle? I didn't ignore any of it. I read it all. Why did Google defined multiple words from the second half? How on earth is that ignoring? What does ignoring mean to you? 
What if the wolf has worms? It's a serpent. This time I'm ignoring the second half. By my strength. Does prosperity reign within our hall? Are snakes strong? WP is head out overthinking this. Excuse me, I was told by someone in chat. Don't ignore the second half of the riddle. That's where you went wrong. You ignored the second half, WP. So now I'm reading the second half, okay? By my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. So I'm trying to pay attention to it now. I think it's obviously that it's a serpent. The second half is in regards to what the animals represent to Ronkin society. Who the fuck? I'm not being funny. Who on planet Earth is going to know that a snake represents prosperity to the Ronkins without knowing that snakes crawl on their be belly? What kind of insane... Like, what were you raised on Final Fantasy? Is your entire worldview Final Fantasy lore? You have absolutely no conception of any of this stuff because there's not been a snake enemy in the game. But the game has explained Ronkin society. Who is this second line for? It clearly doesn't help in any way. Okay, but hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a serpent. There's not a chance that a serpent... Like this, this little square here, that's not a leg, is it? And look, it's upright. So what if it's like, you know, what if it's like, what do serpents walk around in Fon in Eorzea and the first? You know? It's like the serpent from the Bible that told Adam and Eve to eat the apple, right? That wasn't like a snake, was it? That was like a snake entity. They spring on their tail. See, they spring on their tail. They don't. They don't slide on their on their tummy. Aren't these duties timed? <laughs> oh shit! They are sixteen minutes. All right, serpent. Indeed, the dread serpent turned protector, lured to slumber ere it tear the world asunder. The riddle's answer you did discern, and thus to you a soul returns. Oh, they've left you stolen for last. Hello, Armit. Desire you that which I yet claim, then we shall play another game. Alright, 99% of you thought I'd get that right. 1% <laughs> of you said no. Alright. A test of mind and memory. Choose wisely and you may all yet go free. Twix these talismans hide friend and foe. Choose your companions well or sorrow no. Wait, what? What? Uh, prediction. Will I get this right? Go. Okay, so just pick a random one. Do I pick a random one or what? I wasn't looking. I was reading the dialogue. What do you think, Simon? Pick a random one. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. Okay. It's a red guy. Go on, trust your instincts. I think it matches with this one here. It's Ishtola. Ishtola's here. Here, do you know what we could do? We could cheat. Way marks. That's a red guy. Ishtola's there. Alright. Oh, there you go. Red guy, red guy. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh. Oh. No mercy. I thought I just had to get rid of them all. 
That's a fail, basically. <laughs> I didn't know that was bad. I thought I just had to care. What do you mean? Hmm. To... <laughs> Pay up. I'm not gonna look at all the people who are now pa voting. Look at all you slimy, jammy people because the prediction was still going. Look at all those slimy bastards that just squeezed in at the end there to completely overwhelm. Happy to fence it before, happy to sit on their potatoes, not to play the game, not to get their prediction in early. Now, when they think it's going the other way, oh, I'll try and sneak it in. Slime balls, that's what that is. I will make my determination later. I will make my determination later. There we go. We lucked that into that one. Okay, so where's Ishtola? Where are you, Ishtola? Are you behind here? No. Okay, so if I just come over here, right? Was this Ishtola the whole time? It was Ishtola the whole time. Okay. So she's free. Well done, she says. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Yet still there remains one trial you must pass. If you would glean the knowledge enshrined in this earth, I would first take the measures of measure of your worth. One worthy of she who the Ronkins extolled must be strong. Oh, and now we got to defeat it. Will it attack? I can wait, yeah? All right, so let's figure out. So what does losing mean? In what way did I could I fail that? You have 11 minutes. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get it. We'll be fine. Time is going to defeat me. This isn't a trial. I'll probably kill it pretty quick, right? It was rigged from the beginning. I'm going to say I succeeded just to fuck over all those dirty people there. Who I, I'm outraged by. I got it correct. You, you all go down. Down you all go. I have no time for the slime. Down you go. And the ratio there was 66% of you said no to 33. All right, down you go. Cheaters never prosper. Finally, this was what I was expecting in the ruins. Oh my God, an attempted triple weave there. Moving away. Should I get in there on that? What do you think? I think it was a bit late, actually. Prediction for the fight. Well, I can't see any way in which I'd ever fail this. Oh shit, I got stunned and moved. Make and hurry, we have to save him. Oh god, I have no agency here right now, right? Thanks everybody. Thank you. This is interesting, because how do they know what role I am? Oh no, Simon. So, I should break one of the tethers now, right? Interestingly, they put that in such a place that I bet I could have... Um... Spinning. 
Can I? Am I safe here? I don't think I'm safe. I'm not going to sacrifice DPS though. I'll just use uh, Shadow Wolf. No debuffs. I gave her Dark Missionary. She got hit by the thing, but I gave her Dark Missionary. You may think you've won, but you have only just begun. We've only just begun. Animate. That poison on me. Poison! <coughs> Gather around me. Did that cleanse the poison? It did cleanse the poison. Oh god. Someone's limit breaking. Oh wow, they killed them all with the limit break. I assume you guys will kill that other one. Should I not be out here? More cubuses. This is definitely Amarok stuff, right? It's not those weird terminus creatures. You guys all right? I mean, I have this buff on me, which means uh, I'm fine. Seat of pain forces everyone out. I will not hold back. Oh, we got six minutes. We got ages, guys. In fact, hasn't that been stuck at six minutes forever? Well, for hero, the trial is complete. Nice. We succeeded. Not wholly unexpected, but exhausting nonetheless. Wait, the Cubus? What's wrong with the Cubus? Oh, Dark Missionary? Sorry, what is it called? Dark Emissary? <laughs> it would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. Now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. God, we just resummon it instantly. I'm well up for this. This is cool. I'm glad we're getting a patch based on the Great Wood. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. Wow, what am I looking at here? Okay. A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could that be the Archmage Tiuna? Who's that? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation. So potent was her spellcraft. Though she ever fought in the name of peace. Mm -hmm. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. What have you seen? What are you thinking? What is it? By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Oh, by the way, yeah, I never said this. Today's patch has a fascinating name. It's called, like, Echoes of a Fallen Star or some shit. 
By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Has the echo. Not less than the echo. In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. A shower of stars set in the sky aflame, and in both worlds... What are they alluding to here? Are they talking about when Dalamud fell? What are they talking about? Or are they talking about the Midgasorma stuff? Midgasorma at Kartano? We can never unpick the why of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? The literal start of the game? You see a star shower at the start. <laughs> WP, who's Bahamut? Wait, what was that? What was the f There was a shower of stars right at the beginning of the game, was there? After character creation. Right, I'd forgotten that. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured in the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? Fucking mega apocalypse. The final days. Oh, I like if, the way she said that. As the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond. Might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? I'm not sure I get it. I'm not... Okay, so chat, I've got a question. Are souls eternal or what? What is the story there? Say someone someone is born, they live, they die. Does the soul only exist for that time or is everyone just reincarnating constantly? Oh yeah, souls go to the live stream. People die, their souls go to the live stream. Then the soul comes back later if it's going to be reborn. <laughs> souls to return to the live stream on death. But if the same soul came back eight eons later, then yeah, okay. So, so, so souls, as we learned in the previous patch, souls are like closely connected to minds and memory. So memory can pass along. As long as the soul is the same, memories can go with it. Consciousness can go with the soul. And that's perfectly tied to what Grahatiya and so on is researching right now. They're trying to figure out if we can get the soul, we should be able to get the, the mind and, and so on with it, right? There are also new souls that are born beside ones that are reincarnated. So what creates a new soul? Yeah, there is a live stream in this game. I know very little about it. So I guess when you are, though you are born without memories, the star shower is remembered by the soul. Does this link to why there's another Ardbert? Well, but I should have Ardbert, his soul's in me. Is the idea of new souls confirmed in game anywhere? I don't recall that. Well, surely there are, if populations grow, there must be new souls to go into those new people. You know, if there's an, if if there are more people than there were Amarotians, all right. Ultimately, there has to be souls in those vessels, don't there? By and large. Or are there people without souls in this universe? 
Alpha is a new soul too. There's a good point. Omega couldn't create things with souls, but he did create Alpha. Or something. It was confirmed. Hythalidaeus told you when you first met him. He told me that new souls could be created. For reasons unknown or otherwise not yet explained, your soul is indestructible, though it can be split as it was in the Sundering. Right. My understanding is that we're all considered sundered fragments of souls of the Asians, the first people, yeah, the Amorines, which is why when Ardbert fused with us, Emmett recognized us for a second. Yeah, that's my understanding too. No, he said li lives newly, newly born. He didn't say new souls. Yeah, nifty guy. Oh, I just read your message. I agree. Remember how near the end you could understand Alpha suddenly? It was because Alpha acquired a soul. This game gives you lots of pillars of eternity flashbacks. Of course new souls are a thing that just happened. The Asians were planning to feed these new lives to Zodiac to bring back Zodiac and be eaten. You're right. Yeah, Jolly's right. There has to be new souls. Oh, well, but I thought that was Aether they were talking about. Aether and souls can be created. But then who or what creates new souls? Yeah, like, so what is, that? what is the process for that? That's just born out of the natural world, it seems. That's just born out of... New lives is not equal to new souls. Yeah, but... Yeah, so, like, does a tree have a soul? Is it only sentient life that is given a soul? Look, when you make the magical fantasy a real thing, you know? These are, like, questions you ask in real life of belief systems that believe in souls. But here, it's, like, a real thing. Right, okay, let's just keep going. The idea is that I, I, the, the, the only thing to understand here is that since minds and souls are like closely related, memory can pass through a soul, which we kind of already know. That's why when Grahatia got his second elegant eye, he could remember a bunch of elegant shit, right? Like there's something about like memory can pass through. You can bestow consciousness through this stuff. So anyway, the point is there's this, it's this idea of a trigger. You can trigger the memory. You can trigger the awakening. A soul might have all these memories in it, but it's dormant until something triggers it. And for us, it seems to be the star shower that happened after character creation. I will watch that cutscene. We're going to go to an end in a second. We're going to watch that cutscene. Um, and maybe there was a star shower here as well, which woke this woman up. The echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory. Or shall we say modern etherological theory? The stuff the writers came up with in the past two, three years, yeah, instead of the stuff around ARR and 1.0? But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided... Ah. Oh, it would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. Oh, but listen, pure speculation, baby. Probably done about 300 hours of that on this website so far. <clears throat> it's all good. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. No, 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 no. You need to talk about it before clicking. You don't click first. You need to talk about it now. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm feeling personally attacked right now. <laughs> we do know that animals Still, have got souls. We learned that from I Stormblood. Good point. I be reminded of our experience in Amarot. Indeed. So a woman... Vs with all the stars falling around and it's like an apocalypse almost so what my soul remembers as a star shower is sort of actually it's basically it's given them PTSD for the mega apocalypse back when right Just how apocalyptic was the star shower at the start of the game? What do I say? You must recall Emmett Selk's dying request. I don't recall Emmett Selk's dying request. What was Emmett Selk's dying request? What was the last thing he said? 
He was standing up straight, no longer hunched. He said, remember me. Remember us. Remember. You see, they keep doing this memory thing now. They're like putting a whole big memory thing on it. Right, remember that we once lived. That was it. Remember that we once lived. I remember that line. I recall that line. He said, get some milk if you could. All right, you must recall what he said. WP won't remember that. <laughs> I know, I know. Remember us. Put that in the quiz for next time, guys. History Get out your tato notes. History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. WP is a dying man's last request. Promises to never forget. Two days later. What was it again? <laughs> Look, a lot of stuff happened at the end, okay? All right. I learned a lot. I've remembered a good amount, all right? Sorry if I don't give a shit about Emmett Selk's vanity. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Let me just be clear. Emmett Selk was the bad guy. I don't know why you guys are being sympathetic. He's the bad guy. I'm the good guy. It's a very simple story, everyone. You can disregard what the bad guy thinks. Your mothers were wise. You interpret it as vanity. In all sincerity, yeah, it is sort of vanity, isn't it? Presumption that your society, your people were better somehow. Though we witnessed the there final is a vanity days, to it. our impressions cannot fail to be coloured by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. I didn't interpret any of this. I'm sorry, Ishtola. What? We see the past through our own eyes, and we speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way, but this is not the same as remembering it. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be coloured by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. Right, so they're basically saying, look, you saw it, alright, in the final dungeon and stuff. But you didn't live it. It wasn't really your life, all right? You're separate to it. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Fanau will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. It's not a presumption, though. They're objectively a superior species. It's not. That's not objectivity. You think that's objectivity because you're so mired in, like, your expectation. This is a story. You've got to meet the story where it is. And this is a story about millennia and about thousands of cultures over multiple worlds over, like, Christ knows how long. All right? You can say, from your specific perspective, enjoying this media from where you are, that that's objectively superior, but it's not necessarily, you know, you haven't lived millions or... or it, they almost felt like they'd lived if it, infinity time in their kind of society and how it was. You might look, you as an Amorotti, and they might say that's not objectively superior. It's still a matter of your perspective. If you're blind to that, your own bias to that, I think you're missing the story. They're so big with it that you really are very, very much in just a pure place of, like, philosophy rather than any pragmatic sense of it's objectively superior to be immortal. You know, the story is much broader than that. It's on a much bigger canvas. And obviously the, the beauty of the game is that that's a debate you can have. Not to say that one is objectively the answer or not. To say that, like, the Asians are objectively right in their ambition to bring back this objectively better civilization is to completely miss the spirit of this game's story. All right. I'm not too good with the game's story at this point, but I can say that with some confidence. 
We learn nothing of Asians, but the potential link between the Echo and the preternatural star showers is intriguing. It is. By your pensive expression, I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. That is well. In time, the knowledge you've gleaned will lead to understanding and thus arm you for what is to come. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of the teachings of our forebears of histories learned, not lived. The legend of Tiuna and her exploits has been told countless times over the centuries. Yet, as it is handed from one generation to the next, the story changes. With each telling of the tale, there are new flourishes, details changed or lost. We can never truly know how she lived, for we're, we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you've gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we shall do our, do our best to preserve your story. Thank you. OMG Green Tea, thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, I hope you'll forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own. But I think it goes without saying we could never misspeak of your her heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we're here, there are none among the V's who could know uh, all you've done for Norvrant. We're not deserving of such reverence, says Ishtola. But we are grateful to you all the same. You can be certain we'll have our own tales of the great guardians of Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. I pray you safe travels then. As ever, we shall await for your return with open arms. By all rights, you should be returning to the Crystarium, but Ishtola does not seem ready to return. Although we learned naught of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. Before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I'd attend to in Slitherbow. Uh, may I trouble you to come with me? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. After we arrive, we should have a brief word with Runar. And I'll admit, nods, and off we go. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Right, um, so here's the thing. I want to go to an inn. Is that I still don't have the gemstone traders. Is there a single inn in this world that's not at the Crystarium? Does Yulmore have an inn? Can anyone just answer me that real quick? Is, does Yulmore have an inn? I feel like if you haven't that train of thought at this point in the story, I feel like you have a fantastic grasp of the story at this moment, even if the final details in the lore are lost, not completely removed. I only the Crystarium has one, okay. Well, I mean, I can get the spirit of what they're doing, you know. Um, I just don't get the letter of what they're doing. Just the Crystarium. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and I can just go straight there, right? Dependence. Because obviously Emmett is someone you can empathise with. Right. The Warrior of Darkness. Retire to your room. I think it would be wrong to suggest you can't empathise with him. And it would be wrong to suggest he's right. N neither of those is really the right way to play the game or enjoy the story. I mean, you can, you can take one of those pole positions as an indulgence for the fun of where it leads a discussion. But anyway. Uh... So this is it. Underneath the Sultana tree. Sultan tree. What is the here we go? This is the first cutscene of the game. Are you guys ready? I have not streamed this. Oh, Sultan tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Ah, oh, her name's Lilara. She's Lilara. In um, in when the you guys asked earlier, I did know it. I just, I just needed a few seconds to get that out of my brain. It's Lilara. Oh, this isn't... Oh, it's scene two. Thancred's there. Cut scene two. So it's not the start then, is it? No, no, no. This is... Well, we're questing at this point. You have to make a new one. Because they only do... Um... Well, the only hope we've got then... It's not even in the description of the level one quest. It's not even in the description. You know, this blows my mind. This does not look like a very quick long quest log. This is ARR right here. 
That's a lot of quests, though. Whatever. Wait, dwarf quests? What? What did I just see there? Dwarf quest. Oh, oh, okay, because it's just Beast Tribe. I got you, I got you. Two was right. You pick up the crystal and then you have a vision. Oh, okay. He's not even reading chat. Oh. Sorry, sometimes I'm reading the game. Sometimes I'm playing the game. Sorry my attention isn't here at four and a half hours, at four hours, 40 minutes in, that I slipped <laughs> looking at chat. Fucking hell. You realize I have a log, right? You realize if I miss it for 30 seconds, I do get to look back and see it, right? You can see that, yeah? Alright, so it's this one, is it? There's no star shower during the opening scene. So I get the crystal. <laughs> but you have two eyes. <laughs> Okay, this was the first crystal. Is there really a star shower here? I don't think this is it either. It's certainly not the start of the game. Here, feel, sing. Is, do, she says that to me over and over again. Does that mean... So? Oh, here you go, look. It's a star shower. Oh. No way. Wow. Okay, so my interpretation of that now. My interpretation of that. Let's give them full credit, all right? I guarantee, well, I don't guarantee. I feel very much like they've cobbled this along as they've gone together, but it works perfectly. So let's just give them credit. Let's just give them credit, all right? My interpre interpretation of that now is Heidlin is begging, beckoning my soul to remember that I'm an Amarotian. Heidelin's basically saying, bro, do you remember who you are? Can you remember this shit? And she shows me like the star shower. She's showing me the mega apocalypse. That's what I feel like that's saying. That's my interpretation of that. That little forgettable moment. That's pretty cool. No, she's good. Just giving you tools to fight Asians. Why would she want that? Good question. Isn't she happy with the status quo? Well, no, she's not happy with the status quo because the Asians are undermining her and making her weaker. We know this. We know that things are not going well for her, right? She's getting weaker and dying away. By the time Heaven's Ward's over, she can't even speak to us anymore, right? Yeah, there's been calamities and shit. She's trying to sell it out. Ironically, even in 1.0, you saw the Sar Shower. Really? All right, well, that is cool. That is coolio. Okay. So, again, a little bit of a taste of why ARR might be more fun to play back. An old friend. No, that is not the... Wait, or is it? It is. Hello, Runar. In what context does the star shower appear in 1.0? Some people thought it was a prelude to Bahamut and Dalamud's fall. I mean, they might have been, who knows, you know, they might have been just putting that, they just set it up, we'll pay it off later kind of mindset. But, it, you know, it doesn't matter, does it? Whatever they originally were thinking. Because they are paying it off in a cool way. Macon, it's good to see you. You've arrived at the most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my favorite, uh, famous stew. Come. I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't the... Please, I insist. It will only take a minute. Ah, oh, he's so nice. 
Yeah, let's have his stew. Chill out, Ishtola. Let's just relax, you know. <sighs> My apologies, Macon. It seems our return to the Crystarium will be delayed. It's okay. I like being on adventures. Perhaps it's only for a bit, but if you assist me with my work, I say work, but it's rather more of a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Slitherbell from top to bottom. If you'd be so uh, kind as to go and fetch a broom from Askia, we might finish before Runar is done cooking. Chat, be honest, none of us know the answers still. There wouldn't be an Endwalker dropping this week if we did. Well, you can know some answers without knowing them all, right? A broom for Master Matoya. I cannot imagine why she would have need of such a thing, but here you are. It's an old but sturdy and should suffice. Please animate this. Ishtola, can you please animate this just like real Matoya would? Remember to go to the lodestone size stories. Yeah, Carrie told me she's read all of them last night, and she said some are short and some are right. She said some of them are even like only a page, which really makes me want to do it on stream because, you know, it's not like a huge initiative. I trust Askia was able to find a broom for us. Yeah. This well-worn broom has seen many a spring and summer into the bell. Swishing and sweeping, sweeping and swishing. Look, that's even a reference to the Vittoria brooms. It looks like one, too. Hello. I love her. Look at her glove. Look how cool her glove is. Well worn. Good. This would prove difficult otherwise. Why would you have a glove like that that only covers one finger? One finger. Well worn. Good. This would prove difficult to breathe otherwise. Though I must say, I did rather well not having a broom this far. Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it's time I finished cleaning with the help of that broom. She draws on a tablet too. Oh yeah, because yeah, I do. I got one of those tablet gloves and it conceals your like pinky though, isn't it? That's the one finger. It will go all over the, just the, the pinky or whatever. And it keeps your other fingers open. It stops you like smudging the screen or whatever. Ah, oh, she giggled. You didn't honestly think I'd do it the old fashioned way. That broom is more than capable of sweeping by itself. Or rather, it will be. <clears throat> we get the Matoya music. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing the thing. Time to rise, to swish and sweep. A tidy chamber you must keep. To, ta to this task you shall be bound until no dust is to be found. Does this broom have a soul? Matoya was very clear in explaining that brooms do not have souls. You're continuing your journey to be a Look at you, Ishtola. You're living in a cave with animated brooms. In this one particular respect, I have no obje objections to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. Oh, I love the little sweep sound. Do you guys hear that shit when the camera cut? It went into the other speaker. In future, I may need to remind... Oh, God, is she going to talk about the fact she's leaving and Runar's going to overhear? In future, I may need you to remind me the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean qu uh, clean quarters for said pursuit. I know, I was thinking that. How, how messy is exactly she's living here? I like to believe the broom could gain a soul if it tried long enough. <laughs> like Alpha, right? Yeah, oh, it's happening. Oh, I'm so in tune with what they're doing this patch. You guys notice this? I'll dearly miss this place, these people. Oh, oh, why don't I have these expressions? Oh. And he shakes it off. M Master Matoya, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if she just said out loud, oh, this fucking guy, not realizing he can hear. Remove the mustache. The beard's covering it. But what are we without our mustache? Is something troubling you? You've been rather quiet. No, no, no. Everything's fine, I assure you. It's been a long day as well. I love the ambience right now. Very immersive. I see. Ishtola, thank goodness you're still here. Oh, hi, Alphino. Urioji. Alice. Eh? 
Alpha No. I thought you were following hard, but Yeah, what what's going on? I was, though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every elm of Norvran in his quest to spread the truth of the Warriors of Light and the Flood. And it seems news of your address to the Crystarium precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become Warriors of Light themselves. Here he is everywhere, but there's no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. Well, we're all agreed that this is just an Asi another Asian ploy, yes? They've commandeered corpses before and to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when it's that of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Slitherbow. Alice, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Horrick and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do now is let them rest, so I believe we're about to discuss how to arrange meeting with our would-be warrior of light. I, I want to I wanna to summon Porksy again. Here, Porksy, Porksy, Porksy. Before visiting any towns or villages, Ardbur would hunt down and slay a nearby sin eater to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of them is to find the one find one before he does. Thankfully, Thancred and Reen are returned from the empty and have taken up the search. Angelo, that's his name, yeah, Angelo. Reen believeth one may lurk beneath the boughs of Waven Oath. Okay. And that's where we'll search at Star Search. What is this patch, by the way? I've done like a little dungeon there, which was quite cool. Got us thinking about Professor Layton a bit. But what else is going on? Master Matoya, what about your stew? I made it for you specially. I, uh, <clears throat> a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. Oh, how supportive he is. Oh, I look forward to it. You'd best be nice to him. I, I, Ishtola is close to me disliking her at the moment. She'd best be nice to him. She'd best respect what he's putting in there for her. Because it seems like she's just going to sally forth and leave this place. What about the friends you've made along the way? Oh, Runar. I love how this game does that, you know. It's very cool. Uh, <laughs> let's just have those little moments to show Runar being a little bit dejected and sad. Fly! Voice acting and singing talent. Yeah, yeah, that was all me. That was all me. Yeah, it's never night either, is it? I don't know what that is. 5.2, MSQ, Eden continues, Trials begin, Bosja begins, Gathering Beast Tribe, more Ishgard restoration, and ocean fishing. What? What, what the fuck? I just can't believe how much there is. Did people even like this patch? Do the Final Fantasy fans at least sort of get it? Are they at least like, yeah, this is good? Do they even respect all the content they get? By the way, MSQ dungeon coming up. Hell yeah, that's more what I was asking. I was more wondering if there would be a dungeon or something as a part of the main story. 
Why wouldn't we? Because people do, people don't acknowledge what their own. You get you sort of get accustomed to a certain expectation, and you stop respecting. You know uh, what 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 once is viewed as a privilege just becomes a baseline. You know. I don't because I don't. If you're if you're always gorging, you don't realise that what you're in the midst of is a feast. Do you get what I mean? After coming from WoW, yes. I guess that's the thing. All you have to do is beat the the rest of the industry, right? Evolute says this should be the standard. Well, how do all the other MMOs match up? I can't wait to look at like ESO and stuff. I wonder if they are even anywhere close. I mean, that's a huge patch, isn't it? And it's just 5.2. It's not even like... Nobody talks about this patch. MSQ, the Raid series, a trial series, Bosja, which is like one of those game-within-a-game things, isn't it? Gather a whole new beast tribe around gathering. The Firmament Ishgard restoration's going on. Oh, and by the way, here's a whole new feature, ocean fishing. And aren't these like every three months or something? Isn't it every three months? And they're doing this while making Endwalker, right? They're making Endwalker at the same time. Play 5.3 and you'll understand why nobody talks about 5.1 or 2. Fourteen shitting all over other MMOs at the moment has been for quite a while. I mean, just really think about that. Just really... Well, I'm not going to count FF16 or anything else that Square Enix is a publisher or whatever does. I, I'm not counting that. Because you you, may, you say FF16 with one breath. What about the 7 remake, which is in progress? What about all the other ports and side games? Yeah, that's not quite... I don't think... Let's just talk about the MMO development, shall we? Benji, who doesn't play this game either, by the way. Is Benji the only regular person in chat who is not a Final Fantasy player at all at the moment? Anyone else around? They say they'd sacrifice a living world map and a meta event for stuff like this. Oh no, there are a few of you, actually. I'm, I'm especially curious on their opinions, obviously. It's easy to just... You haven't played for three years or so. Oh, wow. You're fascinating. Knack, you're fascinating, man. Hold on. You're a 14 player that hasn't played for the past three years. Haven't you messed the best of this MMO? You're here for my sweet VA. <laughs> Patch point three hits differently because of the pandemic and the delay in the release. Yeah, I mean, we're in, this is modern MMO history now. We're, we've caught up, basically. As far as... Um, I mean, when was this patch? I didn't even read that out loud. This patch came out. Here, guys, look at this spreadsheet. Sincerely recommend you guys look at this spreadsheet. This patch came out... Um, after Shadow in the Ice. So, it was February last year. Holy shit. That's quite mind-blowing, isn't it, actually? That Shadow and the Ice is... Wow, Whisper in the Dark is two years old already. Think about that. Biora came out two years ago. What the fuck has been going on for two years? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I can say there's no other Sinis in the area. I hope this means Ardbert will be coming this way soon. No, I didn't mean with Guild Wars, I just meant in general. COVID has been going on. COVID came out two years ago. If you were hoping to vent your frustrations on our Ether friend here, I can only apologize. Did you get ahead of me that then, Thancred, did you? It's good Few to see. As they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. It's Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? It's not much of a plan we've got going on here at the moment, is it? We were, and are. But we can hardly ignore the rest of the world. So we thought we might see how things were coming along. From what we can gather, the answer is... Strangely. Oh, this is interesting. Japan didn't have crazy measures against COVID and they flip-flopped a lot. Oh, that's interesting. 
Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. Our quarry is come. Japan just closed down again. COVID is not good there. Wow. All right. Sorry. It seems I've lost this particular race. You have indeed. All right. You talk, Elidibus. Well, though, I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? I remember, yeah. You killed Ravana. Nice little callback. But where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. Extend a friendly fist. Ask whether he wishes Seto over here. Would Seto recognize him for what he is? Oh, he Poor fellow. He will be sorely missed. Ardbert seems like very real. If it is Elidibus, he seems very like him, doesn't he? Who is Seto again? He's the game's composer. <laughs> He wrote Lahi. I thought Sport you were supposed to be good at this. Very well. Let us forego this pretense. Oh shit! I thought he was good at it. Well done, Macon. He, he still had me. All, it was never you that I needed to deceive. Uh, he had me doubting. I missed a clever wordplay. What was it? Yes, it is I. Elizabeth. Okay. What's your mark? Your mark is a lock and a key. Is that, is that some kind of key hole there? Do I see that? But also a phoenixy shape. Is that is that the same as um as Emmett's was? Oh, he implied that Seto was dead, but Seto isn't dead. Oh, I see. So I caught him in a lie. WP, Seto is the Amaro belonging to Ardbert. No, no, no. Seto is a composer for the game. And they just put him here on the first. It's like a fan service self-insert character. It's like the Wandering Minstrel or whatever. And they just brought him into the story a little bit. This is Final Fantasy XII's Zodiac Center upside down, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, Socken it yeah, Socken's the bird. <laughs> I'm sure Socken is in Amaro IRL. Yeah, I'm messing around, guys. I'm messing around. To be fair, there might be people who've stumbled onto the stream and they didn't hear us talking about that earlier. Alright, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so I get it. Uh, just just to be clear, okay. Macon said, Oh, if only Seto were here. And then and then Elidibus was like, Yeah, oh, it's such a shame he's dead. But we know, we know that Seto's alive because we were talking to him during the main storyline. So that was the lie. And that's why Macon then said, I thought you were supposed to be good at this. You see? All right. Elidibus. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. Have I played FF12 all the way? I have indeed, yes. Many times. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. I'm really into this right if now. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Mm-hmm. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Oh, uh, yeah. Is this the first time he's got he's been voice acted? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice, but it might just be that it's been a long time since I heard him speak. 
Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. He was voice acted at the end of Heaven's World as well. I think he's just only had fleeing scenes. So I am really curious about Elidibus, by the way. I, I really am very, very keen to hear the last of the Paragons. Is that what they're called? The three surviving ones? The three ones that escaped the Sundering? I don't know how. I hope that I get told that at some point. But they're called Paragons, are they? They're Paragon Asians? Is that their title? Unsundered, sorry. Okay, he's the last of the Unsundered. And, um... And how, and he, he, why does he wear white robes instead of black, right? Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmett Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. Appealed to us, essentially, right? I like... Do you know what's really clever now? None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Yeah, but they didn't really like each other very much. You could sort of sense that in those Stormblood cutscenes. I like, by the way, look how sophisticated they get. I'm a silent protagonist. And yet I very much got the sense there that Macon isn't speaking. Macon never speaks. Well, he sometimes does and because of his gesturing and stuff. But here I get the sense, even as a, as a silent protagonist, it's very clear that I'm pissed and staring at him and not saying anything. Maybe I'm crediting something there that I shouldn't because he'd just be animated otherwise, right? Emmet Selk. Yeah, what do you think of Emmet? Talk to me, man. Can this scene be like 10 hours long? How very unlike you. To uh so gravely that one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable but i had thought you above such weakness mayhap you thought the same would that i had been present to offer correction uh yeah his axe is clean i didn't notice that but i see it now or well when you'll be on shot again but i shall do so now as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back 100 short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. What happened 100 years ago? Is he talking about here at the, the first? He's not talking about the source right now. When you read the short stories, you'll get more context for Elidibus and Emmett's sexual relationship. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, he's talking about the flood. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail, and you fail, and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand again and again and again, and you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. There is no common ground to be found between you and I. Nor do I require any. I have my duty. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping he'd be a more interesting character, but he's just gonna keep it close to the chest and just walk off. He was once upon a time the most fascinating Asian, and as the last of the unsundered, he's kind of cool. But I mean, we, I need well, more scenes of him. We have confirmed the identity of our foe, at least. And it is safe to say his objective is the rejoining. Yeah, but through what mechanism? But we still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause. Nor why he would spur others to do the same. I like how he kind of has an older voice, by the way. It fits. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. Hmm. Really? You want to go back? We are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting. The fact remains, we know too little. Can we go back? Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, 
and of Elidibus himself. Hell yeah, talk to me about the convocation. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Sel. Oh, I stole her. Well, I love this plan. Let's do it. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmett Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not Oh, fuck know. off, Uriange. There's loads of people there. No, let's go. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. Oh, even cooler! Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Hmm. As long as you don't make me do any more chores. Imagine you pick these options every time. The whole way through the game. You just pick this option, pick this option, pick this option. You'd be so pissed and sad. If there's ought to be learned, I want to know it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would have, guys. If I'd seen in chat, people liked that idea. A man after my own heart. Oh, look. But she said I was a man after her own heart. Let's see. Oh, wait. What, she, what would she have said? Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, <laughs> it is them. <laughs> oh, mummy. Oh, God. <laughs> Runar is history. <laughs> is the game audio low? Uh, I can turn up a bit for you. The, quiet, the music's very quiet. What, plus one love points with each two. I think I've, I've navigated those quite deftly. What would she have said if I'd gone the other way? The dialogue is also super quiet. Has, it been, has that been true the whole time? Are you sure? It's fine. You know, uh, what you can do, guys, is if you take your mouse and you, like, move it against the screen of the stream, on the bottom left, there'll be, like, this little... There'll be, like, the pause button. And next to the pause button, there'll be, like, this sideways triangle. And if you, like, mouse over that, a little bar will appear. Now, you can click on the white circle on that bar and you can move it left and right. And that's, that's a volume slider. So if it's a bit quiet, I don't know, maybe you can... That might help. Disdain and obfuscation? What is like true design, emissary? Uh, she says, keep that up and I'll send you to bed without supper if she if you choose the third option. And that's funny, but it's definitely not the romance angle I'm going for. Full on going for it at this point, I think. <laughs> Using Tato notes in response to my sarcasm, I like that. Thanks for as old as he is. Thank you for the gift sub there. Seventh Sin 777. Thank you. He surely would have you depart for the Tempest without delay. Alpha now has the right of it. Let's pay a visit to the Undo. We should speak with Tulse Ath first. As chieftain, he is doubtless privy to a great many secrets. A gift sub for being a smart ass about the music. Oh, so is that how we, we we get subs, is it? Right now, we're going at a rate of one sub an hour. So we're we're streaming for about £2.50 an hour. It's a pretty good rate. But if I'm sarcastic, that will go up with it. If I'm a smart ass, I should say. <laughs> Bank Rotus just gave it a play. I will not be compelled, guys. Thank you, uh, Bank Rose, for that. You guys might want to look in chat. You might have just got a lucky sub. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, and Seventh Sin did another one, too. Okay, so where are we going exactly? We're going to the Tempest, but to the actual ruins. Oh, someone's redeemed emo only chat for two minutes. I'll honor that. I'll honor that. You guys are in jail. Somebody just paid for you to be in jail, so don't worry. I will do the two minutes. Strictly two minutes. Mayhap we shall find it. Don't worry. And I'll time it here with some brilliant lore anyway. You know? 
May help, we'll find the secrets we seek in these depths, should their keepers consent to aid us. This is a great idea for the where the story should go. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, what was that? Seventh Sin again, with a little gifted sub. Thank you very much. Uh, the last time we were here, the Yonde sent us to slay a massive creature. It was as large as Leviathan, twice as angry, and yes, of course I jest. It was only half as large. See, I missed this, right? Because I haven't done that world boss. Oh, you guys can't can't answer because you're in jail. Oh, the Garbu emote's good for being in jail, isn't it? Oh, I should have like a potato emote. A potato in jail emote, shouldn't I? That works really well. It should be like a little potato behind bars. Yeah, like that. Look, ugron has got one. Probably from another channel. Uh, Seventh Sin, thank you again. Um... Wow, that's three separate ones from Seventh in there. This place feels much less ominous than the first time we were here. Then again, we did have the shadow of your impending death hanging over us. Hi. Don't be shy now. Okay, I think I forgot to speak to Reen. Sorry, Reen. I have sent for no finless ones. Perhaps you instead come seeking something of us. Perhaps indeed I do. Alright, that's probably two minutes done. Oh, wow, Sammy has an animated uh, jail one. Right, there you go. You, I'm trying to free you guys. I'm literally trying to free you you guys there. Oh, someone else has, has redeemed it again. Whoops, could not connect to chat, it says. I literally can't get you out of jail anyway, but someone else has paid again anyway, so whatever. Ruin, ruins, which your kind have yet to explore. I see. I know of one such place. Alas, under these circumstances, I'm afraid we can spare none to guide you there. And what circumstances are these? Rather than hunt for their own meals, the Benthos have pillaged our stores of Minyuri liver. They must be replenished with haste. The Benthos, a particularly violent tribe of Ondo, if I recall. Well remembered, Alphano, ever the politicking. A band of bottom feeders. We lost we all lost much in the flood, but while others work to rebuild, they resort to thievery and murder. Revenge, they call it, when they prey upon your kind. But do not be fooled. They care not for whom they harm. Would that we had the warriors to challenge them. This is not the first time they have stolen from us. But there is no resource more precious than liver. And all must dedicate themselves to the hunt. Unless, of course, we were to reclaim the livers for you. It seems a fitting payment for vital information, does it not? Moreover, one could argue that by employing Bismarck to reach these depths, thereby driving back the waters, we are in part responsible for the deeds of those driven to desperate ends by the changing climes. Hmm. Uh, one good turn. Can we not simply hunt it ourselves? Well, what's Ishtola suggesting here? She's suggesting... We're in part. She's suggesting we're responsible. So I'll I'll, pl I'll play my part and I'll say, all right, we can't leave it. One good turn and all that. Let's go with the rapport option. You know. There you go. I've managed to free you guys from jail. I thought you might say that. You've never been one to miss an opportunity to help. Reclaiming the swords it is then. Free? Yeah, you're free now. We would be grateful beyond words if you did. The Benthos have surely taken the livers back to the Flounder's floor. But be warned, there'll be no shortage of guards waiting to spear in Tudors. Then we'll have care, have care not to draw their attention, shall we? It is interesting. Oh my god, emo only again. <laughs> Alright, you're in jail again. I mean, if you guys are getting joined in. I was, you, did you guys just hear me there? I said, it's interesting. And I interrupted myself. Do you know what's interesting? I was going to say that when I changed the emote only from 8,000 to 10,000, right? That's obviously a 20% rise in the price. But um, it really cut the amount of people redeeming that. I think just psychologically, when you see that 10,000, it, it, it's a big jump. And I think it really cut a lot of people. I wonder if I changed it to 9,999. If people would, it would resonate differently. I, I sort of feel like it would hit worse, almost, seeing all those nines. But, you know, we are playing Final Fantasy, and 9999, if there's any number that represents this franchise, surely it's 9999. The music here is, like, really chill. Oh, look, 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 the city is clearer now. 
Oh, how cool is that? How many of you lot noticed that? First time you're here, they obscure that so you can hardly sort of see what it is. On repeat visit, they do this. I thought it had been 2,000 before 10,000. Am I remembering wrong? Yeah, it was a different thing that was two. It was eight. I think it went from like five to eight and then for, spent a long time at eight and then I put it to ten. Oh, wow. We have a cheer. Thank you very much, Seventh Sin. 500 bits. That should unlock an emote for you, by the way. I think. Seventh Sin seems to be giving out uh, playing with the notifications. <laughs> Oh, Ashford. I like that emote, by the way. That Xenomad. That's a cool cool little... That almost looks like a potato. Yeah, there you go. Alodis has it. I don't know how much you pay for that. Yeah, those little cheer icons. We could get animated emotes for them, too. But Yeah. Um... Thank you very much for that. All right. How, how long until I free you guys? Because I think uh, we're untethered right now. I think I think we have no mods in chat. I think we're just chilling. It's just you and me, guys. There we go. You back out. Oh, uh, no. Rocker is like... I think I had a message from someone in Discord a few days ago saying, Hey, I'll be a mod. Um, but I never got back to them. Um, so far, I don't see the need to have any more. I mean, he does a brilliant job, doesn't he? He can't be here all the time. Nervous? Me? Not at all. It's a bit dark, though, isn't it? Definitely not haunted, though. Certainly not. Alphano, I want to talk to you about ghosts. Because I think we've got to study what a ghost is. Agron says, I didn't notice the city being clearer for a long time, but I realized it while waiting for you to find the structure. Oh, you so like two days ago. He's got to miss that you redeemed it. Someone redeemed again. Oh my God, they did. Oh, this is agony. Come on. Who will I turn to for my law details? Shubin alert. Talk to all the NPCs. They're not much of a threat one-on-one, -on -one, but Tulshath was right about their numbers. If we fight them all, we'll be here a fortnight. Wait, wait, wait. Talk to all NPCs where, though? This area is crazy. Was this here at launch? They didn't add this at 5.2, did they? Shall we fight something? What was the last thing we fought? There's a lot of it. Uh, Garnet's not out. That delay on solid earth is so brutal. I'm glad that's changing in a couple of days. That's right, guys. A couple of days. Like here, I'm just going to blood spill her. No, oh, I didn't even have to. We'll save it. Hello. If I were a bandit leader, I'd surely keep my spoils deep within my stronghold. Has Faye all been in any of the storylines so far? Oh, I could have I could have chosen left or right. The uh, 5.1 or 5.2 was was Faye all in it yesterday? <clears throat> oh, she was, wasn't she? I think she was briefly. It's a very creepy cave. Oh wow, that redeem highlight, Garbu with the background, looks kind of weird. All right, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. We're back, we're back. I really hope they still change some stuff on Dark Knight, like that cursed blood weapon. Wait, what's wrong with blood weapon? I thought it's an interesting skill. A little bit more interesting than just. Uh, you know, a bunch, another damage OGCD. On cursory sniff, you detect the faint aroma of fresh oranges, a far cry from the rather memorable scent of the liver. Okay. The 
timer. You can't use it properly inside your AoE combo. The duration makes it awkward to optimize around. Huh. Uh, these boxes are filled with assorted vegetables. Liver is not a vegetable. Okay, alright, fine. All right. I won't, I, I'll get in the sense they don't want me to click every single one. Thancred over there is with the uh, bag. Did you get there already? I mean, what's the point of me helping out if we've already got here? Thrusting your hand into each sack in turn, you find that they're all filled with wheat down to the bottom. You also find that raw wheat is unpleasantly pointy. pointy. It's so weird thinking of them gra getting grain and stuff down here. Huh. What about this side chamber over here? There's a bulbous bag over here. I like the shadows though. From the squelching noise they make when prodded and the vile stench, you can include these bags of bursting with livers. Brilliant. Hey, thank Red. Are those them? They are indeed. Perhaps you deduced this already, but it seems the benthos have been raiding collusion storehouses as well as those of the Undo. Oranges, pumpkins, wheat. Yeah. But we can discuss this after we see the livers back safely to Tulsath. We wouldn't do to keep them in suspense. Is this related to the fact there's a beast tribe coming with this patch? Yeah, do you guys like liver in real life? What about a nice liver pate? A meal my mum always used to make for me when I lived at home, growing up, was liver, mash, bacon, onion, and gravy. The meal was called liver and onion. You've had liver. You've never had liver here before. The most characteristic thing about liver is its texture. It's like um, it's almost it's like soft grit, soft and gritty. You know, like to chew it. That's the way I would describe it. Soft, almost like crumbly, almost. Yeah, but it's like a little bit spongy as well. But like it has almost like a gritty t texture. As you like press it between the t the roof of your mouth and your tongue, there's almost like a slightly like gritty bit to it. Like a meaty pear. Well, not quite as squishy and juicy as a pear. No shoe bill? I missed the shoe bill. Yeah, I don't know where it was. Anyway, you have a lot of mashed potato, bit of onion, and like the bacon, like a crispy bacon with it, like, you know, is like a, another part that, you know, it like complements it texture-wise. You'll notice once again, it's a mushy food, which is therefore a quintessentially British food. Sounds very uninteresting. Yeah, it's less interesting than it sounds, I think, probably. I'm relieved to see you unspeared. This bulging sack makes a truly heinous uh, squelching noise as you heft it over your shoulder. I mean, raw liver's obviously going to be squelchy and sloppy, but... You had it a lot as a kid, now even the smell makes you sick. Really? See, I wonder whether that's, like, a British or it's just previous generation stuff. I wonder how many people my age are making liver for themselves at this point, you know? How many people come home from work... And just make up liver, you know. How many of my old schoolmates and stuff would do that? Our precious livers. I knew you would not fail. Or are we all sort of like, eh, that's more of a thing from my granddad. I'm not going to bother with that. We also found all manner of food stuff from Collusion in the uh, Flounders' floor. Tell me. Does that seem odd to you? It is brazen, to be sure. I'm reminded of rumours I heard recently concerning a rash of thefts from Collusion warehouses. The perpetrators enter in the dead of night and are gone before anyone's realised what's happened. The Yomoran army has been investigating, but thus far to no avail. Perhaps the reason they've struggled to so is their quarries of the sea. The true question then is what we mean to do about it. Much as I would be, uh, I would like to proceed to the ruins without further delay. We cannot allow the Benthos to carry on as they are. Oh, I don't agree with that, Ishto. Look, come on, this is important shit. Look, there are going to be troubles around Norvran, all right? We can't help everywhere, everywhere. We have to prioritize. I want to prioritize going to the fucking city. If I may. Elidibus is out there doing things. And what about getting back to Graha and helping you guys get out of here? Your bodies are failing. 
There's all a weapon and stuff in the first. In the source, sorry. There's stuff happening. Collusions are getting plundered a little bit. If I may, I believe that the ruins are, in fact, key to the Benthos' plan. Is that so? These ruins, which lie deep in the illuminated land, are a recent discovery. We've seen signs the Benthos are preparing to claim them with all haste. We could not fathom why, but in light of the knowledge that they've been stockpiling resources... It is clear that their queen will soon give birth. They require space to raise their young, food for both the queen and hatchlings to thrive. Well, we can hardly fault them for that. Under normal circumstances, perhaps, but conditions in the Tempest are far from suitable for spawning. Its resources barely able to sustain our current population. There is only one reason they would disregard this. They seek to build an army, and with it take revenge upon the Finless. It is not a surprise. They came to us long ago, seeking allies for the cause. We rebuffed them, of course. The suffering of others will not serve as balm to their own. Their queen, however, desires only bloodshed, and will gladly send her children to die in our stead. If they're planning to wage war, that changes matters considerably. Indeed. I doubt this can be resolved without violence, but perhaps with a show of force, we can convince them to uh, see reason before the die is cast. I would rather not risk your people in the attempt. If we travel to the illuminated land, there's, uh, is there a way we might identify the ruins ourselves? Yes, once you reach the depths, go deeper still. You'll see, you'll see a monstrous structure upon the seafloor. That you've come to us now is the will of the Ancient Ones. They have guided you here, uh, that you may drive out the usurpers, those who seek the magnificent creations with vile purpose. I have no doubt that they will show you the way forwards. I'm afraid the dead do not speak quite so clearly. Nevertheless, we shall try to try not to disappoint. If what we seek lieth deeper still beyond Amara, I would call upon the assistance of another. Hey, what, what, what you got? What you got going on, Uriange? What's all this? The will of the ancients, if only it was so simple. Why do these problems always turn out to be so much more complex than they seem? Couldn't we have a simple, straightforward adventure for once? The good guy's good, the bad guy's bad, no drama or intrigue. It all ends with teas and tart tea and tarts. She's been talking about tea and tart. Was it Alice that said she wanted tea and tart before? Oh no, it was Ishtola that said she wanted tea and tart, wasn't it? Who said they wanted tea and tart in 5.1? Uriange is a mind to call an old, old friend. It was Ishtola, yeah. Through our course hath been decided, to pursue it, we must needs beseech the aid of a friend. I, I speak of Bismarck. Pray allow me to sullen that we might seek an audience with him once more. Oh, Alphano bows and he waves and then leaves. Oh, that's a good touch, isn't it? Oh, I can't get over little moments that Final Fantasy does like that. Isn't that a good touch? They got a whole group of NPCs here, and they just need to get them to, de to, de to leave, right? That's all they have to do. This is a random bit in the middle of a lengthy patch. It happens a thousand times. Yet someone had the creative opportunity there to have Alphano, the diplomat of them all, bow before leaving. It's just such a cool little detail, isn't it? It's like when you go above and beyond like that for just like almost no reason, a lot of people are going to miss it. I don't know. It's just so cool to me. Right. Let's go back to Bismarck, I guess, then. What's this, by the way? Also, these are some shitty guards if they can't guard the warehouse because just because it's night. I guess I missed that detail. What was the idea there? First, when you started FF14, you hated that wasted time, and now you love it. What? The fact that the animation caused you to wait as you beeline through the quest? They're expanding on NPCs in Endwalker. They'll follow you around and stuff instead of vanishing. I mean, that's going to be a huge moment for Final Fantasy, I think. That's going to be one of those big moments where it's like, you're going to wish the whole game had it the whole time, isn't it? The fact, like, the idea that as I walk along, I'll have, like, you know, like, here. Like, Garnet exploring with me. That this isn't Garnet, but it's, like, Alice, you know? Or it's like Uriange with me or whatever in the open... Is it in the open world as well or is it only in duty? Whatever it is, it's going to be 
That's going to be a huge watershed moment for them. They'll ride in your multi-man mounts as well. NPCs following you around is what WoW did a long time ago. I'm glad 14's doing it. I mean, yeah, I mean, they can learn from other games. They could have learned that from Guild Wars as well. Guild Wars started doing it. I was doing, um, like I said, I played Guild Wars 2 last night, and I was doing the Return to Achievements, because i got to make some progress on it at some point. And I did uh, uh, Drizzlewood, both the Drizzlewood patches. And it just so happened that where I was doing it on... Uh, what was my character? I can't remember. But the guy's story step, whichever character on my account it was I was doing it on, the story step was right at the moment when Ritlock is following you in the open world. So I did that whole achievement with Rot with Ritlock at my side, wandering around following me. And it was just cool, you know? He didn't participate in combat with me. I don't know how WoW does. Does WoW, do WoW NPCs participate in combat with you? Um, and will the Final Fantasy ones do it? I, that's going to be quite interesting. Jass that says, you're thinking too big. It's literally just a radius. And if you pass the radius, then they reset. Oh, okay. In Guild Wars, they've got it. They're really good. I mean, the system work and stuff in Guild Wars is excellent. So, you know, like, when, whenever you get one of those moments, and admittedly, it isn't new, newer stories, but which people just want to bag on and forget about. But they are very, very good in that game. And it's definitely a lesson that Final Fantasy could learn from its competitor on that front. For WoW, they do follow you, they fight and everything, but the story is dog shit. Well, see, I was talking to a friend who got into WoW last night, and he showed me a cutscene. Because, basically, someone asked me, hey, uh, what is the story? And I was explaining the 14 story and how cool it was. And I was saying, look, the end of Shadowbringers is really good. And I basically, sum here's how I summed up the story of 14. I said, it's the story of a ton of, of, a ton of apocalypses, and at the Shadow and Shadowbringers... You, the end of Shadowbringers is you discovering the mega apocalypse that started it all. I thought that was quite a fun way of describing what I, what I loved about the end of Shadowbringers. It's not entirely accurate, right? But it's, it was like a one sentence explanation. Um, anyway, so we were talking about the, the plot and it led to talking about WoW's plot. And I was linked to cutscene from WoW. Um, and it didn't look that good. From here, we press onward into the Isle of Ken. I myself shall proceed on foot. Which cutscene? It was... I don't know the characters' names. There's, it was two women. One of the women had burned down a tree and killed a bunch of people. And so now another woman came out of a portal to, like, get revenge. So they were, like, fighting. And it was, like, a three-minute cutscene of them fighting. That was the that was the cutscene I saw on my. I have no context for anything else. That was the Battle of Ardenweld CS. Look at the response that got in chat instantly. There's a lot of fucking WoW fans here, eh? No, I really I I've played WoW Classic. That's all I've played. I haven't played the other Warcrafts or anything. And then I and then I was linked to spreadsheet showing like their patch wait periods, and how there's been like one patch for this expansion, and it's been ages and ages, and yeah. You hate what WoW has done with their story. Well, I found it interesting when I was expressing my disagreement with Dragonstorm, how everyone immediately started talking about WoW and Nazoth. I don't know. Does anyone want to? Does anyone in chat want to compare which one they they felt hurt, more hurt by, Nazoth or Dragonstorm? Any 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 thoughts on that for the WoW the WoW fans there? Nazoth, Dragonstorm, one person on either side of the aisle. Dragonstorm was way worse. Nazoth is around the same thing. Which did you think was better, Nidhogg and Horace Felger or Jormag Megan Prime Orders? Well, I was actually asked that when I was doing that patch, so just go watch the VOD. We had a whole conversation about it. I don't think it's the same, to be fair, at all. Just because they're dragons, but where they are in terms of power level in the franchise and stuff is very different. At least Dragonstorm looked cool. 
Nozoth's killing looked shit. But at least we fought Nozoth in a raid. It was underwhelming since he was a huge villain built up for three to four expansions and we kill him in one patch. Well, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of losing a sense of... Because I don't know wow. All right, you've perfected your technique then. Wait, wait, wait. What are we talking about? Oh, his swimming technique. Just so, the water will be as glass beneath my feet. <laughs> He's learned how to do it. And provideth purchase, fragile yet true. Watch closely. Uh, Ishtola's doubting. <laughs> oh, I certainly shall. Guild Wars 2 dragons are closer to Bahamut, not piddly normal dragons. You know, you're wrong. Guild Wars 2 dragons are closer to Midgasorma. Not even Bahamut is close. They're closer to Midgasorma than they are. They're like slightly below Midgasorma level, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Forgive me, but would it not be uh, easy to perfect your swimming technique? Aye, it would be a, a pity if you drowned, truly. Oh, hush. I'm sure it'll be brilliant. Reen is believing. And I'm not in. Oh, God, they're really dragging this out. Good luck, dude. <laughs> oh, I believe in him. He's an accomplished scholar. Oh, they should have busted in some, like, super over-the-top battle music there. He's done it! Incredible! Why do I feel like he's going to fall now on the next step? Oh! Oh! Why doesn't he just learn how to swim? <laughs> Look, let him do it his way, you know? We all tackle problems in different ways, guys. Oh! Oh, are you all right there, dude? Oh. <laughs> Uriyanche! Go on, swim it. Get him out. Thank Red. <laughs> Mine apologies. The technique required the purest of focus and mind was lacking. To perfect this magic, I went so far as to deal with the Fuath, and with their, their aid, mine efforts finally met with success, albeit on a single occasion. Oh, the shame, the embarrassment, dude. I know not why I cannot repeat it. I thought I saw you waver a bit toward the end there. Perhaps you'd simply tired? Oh, no, Thancred's wavering as well. We're all getting distracted. Is something going on on the source? Thancred? It's nothing to worry about. Only a dizzy spell. Though I might not be wise to go for another swim just now. Is everyone about to get dizzy? Thankfully, we have an alternative. A wonderful little invention. I'm certain you'll agree. A boat. Okay, a rowboat. Let's go. Distracted because he was thinking about Ishtola? See, your comment... I know you're only making a joke there. Do they ever do romance between these characters? They're all pretty, like, asexual, aren't they, really? They all seem to be un uninterested in, in partnership with anyone. Other people in the group or even outside? Uriange had a girlfriend in Laura at one point? Did he really? And she died instantly. Oh yeah, Moonbreeder, right? Moonbreeder and Uriange were like together, right? Sort of. Oh yeah, and Magni propositioned Ishtola with the little son thing. Anything else? Doesn't seem to be anything long term they do, is there? Some of the characters I'm going to sound. Reen... Alphano, Alice, they're probably all too young for that kind of stuff. In media, anyway. Catman is also in love with Ishtola. Who's Catman? What sort of dealings with the Fuatho under? Yeah, me too. Runar. I didn't know that Runar was romantically interested in Ishtola. He just seems to be like a really nice guy. There are some romance plots on, Ish in on Bosja. You think Runar and Ishtola definitely had something going on, really? 
Yeah, I, well, look, I know that there are, like... I know that people are married, like China's, right? I get that. I mean, specifically amongst the Scions. Yeah, I know. The wind-up moon breeders description is a bit weird. WP is as dense as most anime main characters? What do you mean? At what, on what level has he been, like, more than just a brilliant friend? No, he's simping for a shoulder, 100%. You think he has a crush? They can be flirty and have sexual undertones, but otherwise they're quite aromantic. Very much in the spirit of Matsuno's games, like Tactics 12. Yeah, 12's quite aromantic as well, isn't it? Well, except Princess Ash's wedding, but even that's just like a political backdrop move, isn't it? You don't really see them in love. You don't really see true connection. Didn't Yoshi P make, uh, talk about romancing the Sans? Yeah, look, I'm not saying I necessarily want to romance them, but I just mean the idea that they live these lives where they're interested at all in partnership with other people. 12 is fairly dry, but that's kind of the point, yeah. I'll petition Bismarck's aid on our behalf. Let us pray my diplomacy proveth more effective than mine experimental magics. That was a very cool little fun scene there. WP for getting the best romance between Sid and Nero. Again, it's not a, it's aromantic, isn't it? Aromantic is probably a better phrase. You speak with the voice of the king, little neighbours. I will not deny you your I will not deny you. As before, if you seek what sleeps beneath the sea, I will be your guide. Thy kindness is as boundless as the depths, serene one. So what about this whole other story? Is that can I just ask, guys? The quest I did a second ago, all about the Sahagin and stuff? The Ondo? Are they, um, is that over, is it? That's, that's side quest, because that's, uh, Beast Tribe. Oh, no, it's not the Beast Tribe thing? Okay. Before we depart, however, I would ask a favour. After our last flight, I found many creatures clinging to me. I'm itchy. Remove them, and I will take you below. With all haste, it shall be done. So, did he agree? Aye, though I agreed to favour in kind. Regrettably, it is not one I possess the power to grant. Bismarck has asked us to cleanse his underbelly of barnacles. Alas, one must needs dive beneath the surface to do so. Even if uh, I could master the power to walk upon it, it would avail me not. <laughs> Alice is pissed. Oh, for heaven's sake! Is that all? Making an eye are more than capable of that. I like the idea that she's, like, annoyed. With the Kojin's blessing, we'll have it done in moments. And better than that, standing here and listening to this nonsense. I'll take the right, you take the left. Now go. Oh, get some energy going, Alice. I'm in your debt. I like how earlier she was already grumpy about all this extra busy work we were doing. Alright, fine. Wait, is she even here? No, she's ran off. Again, that's quite a cool little detail as well. She's not here to talk to. Alphano, you, what do you think about this? None of us is as much a match for Alice when she's like this. Aside from Ishtola, perhaps. Mine apologies. This venture hath not proceeded as smoothly as I'd hoped. I really like Arianje, this expansion. Like, a lot. Hey, Reen, you haven't had too much to do, but I appreciate you're in the raid series. Psst, I think Thagret's embarrassed. Wait, Why? Well, I'm perfectly well recovered, thank you. It's a minor miracle we accomplished anything at all, wouldn't you say? Well, this is quite friendly and nice, actually, isn't it? This is quite a sweet little... I don't remember really having much chance to play content here at the Isle of Ken before. Just climbing up. Come on, Garnet. In the water we go, buddy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think um, this game, if this, if, if Square Enix committed to a new player initiative right about now, which essentially means an abridged, well-told recap of all the story so far, so you get used to the characters and so on, I think you could do really well. Because it's very good, but it is a lot to ask people to get here, you know. They already said they won't do that. 
Oh, here's one barnacle. It's not even just ARR. I'm not even just trying to... You dislodge the barnacle. It's not even ARR. Even through these streams, you know, it's a lot to play. So what you need is some kind of a bridge story that gets the major plot details across. Explains the logic of the world, but most importantly, gets you a sense of the characters and gets you liking the characters. But really, what you want it to do is you want it to be done in, like, less than 50 hours. Rather than, like, 500 hours or whatever the, whatever the shit. Do you know what I mean? It's not even just ARR that I'm, I'm talking about. But, like, in a post-Endwalker world or whatever. Maybe you need to do. Maybe you don't even need to do that much. Or maybe it's pointless. You know, maybe you can fall in love with these characters without any of the preceding stuff. But I feel like a scene like this doesn't work. Like the, what we just experienced, and I had a lot of fun with. I don't feel like that works if you have been generally skipping through up till now. You know. Let's say I skipped all of Stormblood, all everything. Would I really be that find that funny with that scene with Uriarche? Maybe I would. But I think I get it better now. And the idea that they just go to a whole new plot now after Endwalker is kind of a reset point anyway. And that's true for End of Dragons as well, by the way. You know, as bad as the Dragonstorm thing is and stuff, if it means a fresh start, it doesn't need to be within a Guild Wars 3 or, or whatever, but a fresh start, a fresh entry point. I think um, that can work too. Both games. It's weird how both games are in such a similar place. Thine efforts are most sincerely appreciated. I'll inform Bismarck that we may depart without further delay. You'd kill for a Guild Wars 3? There's half MMO like Guild Wars 1? I think a lot of people feel the same way. Much, much better. Thank you, little neighbours. I remember a long time ago, another did this favour for me. Really? After the flood, when I chose this spot for my slumber, he came and made a home on my back. Oh, we're learning about Ken! Ken was his name. When I grew itchy, I stirred, but he was not afraid. No, he asked me what was wrong. I told him of the creatures clinging to my belly, and he dove into the water. He helped me. He was my friend. He told me he wished to live in peace, away from his people and their wars. This I understood. I treasured our time together, brief though it was, brief though it always is, but I remember him and how he laughed when we flew. I remember when he slept. I too slept that day, and many days since. But the light fades and the darkness returns. Ken sleeps, but in my memory he laughs, and together we fly, and I am here. I'm awake. Hmm, feels good to speak and be heard again. A shame others cannot understand me. If thou art willing to learn, I would gladly teach thee the language of man. Thank you, little friend, but it is time I grant you your request. But first, I'll take flight to cleanse my body and prepare. The dive will be swift, and I would not have you struck by errant debris. So this island was named for a man. How easily the past is forgotten. He passed on not even 100 years ago. Yet the truth has slipped from history. Like so many grains of sand. Maya have some explanation of what he just said? Or should we all stand about making vague and mysterious illusions? While he maketh ready to deliver us to our destination, Bismarck bade us wait for him on the shore of Kalusia. That's all. I feel as though there was more to it. Yeah, why are you leaving out the other bit about Ken? Indeed, there was, but it hath no bearing on the task at hand. I should be glad to share the rest with you anon. On the boat? Fine. Later then. <laughs> this fucking smirk. <laughs> the sudden snap to the... Look how well they were animated there. That's funny as shit, man. <laughs> there was no dialogue there at all, but you could 100% get that. Alpha no smirking, she shoots him a look and he stops. If Bismarck requires time to prepare, might I suggest a short respite for Uriandra and Thangren in particular? I, quite, I require no such thing, I'm the picture of perfect health. Mine was but a momentary lapse in concentration, worry not on my account. So these two were the first ones to get here in the source, right? In the first. So uh, is the deterioration of bodies getting bad and we're watching it happen to these guys, right? 
You mustn't push yourself so. Please rest for me. Oh my god, Gear 2 Gnome says I couldn't resist and did a quick jail potato. Are you serious, dude? Dude, please, you got to stop. <laughs> um, I mean, I love the emotes, I really do, but you are you are right in what you said the other day, you know. You, you're doing really, really cool stuff, and... Uh, Alright, if you insist. Uh, hold on, give me a second. We'll finish this cutscene and we'll have a look. Because I do feel bad. Uh, you two, Macon, I've been running my, you've been running yourself ragged. But I feel fine. Just go quietly, Macon. Trust me. Okay. How far into this patch are we now? 5.2. Does anyone want to give me a guess? In that case, I shall leave the old men in your care. The old men. The rest of us will meet you at your uh, at the split hull and on. 30%. Oh, this is nonsense. How can I have one person say 30% and the other say 80 Word of advice, never let it show. When she realizes she struck a nerve, she remembers. By the gods, she remembers. God, memory has become such a huge theme. In any case, we must be made to rest. I know a place in Salem that's better for it than most. Come with me. All right, Thancred, we haven't hang out, hung out for a while. Am I going to get like a bar scene now? There's two quests after this one. Isn't there a dungeon to do as well? May as well take a seat. We wouldn't want our elderly knees to give out. Oh, I should have had a look around. Oh, also. Uh, let me look at Discord here. Oh, this is so badass. Oh, he's done two of them. Gears to gnomes. I would love to hear what your technique is one day. How are you so good at this? Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna set up two new emotes for you. Oh, they're so cool. They are so cool. Okay, hold on. Um, resources. Uh, Twitch. Channel. Emotes. Right. <clears throat> Save. We have two versions of a Tato Jail. I'm just saving local copies first. And then I'll uh and then I'll hook them up on Twitch. You guys will like these. These are good. It's definitely good to have something to spam when we're in emote jail as well, because like what how else are you gonna express yourself, you know? Um like, holy shit. Right, emotes. Now, what's the question is, what do I get rid of? Well, it's going to be more Guild Wars 1 stuff. Do I get rid of... I think I'm going to get rid of Primal Echoes. Oh, I don't know which, which skill to get rid of. i got Wastrel's Worry, Resurrect, Contemplation of Purity, and Ghidorah's Gaze. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of um, the Guild Wars 2 uh, mini turtle thing. Which is the Guild Wars 2 Pog. Which I know that people somewhat use, but I'm especially leery about having that one on there. So let's get rid of that. And we can do our own Potato Pog one day, maybe. Well, they just I put regular Pog on anyway, didn't I? Let's see here. Jail. Potato Jail. And then I'll get rid of the... Uh, the Kappa. <laughs> it's funny, but... <laughs> It's a bit weird. Oh no, I kind of like... Hmm... I don't know which one to get rid of. I'll get rid of no. Remove. Okay, so, <clears throat> now let's delete that emote as well. Alright, so there's two new emotes. Uh, one of them is called uh, Jail, the other one is called Silence. 
You know what you must do? Destroy the Garbu emote? No, the, the, the Garbu one's awesome. Yeah, the Kappa doesn't really represent what Kappa... Yeah, I know, but, you know, that's the joke, isn't it? That's sort of the joke on that. All right, there you go. So you guys can have fun with that. Hopefully it's up there anyway. Look how good they look. All right. Uh, to hear her speak, you'd think I'm on my deathbed. By the 12, I wish that girl wouldn't worry so much. Yeah, Flaganti has been lurking these past couple of streams, which I really love. I really do love. For people that don't know, Flaganti is literally the most dedicated mod I've ever had. Flaganti's awesome. He did like a shit ton of work and loads of help. Really, really brilliant. And I haven't seen much of the past, what, how long would you say, Flaganti? I mean, I've barely been streaming the past, what, like two years or something. So through that whole period, probably. He's like the OG. Flaganti is the OG. Uh, thy countenance belies thy words, Master Thancred. What are we talking about? Alright, may as well uh, get a seat. We wouldn't want our elderly knees to give out. Yeah, I know there's an analytics paid for it. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Let the record show that I'm here under protest. Though I can't say I mind the view. It is quite nice. I like this. We do actually have to have... We have a little sit-down moment. Yeah, Flaganti did all the lotteries and stuff. And if the abundance of anglers is any indication, even an amateur might land an impressive catch. Shall we try our hands at it? Help! Someone, quickly! Oh, God. Why? Let us just have a drink. It's nightshade. We was attacked on the road from the Crystarium. Barely escaped with me life. I suppose we might have predicted this. Oh, there you go. Divinations. Just gifted flag a sub. Thanks, man. Because he definitely deserves one. There, he's instantly up to silver potato. See? Instantly. He's done 21 before. <clears throat> you mean your help? For free? Thank you. If I recall correctly, Nightshade is a local band of outlaws. I doubt they'll trouble us over much. No more than they've already have by interrupting our relaxation at any rate. Okay, Jesus Christ. See, I can't feel kind of bad that I haven't even done any quests here at this deck. <laughs> I like how there's a rogue didn't sit in here suddenly. Oh, well, maybe we're at this table and chairs, actually. No, where are we going up here? No idea why they're going with this, for what it's worth. No idea at all. What are Rogadins? On this planet? Gold gent. Okay, a lot of says a lot of just typed gold gent in chat, but I swear to god I didn't read that. I didn't cheat. I did actually just say gold gent. Gold gent. Alright, I do know it. I do know it! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so you've just been ultra busy for Ganty. You can't. Do you, can you not play any games at this moment? It's deeply programmed. It's pretty well programmed. I'm probably doing badly on the other ones at this point. Oh shit, whoa. This gallant guardsman. It's these guys from the start of the patch. Hello, guys. Never fear, Nightshade ain't no match for the guard. Elidibus has been rallying them up, right? Fortunately, this one wasn't clever enough to bring support. A composed fisher. Can you believe this? I don't even have anything worth stealing. Crazy leggings he's in there. These two have matters well in hand by the looks of it. I'll not forget this kindness. Maybe we meet again. What's up for tomorrow, Guild of Beta? I actually don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's 5.3 tomorrow. It might be the Guild of Beta tomorrow. Um, is that you, sir? Don't tell me you've just deprived that poor fellow the honor of being rescued by the Warrior of Darkness. We had no idea you were in the area. Fancy meeting again so soon, eh? Why, I believe I I, I believe I even recognize your companion. <laughs> Thancred looking pissed. Ah, yes, from the infirmary. You had a message for the Crystal Exarch, did you not? It's good to see you back on your feet, and on patrol, no less. 
Oh, it's nothing as official as all that. Strictly speaking, we're off duty. But as we had a free moment, we thought we'd give a few of the less travelled roads a look. The guard doesn't have enough hands to patrol them regularly, you see. That's admirable. There are so few de devoted to their duty in Lakeland or beyond. Well, we've been talking about it for a while, and neither of us is satisfied with just be, uh, seeing out, out our service. Feels like we could be doing more, like we should be doing more. It's all about having the will to help your fellow man, and the resolve to see it through. There he is, quoting Elidibus. Uh, I remember you, the excitable one. Uh, not to add shit to your workload, are you planning on doing those skin animation videos? I still have the footage and I don't have the heart to delete it, but to be honest, I don't really think it was worth the effort. It was so, it was so agonizing to edit that previous one because it was just so slow and breaking. If and when I get into Premiere properly, but by then it might be too late. I don't know. It's not on my radar at the moment. Sorry, sir. I got a bit overexcited the other day. I couldn't get my words out. The name's Vonard, sir. I'm with the guard, but I just don't want to protect Lakeland. I want to protect the lot, just like the Warriors of Light. Sadly, our duties prevent us from venturing too far out of our own little corner of Norvran. What we'd really like to do is travel to better ourselves and go where the need is greatest. Oh, we're in emo only. Did somebody pay for that? Or is Rocker just doing it? I don't see anyone paying for that. But everyone has to start somewhere. You guys can try out the new emo, obviously. <laughs> Uh, but everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? For now on, if we can stop Nightshade from robbing the old, old fisherman, then that's what we'll do. Well, future heroes of the first, what do you think? Hey, thank you, Divergus. Thank you very much for the sub. They want not for spirit. Tis but a pity they draw inspiration from so clouded a wellspring. Yet it availeth us not if to let's read it again. Yet it availeth us not to fret in idleness. We must needs press on if we are to bring Elidibus's schemes to light. Gears to God, yeah. I mean they're so good, aren't they? Um Wow. These are plus sixty stats. Yeah, Gears to Gnomes made them today. I mean, they're so good, aren't they? It's two of them. I almost called one of them Gag, by the way. Beneath the surface. Oh, look at it. It's Amarot. It's real Amarot. That's reminded of the urgency of your investigation. Uriage would press on. Though our respite was cut short, I dare say we're all eager to avail ourselves of such knowledge as the ruins may hold. Aye. I doubt further contemplation of Elidibus' machinations will be conducive to relaxation. We may as well make for the sp split hole now. Okay, everyone. And Gaia Demon. Oh, the subs are coming in at the moment. Thank you, guys. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Is this because of the new emotes? The Gear 2 Gnomes emotes? You guys like those? Uh, let's go to the right. Even though our gear snowballs quite a bit, we don't get two times stronger at max end game gear than we were at base level. Yeah, I don't understand. I thought that I was getting plus 30 from Materia, then suddenly that one gave me plus 60. Yeah, plus 20, plus 20, that's 7. And that one's plus 60. It's 8, and it's plus 60. Materia 8, is that currently top? Materia 7 versus Materia 8. Shit. Let me get this one. 8 is top. Materia is crazy amounts of stat compared to gems in other MMOs. Okay, so here's my question. At what point do I start putting Materia in my gear? Now. But, I mean, my gear isn't... I'm 430, right? Shouldn't I get to 510 before I do it? Could I put it in there? Could I put Materia into this Exarch guillotine? Oh, I can actually have this experience. 
What should I put in it? Any materia eight, right? So eight. This one's eight. Determination. You can't put it in. You need to go to a materia melder. Request a meld from me, I'll do it. If you're not crafty, you got to pay a melder. You can put it into any gear, but you're wasted unless you put it on current gear. Not that it matters much. There's two types of materia. One's for melding, one's for over melding. 60 melding. 20 for over melding. It's got a bit of an explanation. If you don't have a crafter, go to a melder. Go to a city. It's not wasted, you can extract it. Usually goes crit, direct hit, determination for most classes. I don't know. To oh, no. Alright, well, whatever, whatever. That's a part of the gearing process, which obviously doesn't matter to me right now. That sword is basically end game for the next few days, so feel free to material. Thank you to the lovely person who gave this, this sword to me, by the way. Material matter doesn't matter. It's only for endgame in Macting, and endgame is changing in four days. Four days. I get to enjoy it for four days, baby. So, if are you guys who are gods, do you have 5, 10 eye level everywhere? And then it's all materiaed? It's 5.30. 5.30. So how many of you guys are pure 5.30 right now? Anyone? Oh, I can tell we're at a dungeon here because there's players here. Andy Randall. 506 because I'm lazy. About 530, yeah. What's that grind look like? What's that what's that process look like? Was it fun? Do you like that? Did you guys keep yourself best in slot through all the patches? You're 528. Weeklies and dailies, just raids and weekly times. Materia gives a lot of substats. Oh, you know, I, I do feel pretty... You know what's kind of cool for me? I'm going to hit end game right at the start of a patch cycle, right? I'm going to hit end game at the perfect... My first experience of end game is not going to be like a weird, diluted, strange thing where I can skip through a bunch of it because there's been 5.32, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting there at a point zero, right? I will experience the full expansion cycle. Guild Wars 2 player discovers gear treadmill. Yeah, that should be the name for the uh, the first Endwalker stream. <laughs> you arrived there early, uh, rather early. You certainly did as you were told. Yeah, we rested. I promise we rested. <laughs> That's a scene like where you're with a bunch of male friends that you don't know too much. So so you just distract yourselves. Uh, we rested, didn't we, Macon? Yeah, we did. Hey, Alpha No. So how much of a respite did you actually enjoy? Half a moment? What's keeping Bismarck? Surely it doesn't take this long to shake off a few loose stones. Perhaps we ought to have clarified what Bismarck meant by short while. To his mind, our whole lives might be as the blink of an eye. Oh. This is a lovely place to stand, by the way. All are present. Now we but need wait. Bismarck's coming. Oh, we hear him in the distance. Tis time. Pray make ready. This is a fun dungeon, a fungeon. Ana anamnesis. Wow, that's a fun word to say out loud. Anamnesis. I just want everyone to just just say it out loud. Don't worry. Just say it out loud. Anamnesis. Doesn't that flow lovely? Anamnesis. All right, so. Small talk with Ishtola before we move on. We must hope whatever slumbers in the depths will help to shed some light on Elizabeth's recent activities. I also want to speak to Uriange. 
like Amarok, the ruins below uh, which we now seek are no illusion. There is no knowing what awaits below. And Thancred. We can't be certain what the benthos are after all we find down there. Stay alert. Okay, so, uh, what do we have here? We've got three people I see on my friends list. There's also this guy. Are you a stream viewer? If you're a stream viewer, Chrono, can you stand next to me? Because if not, I'll just ex I'll just invite the people who... Oh, wait, we have too many people. No, we don't. No, we've got perfect amount. Invite to party. I assume this is a dungeon, not a trial. Invite to party, invite to party. Right? So somebody needs to swap to a... Oh, there you go. We're messing with it. Beautiful. Thanks, guys, for coming. This is super cool. It's really nice to be able to just instantly get a group. Anamnesis Anida. Deep in the Tempest, deeper still than the Phantom Amarot of Emmett Selk's design, lies what remains of Anida's ancient edifices. It is to an unexplored corner of this bed of knowledge that the Scions now travel, in hopes that what has long slumbered, forgotten, may be brought to the surface once more. So hold on then, we have clipped the Ondo story. Clipped, skipped the, the Ondo uh, story, right? Yeah, my party uh, UI. Why does everyone use the word frame? Is that some World of Warcraft thing? It's from FF14, yeah. The Dalamud plugin. It includes, it concludes in the dungeon. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Nice, we actually see him moving around. Let's see his eye. Anamnesis Anida. This is quite wild, isn't it? Is there anything to capture? So is it like a defense kind of experience? Sorry, I need to... Mantle drill. Oh, it died before I could cast it. Judge Catbranth is such a great name, by the way. Thank you for the sub, uh, Vanistra. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, I should acquire Can I interrupt that again? Oh, wow, look in its mouth. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. The time has come to part with these interlopers. How do we fit into this? Oh shit, are you alright? Whoa, the walls fall. We must hurry. Whoa, can I walk up on his horn? Holy shit. There's some rocks. Trench dagger knife. You know what? I get the sense here that this is like a thing they wanted in the MSQ for the first time, but they never had time for it, so they're like, fuck it, we're gonna realize this in the patch. In the post patch stuff. <laughs> That's the vibe I get from this.
wow, this is gonna look so cool when we get to the city soon. Wow, look at this thing. Tiresome creatures. It's a very weird vibe to a dungeon, isn't it, when you're not necessarily moving. But the map is moving for you. Maybe he'll deposit us. Rock hard is the name of that skill, is it? <laughs> okay. Lies, I give you my breath. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we're totally gonna dock here, right? Oh my god. Your wish is granted. Go, my little wanderers. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Okay. The music doesn't fit yet. I guess it fits when we actually get to Amarok, right? Right, I don't know if we want to do a prediction. Is Rocker still there? Flaganti can as well if he's familiar with those features. We never used to use those back in the day. Anyone want to see? Fetid Fang. There's Blackest Knight there, because I'm guessing that's a buster. I missed it. Too late. Shit, well, maybe I shouldn't have left so early. Is that an eyeball mechanic, by the way? Sort of feel like I should just step away from it just in case. Scrutiny and then inscrutiny. Oh my lord. So he's firing beams. Should I provoke that? Probably right. Unknown and then another unknown creature. Fuck, I stood in the thing. It's dumb of me. I got so distracted by the new mob that I completely forgot the other mechanic was going on. Prepare for trouble, make it double. Get Delirium going. Dark Missionary there as well. That actually helped everyone. It's good timing there for me. Ectoplasmic Ray. Yeah, everyone, everyone together. I'll reprise all that. He's casting that in a weird place. Okay, everyone's just behind him. Sorry, sorry, I don't, I, I'm trying to... I will do better not spinning him. Wow, he died real fast, eh? Man, do you know what? I just got a weird flashback to the start of Stormblood. I don't know why, but something about this dungeon, I guess because water and movement, but the dungeon where we were f going to Stormblood, that was so cool, wasn't it, right? And I feel like this is sort of a similar sort of vibe. By the way, WP, materia doesn't matter when you're doing synced or min-eye level content, unless the gear has that exact eye level. Oh, okay. Oh, here we are. Look, look, look. It's the real place. I right, imagine how long it would actually take you to explore the ruins of a lost city like this. I'm going to come here. I know that it, I should probably stop moving already, but you never quite know if something will pop up or whatever. I'm going to be as still as I can afterwards. I would love it if the shield appeared on my floating health bar above my head. If anyone knows of any plugin that can do that, please let me know. I would love that. So like when I blackest night, I'd love to see like an orange chunk appear above my green health. Because I thought that that was a thing with the add-ons, but 
I guess not. Shit, these two are not aggro. Sorry. I thought I'd tag them. I'm actually going to black this knight early here. This is a bit rough. I'm going to stand still here. Shadow wall. Jesus Christ, how many is an aggro? I'm really sorry. To the guy getting attacked, I'm really sorry. How not hit any of them? Oh, this is good. There's a lot of buttons here. Okay. I think I've got the perfect position here to cleave them all down. Just done that. Nice. Door opens. Uh, there's a prediction up. Will WP get hit by the swords or hammers, guys? You can bet some potatoes. Will I get hit by swords or hammers? Okay, visions of L turn to us now. Wait, what's going on here exactly? The Ondo is summoning these things. This is like a Cyclops, but it's a Clyclops. Okay. Clyclops. Final verse. Quite worrying, seeming really. Eye of the cyclone. Did I have to look away there? Was that an eye mechanic as well? Terrible hammer. Where is it? It's there. Terrible blade. With blades and hammers. I'll spin it. I'm on a hammer at the moment. Eye of the Cyclone. Okay, I'm on a hammer. Oh, does that count as me getting hit with a hammer? How did that work? What? How does it work? I can't read these mechanics. 2000 Mina Swipe. I'm not standing that shit. Final verse. Terrible hammer. Okay, so there's hammers. And now there's swords. What is it? Where they're facing? Cyclops is channeling some shit? Okay, the hammers came down. Oh, and then the swords came. Oh, you just avoid them. It's just AoEs going off in order that they appear. Oh, I thought it was like angle or something. I thought I was going to get a debuff and I had to match the right thing. They just explode after a delay. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. Oh, well. Um. Wait, I don't want these items. Oh, I think they got disabled because someone else was needing, right? The Archive archive Eternal. Wait, this is real now. This isn't even a vision. This is real and it survived. And there's Ondo wandering around down there. I've definitely tagged all of them and I definitely have stance on. I'm going to keep spamming. What the fuck? Provoke one of them. Knock him down. Yeah, that doesn't seem to help. I think the fact that these guys are using recharge, I should probably help kill him, shouldn't I? Oh god, not good. One more important job to do right now. Hold still here. I'm gonna hold the living shadow, he's not needed, I don't know. 
Okay, nice. Please tell me I got them all in one. What is this? This is like a giant bar type area. There's more loot coming in. Bars. 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 Trying to throw the absolute most I can there at these guys. I can't I can't stun it out. Oh, almost. We almost didn't have to fight any of these things. That's an EO Wisa. I'm not gonna sell it up. I'm glad to hear you guys are actually going for VIP, by the way. Dancer has a 100k damage burst. If it can, uh, it can rip aggro from the tank, even if this tank has only used one skill. Oh, I see. Oh, this is the end of the dungeon already. Oh my lord! Whoa! It looks like um, it looks like Genbu. Is it an auspice? Or does it just look like oh, it's oh, the merciless matriarch. Jesus. Can you wear something a little bit less revealing? Oh! Alright. Insatiable. Let's do it. I love the background up there. What are we going to learn here, guys? What are we going to learn about... Bone Breaker? Guessing it's a um, thing. So I'll Blackest Night it. Nice. Actually predictable for once. Oh! Oh, that was just insane. That was planned. That was, um... I just have really high re fast reaction times. Death grip. You know nothing of the deaths. Nothing. I can't get him to look at me. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, shit. What the fuck is all of this? Oh my god, is there a prediction going on about vulnerability maybe or something? Oh god. You know, it's unusual ripples emanating from a gate. Great. Oh, do I need to stand on it? Someone get that one over there? This is like Satasha, isn't it? Oh, one of them spawned. I'll keep it. I'll keep facing it over here. He's got. He's taken zero damage. I shouldn't have done this. He's in, in, immune. Uh, but, 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 but I pressed it. Oh, I was too late. I was too late. I know. I was too late. Okay. Can't do much follow-up damage. Stab ceremony. Well, oh, I don't want to be on that. Dropsy. Oh, the prediction's already over, is it? What was it I was supposed to see? The great thing. I guess it was the great thing. Holy shit, I'm scared of this lot. Oh! Oh! Oh, God, it's going to go the other way. Oh, save me! See, I failed the bit you thought I'd survive, and I survived the bit you thought I'd fail. <laughs> Uh, I should have living deaded. Oh, let's 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 do what we can here. Oh god, there's a hand. I don't want to be on there. So basically, we can't stop. What the fuck? I still don't have aggro. Someone's putting some big damage right there. Oh, so. All right, I'll face him away. Sorry to the guy, I just saw that guy move to rear and flank. I've just moved down really soon. Command current. Oh 
I'll put out a dark missionary. It is missionary! What are you guys joking about the word missionary for earlier? Oh, I'm sad I died in that middle bit. Oh, the Guild Wars 2 challenge is almost, is almost there. Missionary is a position. Well, like a fighting, like a combat stance. Is it? Is it like a technique that dancers use? All right. Did someone just bit, win big time or lose big time there? Nice. So what is all this? Okay. I, I here's what I think that is. That doesn't that look like orosite? Hey. Don't you guys think that looks like Orosite? WP confirmed virgin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The dancer technique? Oh, we're in email only. It was a two minute redeem. Someone spent the hard one potatoes on that redeem. Get in jail. This structure must have served an important function. And here are yet more crystals. What do you think, Ishtola? I too noted the crystal repository on the way. The Benthos seem to employ them in their spell casting. In such vessels did the ancients preserve concepts, ideal forms to be drawn upon in the act of creation. Oh, we sort of heard about this place. This place was being alluded to, right? That so great an abundance should reside here lendeth credence to Ishtola's conclusion. This facility held great significance. Right. Whoa. Oh, hi. Whoa, this is wild. It's interesting seeing this and knowing it's not just an, a, an Emmet reprojection, but like something even more tangible, it feels. Is this the 14? There's 14 of them here. Is there 14? Uh, thank you for the sub, Bat Dog. Nice name, man. Bat Dog, I like it a lot. Thank you all for joining us at Anda in these most perilous of times. By the summoning of Zodiac, have we been given granted a reprieve? Yet immutable as the laws, he as he as waven may seem. Wait, 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 wait. Where? Are oh my God, stuff's happening. Okay. They've already summoned Zodiac. Yet immutable as the laws he has woven may seem, they will not serve to forestall our doom. This is after they've already sacrificed half of them? Nay, should we continue down this path, our fate will be the same. I said as much to the convocation, of course. But the stubborn fools turned a deaf ear to my warnings. Oh, okay, so this isn't the complication. By the summoning of Zodiac, we have been granted a reprieve. But perils still await. So, hold on, wasn't I told? They, they sacrificed half of their people just to get Zodiac there. And didn't they sacrifice another half to, like, fix the world, right? So they were, like, quartered at this point. I said as much to the convocation, of course, but the stubborn fools turned deaf to my... So, uh, is this the 14th? I had hoped that the defector, at least, no, would side with us, but I regret to report our overtures have gone unanswered. So who the fuck is the defector? I mean, again, my theory is it's me, but, like, beyond that, Who's the defector? Like, what's their story? Why wouldn't they... Why wouldn't you side with these guys? Oh, shit! He's called Vanar. Oh, that's cool! One day, I'll finish my Final Fantasy XII playthrough. 
and you'll have a you'll love that that is Vinar. Shit. So what's the other one called? Maybe I shouldn't talk about the Yakuri eye because of spoilers. Vinar is the one that was helping Sid. Do I get the names of other Akiri? Whether you tend your thoughts, Vinar, where you lead will follow. This must these guys must be the summoners Heidelin then. This has to there can be no other answer. So hold on, the fourteenth guy was neither on board with Zodiac or Heidelin. Vinar, I shall not speak ill of the convocation. They too seek only to secure the future of our star. They all want the same thing. Yet it is plain they will not countenance a permanent solution. Right, so the people summoning Zodiac won't countenance a permanent solution because their intent is to bring everyone back eventually, right? Their intent is basically just to get back to where we were, where the, the society was. Which isn't necessarily a, a full solution, is it? Oh god, the fucking emo chat. I'm like waiting to see some call. <laughs> it's like people are just like questioning it with me. Believe me, guys, I'm 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 looking at every emo for a vibe. So I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking that the question here is these guys like no, this is, oh, sacrificing everyone to Zodiac just to bring them back, put us back where we came from, where uh, another potential mega apocalypse can happen. It's not a permanent solution. Yet, they will not countenance a permanent solution. That being the case, we must ask ourselves a simple question. Are we prepared to pursue our chosen course, even should it mean the suffering, the eternal condemnation of our brethren? Their course being Heidelin. If so, I see no further reason to demur. Here it is. Let us bring forth the light that shall ever after keep the darkness in check. You know what's kind of scummy about Venara in this lot here as well? The con the uh, convocation, like building Zodiac, was like this unprecedented move. This like crazy difficult thing, blah, blah, blah. These guys are just sort of copying the process now that it's been proved. They're just like shamelessly ripping it off almost. And that kind of... Now that it's been proved it can be done. You know, Pandora's box is opened. So that was the summoners of Hydlin. Venar is one of the summons of Hi summoners of Hydlin. There you go. That's real news so right there. It was they who first summoned Hydlin. That's so cool. I want to read more about the twelve or Curia. Their discussion did seem to imply as much. Yes. I cannot say I have ever heard of this Venar before. I was so scared he was about to say Venat, with a hard T. I was so terrified. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Venar in twelve. So, if the challenge to go back to Guild of 2 is completed, are you going to stop playing 14 immediately or just next stream? Uh, next stream, I think, probably. That's probably happening anyway. Tomorrow I'll probably be riding around on my siege turtle. For a certainty, Emmett Selk never uttered the name, speak though he did, of the schism which Zodiac's advent wrought upon mankind. Some were of the viewpoint that his power must needs be restrained. And to that end, did they call forth she who would serve as his shackles? Yeah, so it's weird to me that Emmett never talked about Venar at all. Because it's like, you'd think he hates the fucking guy, you know? But maybe he doesn't have hate over it. Maybe there's no, like, it's like we said before, there's no ego, you know? Like, they don't talk bad about each other. They just had different choices, you know? Maybe that's it. We now know that it was this Venar to whom they looked for leadership. Who said he even knew who Venar was? Well, after all these years, you think he, the Asians wouldn't have figured it out? Yeah, I feel like they're very loving, particularly to each other. Or they're like so just like... I don't know. And that this place, in all likelihood, served as their headquarters. The presence of such intimate records attests to that. I would hear what else they have to tell us. All of it. Did anyone see the source of the image? I would hear it all as well, Ishtola, for sure I would. Ailes says, I mean, I hope he doesn't inter interrupt such an interesting 14 stream series because people throw away virtual potatoes on a pole. <laughs> That's exactly what we must do, Ailes, for the art. Then let us see what other secrets it holds. Yeah, let's keep going. I'll bang it out. Let's do it. 
Three, four, five in a row? Ah, please, why must it be you? If I may speak plainly, I would sooner it were another, any other. You are our leader. None can take your place. You know that as well. You know as well as I that but few support our cause. Far fewer than they who place their faith in Zodiac. If Heidelin is to stand a chance of opposing him, I'm the only one who might suffice as her heart. So people sacrifice themselves to provide the Aether for the creation of Zodiac, right? Same thing here with Hydlin, I would suppose. But people become like specific elements. So a heart. Now is heart, heart is quite interesting. Because where else did we hear about hearts? We've heard about hearts in the context of the ultimate magic. Ultimate magic, right? And ultimate weapon. Which is also, I'm sure, not by a coincidence going on with the source story at the moment. Heart of Sabic, that's it. So I wonder if that's somehow relevant. Flare Heart says both Zydalin and Zodiac have one who serves as their hearts. Yeah, I haven't heard about who might be in the heart of Zodiac, though. Think of Shiva and Isail. Hmm. Rest assured, however, I shall not vanish from this world. The form I take shall ever remain in my choice. What does that mean? Then I'll press you no more. Only you know this. You'll sorely be missed. Way is a Lidibus at Zodiac's heart, but how how do they still have autonomy and do things? Sorry, I never read the line out loud. I wonder is this how the convocation felt about Elidibus? That would that would explain why Elidibus is in white robes, but Zodiac's like fucked up on the moon or something. Oh, is that why we see Elidibus on the moon so regularly? Hmm. Oh, the fucking thing shut down. Elidibus is at the heart of Zodiac. What? Why would that give him the role of emissary? Forgive me, but did that not strongly imply that Elidibus sacrificed himself to become Zodiac's heart? It did, Ishtela. Seven hells. Then who or what are we dealing with? It also implied someone became... Vinar became Zodiac... Um, Heidlin's heart. Vinar became Heidlin's heart. Doesn't that mean that Vinar is still around? Hold on. Not only does that mean that Elidibus... If, if someone can be as a heart and still around... Wait, am I Vinar? Am I Vinar and I don't realise it? Maybe? Who is it saying hear, think, feel, think or whatever? Is that Vinar's voice then? Is Vinar the crystal? Maybe Vinar is the crystal, that's why he likes crystals, right? He'll take any form he wants. Or it's me. Or I'm the 14th defector of the convocation. What the fuck, man? There's quite a lot of characters now to think about. I'd always assumed Elidibus to be of the same ilk as La Habrea and Emmett Selk. But if the real Elidibus sacrificed himself before the Sundering... Yeah, in which case he never survived the, the Sundering. How did Emmett Selk and La Habrea survive the Sundering? Do I ever find that out? It makes no sense, says Alice. <laughs> Alice giving voice to how I'm sure a lot of players felt. That this facility shared intimate ties with Academia Anida. 
may readily be discerned from the common element in their names. Based on mine observations, it is like that the forms housed here were conveyed unto the academia only when required, and thence returned for safekeeping. Yet, such procedural measures, minutia, are largely of academic interest, I concede. It is unto the parties which did frequent these institutions that our thoughts should rightly turn. Specifically, the followers of Venar and the convocation of 14, to say naught of the matter of, Elid of Elidibus. Wow, this is huge, this. And there I was thinking immortal was bad. Would someone explain to me how we're meant to kill a being who doesn't technically exist? Do you think we might be able to activate the device again? I should like to hear how these discussions ended. Yeah, me too, Reen. The device appears to activate via a form of ethereal attunement, not unlike an aetherite. Beyond that, I can say little for certain, save that we should, uh, we should take this opportunity to see what other records it contains. I love the number and type of questions raised in the Shadowbringers patches. How you find it? Yeah, it's all right. No response. Confound it. Damn it. But what if I'm Sid's dad? <laughs> Sid's dad is Venar. I mean, it's weird because anyone could be anything in any form, you know? So it's... If I may, lady, the panel did formally emit a soft yet perceptible glow. That it doth so no longer may be betoken the deplete depletion of some essential energy within. Given how long it's lain dormant, I think it fortunate it functioned at all. That may be, but if we can't get it to work again, we'll be leaving with more questions than we've got answered. There's also the issue that Elidibus is a title, as is the case with all the seats in the competition. That's true as well. Oh, that's true! So the Elidibus I know might not be the original Elidibus. They just promoted him. The original Elidibus goes into the thing. Someone else rises up and takes the seat and becomes known as Elidibus. And that guy survives the Sundering. And that's the dickhead that I know now. I love that we now enter a territory where questions are raised that we literally cannot answer because they foreshadow things to come to in, coming in Endwalker. Oh, you can't answer, not because of spoilers, but just because you don't know. The white-robed emissary hath uh, ever named himself Elidibus. Uh, yeah, if the shade spoke true, Elidibus ceased to air, even the sundering came to pass. Oh, this is this is literally what they're talking about. <laughs> this called it to mind a truth that Emmett Selk did once reveal in passing. That the names by which we know of our foes are not those given to Asians at birth. Rather, they are titles of, or of office. According to individuals of merit, at such a time as the role becomes vacant. Perchance the Elidibus at Zodiac's heart and the emissary with whom we are acquainted be not the one and same, but predecessor and successor. Yeah, I almost said orifice again. Yeah, I know. It's possible. If the previous Elidibus perished before the final days, the one that we know could still be a survivor of the Sundering. And yet, something in that explanation rings false. I'll remain for... What, re what rings false? I'll remain for a time. I would not abandon my attempts to revive the device so soon. There's more to learn here. I can feel it. You, you and me both. Fuck me, I can feel it. In matters of aetherology, I know none as capable as thee. If there existeth a means to learn more, thou wilt surely find it. Whilst thou art, art thus engaged, I shall attend to matters on the surface. 4,000 gil. Who's given me this gil at this point? Are we just collecting it off of the, the dungeon mobs? You may now enter the amni Amnesis Anida with a party of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Wasn't this already said back in the Tempest? The names of the titles? Yes, it was, yeah. Okay. So, chat. Am I missing any fun little Easter egg trivia detail there? This is your fee for keeping the rest of the science safe. Sorry, you skipped the post Shadowbringers patches. No, I got it so far. Okay, so, what do we got? We got Heidelin. Someone's at her heart called Venar. What was that? I think he's the crystal. I think Venar's the crystal. That's 100% what I think that is. 
I think I'm the 14th member of the convocation who walked away and didn't want to be a party to either of these gods. I think by the end of Endwalker, both the gods are gone. And that's the end of the story. And we find a way to live together in harmony because it's the people here and now that matter. And we weren't interested. And our, our, our Amorotian soul was never interested. I think it would be something like that. I think that's the big idea. I think that's why I'm the 14th and I, I wasn't interested. I wasn't a summoner of Highland or H Hydaelyn or Zodiac. Maybe I had some idea. I don't know who the fuck I was. Okay, now as for Elidibus, I think... Is it the same Elidibus the whole time? I don't know. Why would they do a whole story about like Neo Elidibus, a successor Elidibus? I need to figure out how they survived the Thundering. Does she really not mind working alone? Yeah, it's kind of scary down there, isn't it, really? Hopefully, this will make the Benthos think twice before raiding the stores of their follower. Wait, Ishtola's not in danger, is she? Ishtola's not in danger. If they do something horrible to her while she's down there alone and Runar grieves, I'm going to be very sad. Uh, 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 and then Matoya, the real Matoya, grieves afterwards. Answers never did come to us neat, tied neatly in a bow. We'll get to the bottom of things eventually. What if Elidibus sees us poking around in there and they fuck her up? And this time she doesn't come back. While it's true, our findings have raised more questions than they have answered. It's not impossible Ishtola will gain access to additional records. And if nothing else, we have spared you all more from an invasion. Oh, I've, it's just dawned on me that I've started to really like Ishtola as a character, which might explain why that guy put her as the protagonist for the representation of 14. Do you guys remember me telling, telling you about that? And I was like, why would you put Ishtola there? She's definitely very likable. All right, Uriange, presumably. Echoes of a Fallen Star. Oh, this is it. This is the last quest. Echoes of a Fallen Star. The Fallen Star being the Utopia. Uriange, presumably has some ideas as to what might be useful. What might usefully... What you, you might usefully do while Ishtola pursues her investigations. Can I just go and hang out there? Can we but uncover Elidibus' true origins? We may yet come to understand his designs. To that end, Ishtola must needs be afforded as much time as she doth require to complete her investigation. How long till she gets her ra random little memory lapses, right? Like Thancred and Uriange had already. To the extent that such things are within our control, yes. Speaking of which... Uh, this is Alphano speaking. Perhaps we might trouble the Exarch for news of his progress with the spirit vessel. He will no doubt wish to hear of our own discoveries as well, such as they are. Okay. Oh, fuck me. They're taking me. Knowledge never sleeps is the song. The music track is an add-on. Dare I ask what's going on? Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. If I gift a we sub... A problem. If I gift a sub, will you order a Ishtola body pillow? If you can find me one for about three pounds, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case, uh, we have a problem. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the guard or else one of the facets and no longer wish to be so. If you gift a T3 sub, I'll do it. <coughs> Give someone a gold ring. In principle, all are free to change vocation at any time. But a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. As you may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. It's you! The Warrior of Darkness! You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. Yeah, just don't get manipulated, mate. That's all I'm worried about. And not only here, but everywhere. 
Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. People chocobos, you name it. <laughs> what chocobo did I help? And we're trying to do the same. We may have our sky back, but there's no shortage of people who still need help. Oh, uh, Alpha. Alpha's the chocobo I helped, indeed. If we follow in your footsteps, then I choose to believe we too can be heroes one day. Even warriors of light. What are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. They seek but to do good, as you have. Yeah, tell them not to, that it's good impulse, but don't be manipulated. Always challenge what you're doing and why. Simple. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged. Shit, the storm clouds. How many potatoes have you not got? Oh wow, well, this is very, very pretty. What? What's happening to the sky? I don't know. Whoa, this is like the star. What the fuck is happening? This is it. Oh my god, it's so good we watched that cutscene, isn't it? This looks exactly like it. What? What? <laughs> what? Wicked white. Oh, oh my god, oh it no. looks identical, doesn't it? But why? By the twelve. We have the force field here, don't we? A star shower. Oh my god, so wait, is this gonna wake up an echo or something? Someone's echo? My echo? Oh, it's her voice again! I hear a voice! Oh my god, everyone hears it! Whoa, how good is it that we went and looked at that AOR cutscene there? Oh my god, whoever gave that specific cutscene, you're a champ. I'm so glad we did that. Wait, what? But everyone's hearing it. You and all? Why does it feel like it's inside my head? Hear, feel, think. I hear it. Me too. Did I not tell you, my friends? You are warriors of light. You're back. Holy shit, that shot is so cool, isn't it? Whoa, what is going on? It was all an illusion? What you hear is the voice of light itself. And it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold. I'm a warrior of light. I've been chosen. Can it be? Me, a hero. What is this? Everyone had the capacity to do what I've been doing? Is that ultimately true? Because we're all just shards of Amorotians? Everyone's soul has the chance to remember? What is this? Oh my god, Alphano going in pursuit instantly again. 
Wait. Oh, he's speaking to him. Did we all hear it? The scions. The falling stars. Were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Nay, I think not. Though the stars, I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered souls. Right. So what Heidelin did for me, he's just done for everyone here. What are the ramifications of that? What's the consequence of that? That which you and yours call the Echo. So he just, he sort of, okay, so basically everyone's like sundered soul here. He's sort of primed now. He's triggered to like remember what it really is or like break down, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So everyone has Echo here now. So hold on, we've been given Echo. This is how you give someone Echo. So Cryo got Echo from some mechanism like this once. And an Echo it is of a symphony, but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Hmm. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. But those sundered and forgotten through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past burned into your very ether, along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability, just as Heidelin is wont to do. When she has need of new minions. Right, okay, yeah. So so she sort of sparks your soul to remember what it once was. Sort of. He's done the same for all these people. To, to what end? So give everyone Echo. He wants just a bunch of allies. Echo has ever been thought a gift from Heidelin. A boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto? <sighs> her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, so what he's saying is the voice didn't give you the echo. You got the echo which allowed you to hear the voice. Right? One might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the self-same instant. So she's always saying hear, think, feel. Always. That's why whenever I go, I hear her. She's like, hear, think, feel, think. Hear, feel, think. Hear, feel, think. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. So she gave... So hold on. So somewhere around ARR or 1.0 or something, she gave me a vision of a star shower, which woke up, which was like a... Re reminded my soul of the apocalypse. Gave me the echo. Why then didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Mm, why would you do this? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you.
I love Macon's like tilted posture there. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I need answers. What? So why would... So why... Why would Elidibus... Why? Why would he want everyone to have Echo? See, my initial impression was that it was just like... So that they'd remember who they are and they'd be like, Yeah, fuck it, we want to rejoin. So they would willingly decide to rejoin. Oh, these damn emo onlys! Ah! Damn you, Meta Ascension! So, what's the idea? But then... See, this is a problem because I don't know... So, wait, are they all tempered by Hydlin now or some shit? What does that mean, though, to be tempered? Their Aether is out of balance? It did remind me of it. Amara, I mean. All the fear and the sadness. Uncertainly though it is, I'm certain our friends in the guard will use the Echo well, or with good intentions at least. These two cat boys looking just like Graha standing on top of each other. Though I like not what it portendeth, having been treated to so unambiguous a demonstration, I cannot well conclude aught but the star showers are indeed instrumental in awakening the Echo. So a star shower gives you the echo. Yet yeah, we need not attribute such credence to all that Elizabeth has claimed. That he too seeketh his star's salvation for one. And there he goes again, though I don't suppose he would have given us an honest answer about his history had he stayed. I wanted to shout after him and ask him who the original are you the original Elizabeth or not? Remember prayer and belief equals power by awakening. Prayer and belief equals power by awakening. So many warriors of light. Sorry, prayer and belief equals power. By awakening so many warriors of light. What force is gaining power? Hydlin, you, the warrior of light? What cutscene did you say you watched? I can't remember, but it, it's an early ARR cutscene where you see a star shower and then you hear Hydlin say, Here, think Phil. So why is Hydlin just saying here, think, Phil all the time? It's like Rousseau and Lost. Just transmitting the numbers over and over. The Amarotians must have thought that that was important. The implication by this point is that those with echoes triggers your soul. Once triggered, you're like a tuning fork to hear Hydlin. I was about to say it's like Lost, but wasn't sure if you watch it. Yeah, Lost is one of my favourite TV shows of all time. It's also one of my most hated TV shows of all time, but it is definitely. Um, yeah, and okay, so the, the big cutscene at the start, the CGI cutscene that they advertised the game, that has a star shower in it as well, right? Yeah, Lost was both perfect and abomination, so it's sort of 50-50. The more Elidibus reveals, the less I understand. But he has made a fine mess of things, is plain. It's also literally the first cutscene in ARR that you see before you're on the Chocobo Kart Trader ship. If I had, if my sub had paid for new characters, I would make one, but I, I don't have a free character slot, I'm afraid. He's gone then. I've managed to persuade a number of our would-be deserters to- So guys, just in chat, is there any key point you want me to chew on? Is there any key point you're like, Ah, oh, yeah, WP's missed this, or he didn't quite get that idea or whatever. You could make one on another server. Oh, that's also true. Alright. I've managed to persuade a number of our would-be deserters to reconsider, or at least delay their departure. But as many are deaf to my entreaties. Young Thaler and Vonard are among them, I'm sorry to say. They've quit the guard. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Whatever Elidibus' plans for them might be, the pair have only ever had the best of intentions. One can hardly uh, blame them for thinking themselves heroes elect, not after having been blessed with the Echo. It is not as if they haven't sh shown the requisite spirit. 
Why is Cryo's Echo really strong then? Because she saw a really powerful star shower. Has oh, I, I got a question, chat, chat. Has Kryle ever talked to me about seeing a meteor shower? Not everyone who saw the shower just got the echo, by the way. Because they're new souls, I guess, not old souls. Not everyone in the crowd awakened to the echo, and none of the scions did, just clarifying. Right, okay, but some people did. Some people who are still fragments of Amorotians did, I, I suppose. Surely the Asians disdain the new souls, but still like the old ones. The st so, Cryo never said any of that shit. Okay, so that makes this seem like a bit sort of randomly constructed. The star shower you see in ARR is the trigger point. Also keep in mind your soul by the start of ARR is also seven times rejoined. And thus is Emmett stated more of a complete person. Yeah. Cryo probably got it from Dalamud. Oh, so everyone at Carton O saw it. She had it before Dalamud. Oh, I got a sub. Thank you very much, Alex Arlington. Thank you. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your potato jail emotes. Basically, everyone who doesn't have Echo are kind of new souls. Yeah, that's sort of how I've been thinking. But that's headcanon, not confirmed. Okay, so... So, I've got to figure out... Right. So, what the fuck is resonant? So, the Empire has made its own version of having the Echo? What the fuck is the resonant? I know that it's synthetic Echo. Oh, my God. How in... In what world is that an answer? Artificial Echo. Manufactured, manufactured Echo. I get that, guys. The question remains the same. What is the resonant? How does that work? That's the big question. It is indeed, because that's fundamental to Xenos. Oh, look at this. People are saying not answered. That's pretty crucial. Oh, resonant is artificial echo WP. Thought you knew that. <laughs> We don't know. We only know Xenos managed to make some f sort of f copy from Cryo. That's really important to answer. It seems wild you could make an artificial copy of something so fundamental to the fucking reality, right? The implication is that if the Echo is like a pattern your soul remembers, it's artificially pasting that pattern onto a soul that doesn't have it. But Xenos has, like, elegant eye shit going on. Xenos can, like... Xenos has a lot... Being a resonant, Xenos can do a lot more than um, just regular Echo powers. It's like they mentioned earlier. Xenos is, like, full-blown Asian mode at this point. Remember? I know it's not actually an elegant eye, guys. It's just reminiscent of the elegant eye thing. And the fact that elegant blood allows you to transfer consciousness around. It's obviously not a coincidence that Xenos' eyes also change colour to a red hue when he transfers his consciousness around into different things. I know it's not specifically the elegant eye, but it's clearly similar. What if a pure blood Guardian is born with an Amorotian soul? That's a crazy idea too. The eye is when the fake echo activates, yeah. We've been effectively taught that everything Xenos does is something you can actually do with normal echo. Really? This patch that I played today didn't suggest that. This very patch suggested he's, he's just above and beyond. I don't see Cryo transferring bodies and surviving conventional death and shit. Do I? Xeno- Oh, Xenos did suggest that before the Shinryu fight. He said you haven't fully mastered your ability at the end of Storm, but that's true. He did say that. Very good point. The Asians did say you could do a Veko. They taught the Sahagan how to body hop. So hold on, am I going to be body hopping by the end of the 5.x series? Am I going to be Bobby hop Bobby body hopping? 
I'm kind of body hopping when I move back and forth from the force, the source in the first, right? You could always continue to 5.3 and see if any good things gets answered. I could do that. But as we all know, I'm not going to do that. Remember all those times I said I'm not going to play 5.3? It has the potential, but it's hard to train it. That's how other characters work on the account. <laughs> when I asked about Resonant, by the way, guys, it was a rhetorical question. Well, it was sort of a semi-rhetorical question. All right. La Habrea and Igiorm used their echo to merge bodies because they could have let the soul transcend bodies. You can do what Xenos can do, but you're a good guy. Well, we'll see. I mean, is that kind of... When I get an Echo flashback, that's kind of what I'm doing, right? It's kind of body hopping when I do that. Not fully, but I kind of am. Or when you use Fantasia to change your Hrothgar. That's a nice explanation of a Fantasia, but we all know that's not, that doesn't quite work. Right. I quite agree. Though the impetus for their sudden departure... May have been for words falsely spoken. The men and women in whose footsteps they would follow. Okay, and what's the difference then between Echo and the Blessing? They would follow a heroes in truth. Warriors of light. Ardbert, yourself most of all. And so I would ask a favour of you. Speak with them ere they embark on their journey. And furnish them with what wisdom you can. They've set off for the Amaro launch. But you should still be able to catch them if you leave now. Worth the effort, I'd say. If I recall correctly, Rabon took the time to usher you out into the wider world many moons ago. I think that comparison rather flatters Thale and Vonard, but the point still stands. They would doubtless be encouraged greatly by the warrior of darkness himself sending them off. If thou art willing, I pray thee go. Thou mayest le safely leave the task of unfolding that which did transpire uh, the amnesis to us. Okay. Nature Cat says, take away wave, hope the story doesn't get too out of control. I think we're at the very end now. You never know. You've actually probably picked a terrible time to leave. Because this is the end of the patch. And the end of the patches tend to be crazy. I mean, we've already just had an insane batch of craziness there. But who the hell knows what these post-credit cutscenes are going to be. Blessing needed the crystals, as is Heidelin empowering you through them. Without a crystal, the blessing isn't a thing. Right, yeah, I need to remember that. Crystals is the blessing. You should probably pick up at least the quest for trials. I've already done that, yeah. You again. I mean, uh, it's you. Sorry, sir. It's been a funny old day. You can be sure we'll take those words to heart. I still can't believe it. You come in all this way just to speak to us. I swear we won't let you down, so long as it helps someone, we'll do what needs to be done, no matter how small. And when the larger threats loom, we'll be ready to face them. You see if we aren't. Strike fast and true, for the victory belongs to the bold. We'll be off then. Farewell, Warrior of Darkness, and thank you. You guys are having some really interesting discussion there. Being tempered by a being that wants you to live for yourself and think for yourself is functionally the same as not being tempered at all. It's very different to... The only command Heidelin gives you is uh, hear, feel, think. 
not give me Aether and summon me. Yeah. The game itself mentioned the idea that I was tempered. After we heard the Hydaelyn and Zodiac are primals, it specific. I, I, who was I with at the time? One of the characters literally said, "Surely that means you're you're tempered, right?" That was like three streams ago. They said it here in Shadowbringers. They said it. They posed the question. They never answered the question, but they posed it. And the fact the game posed the question is, is means it's fair ground for talking about. Okay, hello everyone. You caused quite a stir when you set forth as the Flame General's newly anointed envoy. You know, Minfilia was delighted. The world is ever in need of heroes, she said. All that time ago. Would they be talking about Merlwib or the Seed Seer if I was from the other city? I take it they were suitably inspired. This land is our home and it is we who must protect it. Even if he didn't believe a word he was saying and it's all a part of some terrible scheme, it's hard not to take his message to heart. Honestly, don't listen to all this prattle about the life changing importance of your words to impressionable young heroes. You could nod mutely in their direction and they'd still be inspired. <laughs> I like how Alice brings a little bit of funny to it. Thou art returned at a most opportune time. We have but this moment concluded our account of all that came to pass in the deep. I was so deeply immersed in my research that I entirely failed to notice the star shower. Bugger. Thank you for making the effort. I'm certain your words will be a boon to them. While you're away, the others told me of your investigation. We have yet to discuss how to proceed, however. While your findings in Anamnesis Anida do raising important, while your fi while your findings do raise important questions as to the identity of our adversary, we're no cl closer to discerning his design, nor do I know of any other potential avenue of investigation. For which reason, we must needs trust to Istola's ingenuity and wait for her efforts to revive the ancients' device bear fruit. What if I were to attempt to follow the emissary? Elusive as he is, his plan compels him to court public attention. He shouldn't be impossible to find. Especially for one of your experience. It does seem worth the attempt. Oh, look, we got a Marjorie following Lazarus moment here. Then I'll come with you. Safety in numbers. But he says no. In combat, perhaps. But where stealth's required, the opposite's true. Happily, I don't plan on getting myself caught. So you've no need to worry. Nor do I intend to vanish for moons on end. We still have the empty to attend to, don't we? Yeah, I was just thinking that. How's he going to leave if the raid series... Nothing can happen to him, necessarily. All right, uh, then I look forward to your return. Then it sounds like the rest of us should avoid doing anything which might prompt Elidibus to look too closely at our movements. Insofar as it's possible, I recommend we limit our activities to the Crystarium. Speaking of which, Exarch, might I ask if you've made any progress with the Spirit Vessel? Of course, we're presently studying the principles underpinning memory transference and, I believe, nearing the requ requisite level of understanding. Less hearteningly, practical trials of transference methods suited for use with the vessel have yet to yield satisfactory results, to put it mildly. But there are still many promising possibilities we have yet to test. Indeed, though it may take some time, we're well on our way to a solution. And I shall not rest until one is found. Though we're all grateful for thine unstinting efforts, thou needst not labour to the exclusion of all else. If it would serve to lighten thy burden, however, however little, I should be glad to offer mine assistance. Quite. I, for my part, will do what I can to ensure the Crystarium continues to run smoothly in spite of recent disruptions. Then perhaps I could help? There must be something I can do, even if it's just guard duty. Thank you, all of you. I shall breathe easier for your assistance. Of course, on the evidence of the recent past, I will not, it will not be long before some new crisis arrives to throw our plans into disarray, at which time your services will be in particular demand. That being the case, perhaps you might take this opportunity to retire? Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. I haven't done that since the expansion ended. Oh, wow. The manager of sweets is the end of the patch. One of these methods will work. It must. Of course, I don't wish to worry Lena. She has more than enough to worry about already, but I swore that I'd return you all home. And he sort of... All right, fine. I'll henceforth endeavor to take breaks where appropriate while Lena is watching. Yeah, bond with her, man. Jesus. 
I, I will accompany my brother and make sure he doesn't get carried away. You will do as you're told. Get some breaths. Both of you. Is Alphano looking? Did I look at Alphano? Was that it? And she shook her head. Honestly, he's a danger to himself. If I were Lena... Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Graha. Uh, I think I'll... Um, sorry, he's a danger to himself. If I were Lena, I think I would have hit him over the head with a blunt object by now. At least then he'd lie down. There's so much to be done, so little I can do to help, but you can count on me to play my part to the, uh, in the empty. Ought we to inform the citizens that the star shower was an illusion? Do you think they might sleep better for the knowledge that no damage was done? I mean, it's pretty obvious nothing, no damage was done. There's sure to be no shortage of potential heroes upon whose good nature Elidibus was trying to prevail. The trick will be in anticipating which settlement he'll direct his attention towards next. So he's just going to go and create a bunch of like meteor showers everywhere. Fake ones. Knowing not whether Elidibus or our ever-waning connection to the source represented the more pressing problem, we must needs attend to both and risk solving neither. Never fear, I too will continue to assist the Exarch to the best of my ability. Wait, I missed that last line there. And if that means casting the odd sleeping charm, so be it. Right, so off to the pendants. Now normally, this is where Ardbert would come and chill with me. Where's the closest one? It's top. What's this about pandemonium? That's the raid series coming up, isn't it? Is this to do with the 12? The 12 is such a fucking enigma that it has to be a good series. I'm tired of crossover raids, so pandemonium, pandemonium and the 24 man both being new original stories is going to be great. Pleasure as always, Master of Gaji. I'm relieved to see you were unhar unharmed in the earlier commotion. Though, if I may, you do look somewhat wary. I presume you'll be retiring to your suite? Yeah. Very good. I like that they put this in one of the patches. We could have missed this. This was one of the coolest things about Shadowbringers itself. Alright, so what is this here? It must be getting cramped in my head with both Ardbert and Frey. <laughs> it's very calm and weird, isn't it? Yeah, planking with full armor in my bed, I know, yeah. No hard bird at all, yeah. Oh, nice. Look, the water actually comes out and everything. Very good. <laughs> Somebody knocked. It's Glynard. Master of Gaji, it's Glynard from the Wandering Stairs. I apologise for calling so late. Hi. A friend of yours was asking after you. You may remember them from that business with the cardinal virtues. Oh, it's this guy. Wait, what would have happened if I did one of the other role quests? It's Granson. Well met, Sinner. Hi. This is crazy. What's going on here then? You could, If you get multiple characters, you would choose. Oh, that's cool. I was looking forward to a welcome respite here in the Crystarium, but the mood here is not exactly conducive to relaxation, and I'm sure you've noticed. Hi, I'd wager you know more about what's going on than anyone else in the city. Care to share? If you've done all the role quests, you get a special guest you can choose. Is it? Is it? Um, wait, who would it be? If I've done all the role quests, I'd get a whole new character here. Hmm, I can't say I envy you your prey. Dark work, this twisting of the Warrior's Light's legacy. Reminds me a bit of what became of old Dakiacene, though this Asian of yours is a fair bit more chatty. 
You wouldn't be able to guess? Okay. I'm tempted to silence him myself. Brandon made his mistakes. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they all did. But the past is the past, and they've earned their rest. I'm not about to let them, him study Ardbert's good name. Well, what, you want me to leave it to you? Right, right. I'm not the only one carrying all that weight. Very well, but only because you asked. Remember, if you ever need me, just say the word. I'll be there. see the moon so the question is if it was only the planet that got sundered the moon is the same moon no matter what right they're unclear on that meanwhile in the crystal towers umbilicus gonna make it foils again no oh, man I love the way he just stands and breathes if I cannot imbue the infernal thing with my power via magical means we may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all how does it feel being asked to be answer asking questions we cannot actually answer. Um, weird. Like I, like, I still can't judge the story, and I don't know how anyone else can, if you don't have certain pieces. But we'll see, we'll keep playing. Oh, oh that one will. No, chat isn't useless at all, because I've got so many holes oh, in my understanding. perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. Like that moment there, the fact that chat reminded me just a minute ago, that at the end of Stormblood, Zeno said, oh, you haven't fully mastered your Echo yet. Like, that's cool. I, f I would have forgotten that. That's really important information, you know. There's a lot of stuff to do still. I'm fine. And given to stubbornness, I'm afraid. Especially when I have a stake in the outcome. at the apocalypse what is this what is this Xenos what so wait if Xenos is really good with the echo right has he learned okay I need to pause this shit hold on Xenos knows all of this he's really comfortable here because he's mastery of the- Wow, this is a mind blow. What the fuck? So he knows all this shit because he's got his crazy echo and he's like seen this. He's pride. Oh, 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 but he met that mysterious stranger, didn't he? Who told him stuff. So maybe the mysterious stranger like encouraged him to explore the, the apocalypse. Dream again. Oh, he's having dreams of it. Oh, okay. He's dreaming of the destruction of Amaroth. Meanwhile in the source. Wow, that was a cool moment, wasn't it? That's fucking cool, seeing Xenos just walking around in the apocalypse. 
Here they are. It's the guy again. A recurring dream. They do so fascinating. It's Asahi! Might I trouble you for the details? It's Asahi. What? What? Wait, why was I talking about Asahi earlier? We went on a whole conversation about Asahi earlier. Why? How did the game remind me to talk about Asahi? Oh, because Maxima was there, and Maxima made me think of Asahi. What? How did they bear breadcrumb that? That's fantastic. Okay. But it's not Asahi, clearly. It's someone in Asahi's body. It's an Asian in Asi Asahi's body, isn't it? Or a Hydaelyn summoner in Asahi's body. Is it Vintnar? They're in white. I think it's a summoner I've of Hydaelyn. I've always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens. And the city, nay. The whole world ablaze. Oh, this is cool. Given their history, the, the history of these two characters. How in life Asahi fucking adored Xenos. And Xenos didn't give a fuck and stuff. And now here they are in this... It's definitely just Asahi's body. But who is it in it? Indeed. Could Emmett Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. Oh, this is really cool, guys. This is really cool. More of that Stormblood stuff integrating in. More of those characters mattering in a weird way. Um... Could Emmett Sec have found a way? The final days. I like how he's even now he sounds disinterested. Wow, look at this shit. Why yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. Second hand. The tale of the world's end. From the white robed figure. The only reason I recognize Asahi's voice there is because we were listening to it at the start of the stream. Second hand. Elidibus says that when he merged with his body of Xenos, he shared with Xenos part of his knowledge when he took his body back. An event that would make the following events unpredictable. Right, yeah, yeah. In a weird way, I kind of really like Xenos at the moment because he's like, um... He's, uh... He's like a mortal jostling in these crazy stories just like me. And he's against Zodiac for now as well, which kind of sounds like alright, maybe. Xeno said he always had those dreams, so even before he got the resonant powers, that's something to study, really. Yeah, and he took the armor off, he looks better, yeah. You're gonna love 5.3. So that's it, that's the end of 5.2 right there, right? That's it, holy shit, it's like an hour and a half later than... But mind you, I started the stream an hour and a half later. All right, any any notes you guys want me to have? Any Tato notes out there? The Sundered Asians have no direct memories of the Unsundered Star. All the Sundered Asians know about Amarot was learned from the Paragons. Right, okay, the, the Unsundered ones. Did you do the trials while I was sleeping? No. Ruby Doomsday is still here. No, this whole stream was just the main quest. You had a 4D brain moment watching that Asi cutscene. Very tiny, good timing. I'm glad you thought so. A powerful wild card thrown into a mix of a complicated conflict of which he gives no shits about. Yeah, and that's quite fascinating, isn't it? What did the white robed Matt figure say mean by saying Emmett Selk might have found a way? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did you decide what you'll stream tomorrow? 
I don't know. You'll just have to see, guys. But I'm leaning towards tomorrow will be Siege Turtle beta stuff. It's either going to be Siege Turtle beta stuff, 5.3, or a break. Um, I don't know. I have to do it. It's been about a week since I made a YouTube video. So, yeah. And then, obviously, we've got just all this other stuff. I just need to sort of get myself over this idea of trying to race for the Endwalker launch. Um, to be honest, how much will you get out of Siege Turtles to Spark Core? Is Well, all the um, Elite Specs are back as well. So, yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot going on. I'm just sort of under an avalanche of things I'd want to do. And I'm not doing. So, yeah. Will you make up a follow-up review comparison after finishing Shadowbringers? No, I don't. Well, I'm, I, I, I want to do more videos. But the review stands. Basically, none of my opinions in the review have changed. Like, none of them. It doesn't matter that there's been some extra new high points and more information and stuff changed. Yeah, Shadowbringers is a higher quality expansion than Stormblood was. But generally speaking, you know, that review covers a lot more than just story fanaticism. And I already conceded in the original review all the reasons why the story is delivered well here. That they handle stories, you know, they hold, you know, they hold things off for, for um, re revelations later. The characters you get to spend more time with. There's nothing new to say. I mean, what you're asking is, WP, will you do a video where you're geeking out about Shadowbringers and how good it is? And that's a different video. I, I get why people would kind of want to hear that or whatever. But that's, that, that, I don't think I have anything offer to, uh, to the review beyond just more discussion. Maybe another video, like a Q&A &A back and forth kind of discussion, based more on my, my things from Shadowbringers. But yeah. Five point three is a really good conclusion to Shadowbringers. A lot of people stopped after five point three and came back just before Endwalker. I wonder what the Endwalker setup patches look like then. I finally understand why the moon's a bit of a thing. Like if Zodiac's buried on it. Five point three feels like an ending. Four and five are kind of boring outside of building some hype for Endwalker. Yeah, I heard earlier that one of them is really short. Yeah, so, um, well, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for all the back and forth. Thanks for giving me ideas and, and trivia and fun stuff like that. Thanks for keeping me company. Thank you for the subs. Um, Feathers gave out five. I don't even know if I read that out. Thank you very much. Thanks very much to Gears, to Gnomes for these amazing two new emotes. Thank you for the people who have kept chat going. Um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. So thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoy. I wish I had something else to plug, but I don't really. Just come hang out in Discord. You can see the link there. And I will see you, uh, if you guys have got any ideas or things you want to talk about, you can catch me over there. And I'll see you for the next stream, probably tomorrow. But there's also a chance I'll take a break and, uh, you know, just relax for one day. Maybe what I might like to do tomorrow is relax, play a bit of the Guild Wars beta, and do a, a video about the Guild Wars beta tomorrow. And that's all I put on my plate, so we'll see. Anyway, thank you, everyone. And, yeah, to Gears to Gnomes for the amazing email there. So cool. Um, so cheers, guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.